Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Good afternoon, everybody. How are you doing? Welcome to Hobby Maker on this Thursday afternoon. My name is Nigel May. It is a pleasure to be with you. Um, if you just watched the last two and a half minutes of TV, you will know that the best storage in the land is here on Hobby Maker when it comes to craft. And it is here today, Storage for Crafts. We have got some of the classics, the greatest hits of storage when it comes to Storage for Crafts. That's all coming up in a moment. And it is that time of the year, isn't it? Spring clean the craft room, get everything sorted. Uh, let's get your craft room looking tight and more organized and more economical than ever before. Um, we're going to be showing you that in a moment, but it's not the only thing on a very packed, very busy, very fabulous menu here at Hobby Maker today. Uh, two o'clock this afternoon, the fabulous Linda Chapman's going to be here with the equally fabulous Anna Lou Pickering. They are here to celebrate 40 years of the Born Free Foundation, 40 years of that fabulous charity, and we have got some special things for you on that show. We've got prints, we've got digital downloads, and I'm going to say this, you're going to think, what is he saying? But I'm going to say it, you'll have to watch at two o'clock. We're taking a trip to the toilet as well. That's all I'm going to say at two o'clock this afternoon. Uh, three o'clock this afternoon, the fabulous cat from Hunky Dory is going to be here uh, with the brand new ultimate collection of the pocket pads. Yes, the legendary pocket pads. We've got seven brand new ones for you, or five brand new ones for you, sorry. Uh, we've also got a pick and mix on that show as well. Uh, Joe from Storage from Crafts is back at four. We've got Moonstone embossing folders with cat from Hunky Dory at five. We've got more from the fabulous Fabulous Pollyanna Pickering Artwork Born Free Foundation celebration at six. And then we've got our pocket pads back at seven. That is all going on today here at Hobby Maker. It promises to be a very packed day. But let me ask your question straight away. Does your craft room look a bit of a mess at the moment? Would you like all of your craft to be organised in the most perfect way? Whether you are a fan of our Sewing Street sister channel and you work with soft crafts, whether you are a paper crafter, loving hobby maker, whether you are a bead maker, a jewellery maker, somebody that loves our sister channels, you know, um, all of jewellery maker and all of that, whatever it is, if you want storage for your crafting, whatever it may be, then we have got the best storage for you. It's beautiful per furniture. It is beautifully made. It's made bespoke for you as well. That's what I love about this. It is super tough, super durable, super versatile, and super easy to actually order and have it delivered to your door as well. Let's find out more from the fabulous lady that brings us this from Storage for Crafts. She's got the best shoes in the business as well. It's the wonderful Joe Venison. Come on in, lovely lady. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Ooh, I think I heard a little whoop from the crew then as well. It's like a whoop as you walked in, which is good. Um, Joe, let's talk about this because storage for crafts for people that don't know, because obviously welcome to new viewers that might be watching yep. us on Virgin and things like that as well. You are a crafter at heart. You're not somebody that thought, oh, I can see a hole in the market for crafters. I need to come up with some furniture. No. You're a crafter. So take us back what is now on, nigh on, what, 20 years ago? 19 years this year, yeah. So 19 years ago, what happened? I took up crafting bit by mistake because both my mum and my mother-in-law craft, one so one paper craft. I took up card making as per their encouragement and then we lost the dining table pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> and then Kevin got a little bit frustrated because you know you spread everything out, don't you? Yes. And you keep buying things. And Christmas I think was coming up. So he was like, we've got to tidy up. So I bought boxes, that's easy to do. But then it's yeah. like, well, where do I put those? And it's like, I'll stack them but you always want the one at the bottom regardless. Mm -hmm. And Kevin is quite a dab hand at making Kevin things. is who? My husband. The hubby. Yes. And he was making furniture. He was actually doing bedroom furniture and kitchens and that kind of stuff. And he made what we've got on the show later is our 130 tower. So basically what we're saying here is Joe as a crafter was like, okay, I've spread across the dining room table. I've spread beyond that. I need to get decent storage because I'm fed up of just buying box after box after box after box. So you said to your husband, can you make me something? Which he did. Yep. You loved that so much. And it wasn't just you that loved it. It then became the company that we now know nearly two decades on yep. as storage for crafts. So I mean, you've sold so many pieces of furniture since then. Have. You make furniture that, when it comes to crafting, is perfect because you think about what people might potentially have that they need to store and you give it the relevant space. This is it. And I think because I don't just paper craft, I sew, I bead, I've just started watercolours. So I try everything. And then, of course, you have to buy stuff to go with each of those crafting genres and you have different die cutting machines, you have different sewing machines, embroidery machines. So if I've got this 
massive amount of craft stuff other people have. So we all need pieces for paper. You need to have your die cutters to hand. You need your embroidery machines out of the way, but easy to access. You want your ribbons. So let's make something useful for everyone. And you want something that when it comes to storage, you can put everything away at the end of it, because mm. let's, let's start with how this would actually look when it comes okay. to you, because let's put it all away, Joe. This is the night sage that we've got here, which I'm gonna say right here, right now, is probably the hero of the range when it comes to storage for crafts. We've got in the vanilla, we've also got it in the oak, so your color options are down here. The price, 2,499 pounds. Now you will see we've already got a reduction on this. This is a brilliant price. Now, obviously, here at Hobby Maker, we are the sole... Come on in a bit, Joe. They're covering you with the uh, words. Uh, we at Hobby Maker are the sole people on telly bringing you storage for crafts on air right now, and yep. we are thrilled about that. This piece of furniture can come to you today, yes, uh, for £2,499, but we have a five-way split pay as well. So we want you to shop with confidence, but also make it as manageable as possible. First off, I'm going to say, this hour, you will discover that... Joe's company make it as easy as it possibly can be for you to get what you want. It will be made bespoke for you as well, well. delivered to your door and also erected for you if you want by two very nice men that Joe knows very, very well indeed because they work for the company. Um, there is a white glove service. Is that included with this? It is with this one. So basically you are getting for no extra money and normally it would be £250 worth. You are getting two people turn up at your door that will make it for you or put it together for you. All you need to do is supply them with sandwiches, maybe a cup of coffee and some biscuits. That would be good. Uh, and then let's show you exactly where you can have the white glove service as well. Obviously it can be delivered anywhere but it's self-assembly above the line up in Scotland that you see there. Roughly, where are we talking there, Joe? from so left to right with Scotland? Glasgow, Edinburgh. Draw okay. a line between the two, and that's as far north as I can get the van. But we do deliver to every area. It's just self-assembly yeah. there, and then over, obviously in Ireland as well. Mm -hmm. And you can see the postcodes as well. That delivery, and well, the delivery here at Hobby Maker is ridiculous. 395 for something this big. It doesn't matter about quantity, size, weight when it comes to your orders. Even something as large as our Knights Haze here with our Storage for Crafts is going to be 3 95 delivered to your door. And remember that you have got £250 worth of assembly included in it with the white glove service if that relates to you in the area where you are. So if we come on back, so this is what it's going to look like when you erect it. All you need to do is like clear the space at home. And if you live on the 48th floor of a block of flats, it does doesn't matter. No. Nope. If you want to put it in the basement of your house and you've got like, you know, cellars and all sorts, wherever you want it, in the attic, wherever you want it, as long as you clear that area beforehand and we'll give you all of the measurements of this closed and open, you will then be able to just sit back and have the guys come and do it for you, which is brilliant. Yep. So this is how it's going to be. What's it made of to begin with? So it's made out of melamine face chipboard. So it's exactly the same material as your kitchens and bathrooms. So you already know it's going to take temperatures, it's going to take fluctuations, it's going to take spillages, that kind of thing. But this is um, 18 mil thick. Yeah, you go tougher and deeper and wider than basically other kitchen units will do, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we do. I mean, ideally, in a, in a perfect world, I'd love this to be made out of real wood, but practically that wouldn't work for a crafter because it would get marked, you'd get grooves in it and all sorts. So this is nice and tough. It's three mil thicker than your kitchens and bathrooms, so it's going to last. If you do get any marks on it, you can clean it with everything you use in those rooms as well, and they last. And they certainly do. Uh, for under £500 today as well, remember, with your split pay, you can have this delivered to your door. We'll take you through the time span in a minute as well. So if we go on in, it is literally like the TARDIS. You open up and literally it's like layer after layer after layer. Now, um, I'm going to stand out a shot here so you can just see this. Joe, let's talk about the actual sort of like um, compartments of this, if you like. If we start with my side over here, mm -hmm. you can see if you are into whatever kind of crafting, there is a shelf, there are reels, there are bits and pieces, there are hooks that will be made bespokely for the customer today through yeah. Storage for Crafts. This is it. So there is a selection there. Obviously, if you're not going to be using the ones with the dowels on, we wouldn't put the dowels in it for you. You just flip the, the shelf over. So you can put your ribbons and stuff here. Yeah, washi tapes fit on there really nicely as well. If you're into jewellery making, you can get your reels of wire on there. They fit nicely. The shelves are all adjustable as well. You don't have to stay like that. So you could put bigger cans in there. You could put cones in there. You could stand up some... Um, you've got your bits here to stop it falling off as well, mats. which is great. Yeah, yep. you could put those in there if you wanted to. And you've got a few hooks, so you can put your scissors on there to grab hold of and rulers. So that bit there is the sort of outside area, if you like. As we yep. move on across, you can see over here. Now, all of these boxes 
are supplied. Your boxes will be empty, of course, and you need to provide your, <coughs> provide your own craft product. But obviously, all of the boxes are provided, aren't yeah, they, Jo? they are, yes. So it takes two. We've got the, uh, the, these are the big uh, A4 ones that yeah, we have Yeah, these here. are the five and a half litre boxes. So think ream of paper from the stationers. That's okay. as deep as, as those. So in this side, you've got four of those at the top. And then you've got six of the deeper ones at the bottom. Still A4 in size, but slightly bigger. So your lockable boxes, each yep. of these is 10 litres. Uh, nice and easy to see what's in there as well. I think it's so economical when you've got storage because you know exactly what you've got. We've all mm -hmm. done that thing where we've bought, you know, I don't know, extra tape pens or whatever it may be yep. because you think you've run out. And then you actually think, oh, well, they were there all along. This is it, exactly. And I'm guilty of that as much as any crafter. But with these being see-through, you can see what you've got. You can see the projects that you bought for an upcoming um, birthday mm. celebration. But you can label everything as well. Get the old label gun out. Absolutely. Let's mm. go to your end, Joe, over here as well. Because yep. this, for me, you've got the first of two drop-down tables here. Yep. We are getting busy for this. I'm really pleased as well. Remember your split pay on this one. Five interest-free split pays. We don't charge you for split pay. It would just be £499. I know that's a considered purchase. So if you have any questions, get your emails in. Studio at Hobbymaker. .co.uk. So on this side, before we put the table down, you've got four of the 12 by 12 boxes. So that's perfect for so your scrapbook pages, there. your 12 by 12 pads, all of that. Yeah, they're there. And then you've got two little boxes at the bottom. So you could pop um, bits and pieces in there if you wanted to. And then we take these down. And then you've got your first... Look at that. Table. Super, super tough. Now, I love it inside mm. as well. You will notice that every area, it would be easy just to have that as like a blank space. But oh yeah. no, again, the shelves go in there and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, another eight boxes there. This is it. So they're all there. You can use them as they are configured there. Equally, you could take these shelves out if you wanted to because all the shelves are removable apart from the uprights. Um, so you could take these out. You could put a bigger overlocker in there if you wanted to. You could put lever arch files in there. You could customise it however you wanted. That's the fabulous thing, isn't it? Mm. And obviously, when you speak to Joe or the team at Storage for Crafts, they will organise everything for you as far as delivery date, etc., etc. is concerned. We'll go into that in a moment. But also, if you want something bespokely done for you and you alone, if you want to say, well, I don't need shelves for this or that or the other, I want this, they will customise it for you. Um, let's go for this table as well, Joe, because this is fabulous, isn't it? Thank you, darling lady. So take that down there. Excuse the bump. Uh, you can see that you've got the super strong table there as well. Here, this is the perfect area for, I'm coming back, think about sewing machines, think about your, you know, your cricket machine, think about your silhouette machine, think about your die cutter machines, think about your embossing machines. They will all go in there. Even what I love about Storage of Crafts is you think about those extra things. Places for your cables to go as well. They will go in there. So like literally yeah. all of your wires and stuff will go in there, which is wonderful. I'll put that back afterwards. Uh, I love going behind there. Uh, so everything has been thought about. All of these trays, they will be included too. They are. And I tend to put the things I use the most in the trays so I've got one filled with my favorite pens I've yep. got pencils I've got my tape pen scissors that kind of thing and the things that I want to keep clean tend to go in the ones with lids you know and you've got so much workspace that you haven't got to worry about having too many projects on the go so you could have um, scrapbooking pages on here you could be gluing wedding invitations yes. out on here you know, you can be doing... This, this is your workstation. It is. And the great thing about this is everything will go away at the end of the day. Mm. Also, this area here, it's the right height both for wheelchairs, if you're a wheelchair user, and it's wide enough to cater for most wheelchairs, it which is. is brilliant. Yeah. Also, if we had somebody coming round... Well, I can't. Jimmy's busy, bless his heart. But I will pretend. If you had somebody coming round, like, literally, you know, you can sit there, do some ch crafting together if you wanted to. It's yeah. a really good sociable area as well. That's what I think is fabulous about this. Uh, we're getting busy. I am not surprised. Um, as far as sort of erecting this, I mean, if you can do it yourself, it's not that difficult. But I love the fact that, I mean, you've got a lot in a very small footprint at the end of the day haven't you you have so I, when it's all closed up it's just under three foot square and to have it fully open like this you need to allow for six foot square so it doubles in size so it's a craft room in a box it really. certainly is let's show you the, oh, the dimensions are on the screen you can see them there so that's the dimensions when it's closed you can see so 67 inches across it's 189 centimeters 74 and a half inches in height uh, and you can see the depth as well 32 inches uh, do we have it when it's open as well yes that's what we want that's the big boy look so this is the area that you need to keep clear in your house to get maximum potential from your fabulous night's hay system it's going to be still obviously 74.5 inches in height but it will be almost uh, well 
are 77 inches, so almost two meters across, 196 centimeters. <coughs> Excuse me. And then your depth will be 63 inches or 160 centimeters when that table is down. Um, there is also a light on this as well. If you want to craft in the wee small hours of the morning or you just want a bit of extra light, you have got that as well, which is phenomenal. But, okay, gosh, I forgot. Mum and Dad are coming around tonight for tea. Oh, they're going to bring the kids with them. They get their sticky fingers everywhere. Don't want that on our crafty bits and pieces. What do we do? We put it all away. This is the great thing, Joe, isn't it? It is, and it's really easy to put away. There are just a couple of buttons on the end of the, the hinges for the legs. And then just walk the tables up and bolt them in place. I just think it's such a good bit of kit because what is brilliant about this, and look, like literally what, less than 20 seconds to mm. put that toge together. I know we did it as friends, but you know, even so. Um, I do think with something like this, it's good to know that you have got a piece of furniture that looks great, but you've also got the functionality of craft storage. It is phenomenal. This has only been on air here at Hobby Maker twice before. The first launch we had was January, wasn't it? Yes. Sold out and yep. gone. Literally sold out gone it came back in february it was very busy then as well this is the first time it's been on for a couple of months it's one of the heroes of your range what kind of feedback uh, feedback do you get from your customers joe this is as you say one of our most popular units we tend to get a lot of um, happy husbands once these are installed back in the yeah. house because they get the dining room back or they get their half of the spare room back of the workroom if you like and it also means that the other half is happy because mm -hmm. Everything is in its place. Crafting becomes more because you're not spending time looking for everything. You know, it's just great. It's such an investment, it really is. So obviously, we have two options for you. Yep. You can see we have the vanilla, which is this one here, or we do have the oak. It's entirely up to you. Both of them, I think, are very generic when it comes to accessorising and matching with what you may already have in your home. £2,499 is the price. It should be over £3,000. So we've got a reduction of about £600 there. But I love the fact that if you want to go for it today here at Hobby Maker, to have five split pace, that's the most affordable I've ever been able to bring it to you. And obviously, I've been working with Joe for a, for a long while. Um, I've seen the evolution of these fabulous units. Yeah. And it's just incredible. You have got storage for a lifetime there. Joe, let's explain the process then. So people decide today to spend that hard-earned cash mm -hmm. and they place their order then what happens so probably where are, what day is it now thursday it's thursday so probably can tuesday. i just say joe's had a week as well she broke down on the <laughs> oh, way here today bless her heart didn't you i did yeah um but you're here now. yeah i'm here now yeah. so, so it's, thursday it's still today. thursday yeah. yeah so probably realistically it's going to be tuesday by the time all the orders have come through and we'll start sorting them out once they hit our system you'll get an email with thank you for our your order this is the next steps so if you've gone for a piece of furniture that you're putting together it will tell you what's going to happen in the courier that kind of thing and if we're going to come and do it it says just hang fire um, we'll be in touch probably in about six weeks after because you're looking about eight to ten weeks for delivery okay um because the white the assembly service has just been so busy at the moment um and then we organize all the postcodes in little clusters around the country and then I send them off in the van. Because you're based down in Devon, aren't you? We are based yeah. down in Devon, so it takes a while to get round anywhere from you start there. Start down at the bottom and work off. Work yeah, out, we yeah. were in Glasgow last week, My assembling. Mm. Um, so, yeah, and then we'll come and arrange it and put it up where you want it. So, as you said before, it doesn't matter what room, as long as you've cleared some space, the boys will put it That's together. That's all you need to do for the boys to come round. Yep. That's a brilliant thing. Let's just remind you of the map again uh, so you can see exactly where that white glove service that's normally £250 is included in this deal. So you can see above that black line it's self-assembly and that black line goes from? Uh, Glasgow and Edinburgh. So if you live above that, you will have to put it together yourself and they're not constructed so they're difficult to do. Kevin did it so that I could make them. We like that. Yeah. We like that a lot. Uh, we're going to Can we get some names on the board and people, uh, people coming in for us? Well, because we've still got some sewing street stuff up at the moment. Uh, but yes, it's getting busier. Obviously, if you have any questions, I know this is an investment. I'm not going to be stood here going like, oh, quick, quick, it's about to sell out. No, these are made bespokely. So obviously, it's a piece of furniture. It's an investment in your crafting storage. I believe it's an investment in what you buy as a crafter from now on in as well, because you think about like, have I got those papers? Let's check the storage. Have I got the tape pens? Let's. 
check the storage. Have I got those ribbons? Let's, you know where I'm going with this. So I love the fact it makes your craft room look so much like, would you like your craft room to look like this? I mean, look at this. It is so organized. That's what I love about it. There is a place for everything from the table through to the, from the sewing machine, through to the ribbons, through to the scissors. That's what your, is that, is that from your home, Jo? No, this, a customer sent me this this week. Oh my um, God. A lady called Lynn. She's had these pieces and uh, she said, could I make use of this and show off what she's got and how she uses it? So well, I said, thank you very much. That's the other thing as well. Lynn, if you're watching, let us know. If you, if you have stories for us, please send your testimonials in. Email in yeah. studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. Um, right, there is more in the range as you saw in that picture. So I want to bring something else in, if I may. This fabulous table. And can we talk about how easily things move around? Yep. That's the joy about this as well. Uh, we've got a one leaf. I'm just going to move the chair out of the way. I brought that with me. Uh, we have got a one leaf and a two leaf for Joe. So what have we got here to begin with? So this is essentially a gate leg craft table. Mm -hmm. So it is just like one that you might already have in your dining room. But this one has got a little bit of storage inside. It's got adjustable shelves, so you can get a sewing machine in there if you want to. I okay. do keep my embroidery machine in here because I don't use it Should that Should we often. show the shelves? we spin that yep. around. There you go. There's going to be a lot of spinning like a record baby with this <laughs> one, I tell you. There you go. So you can see you've got your shelves either side, which is phenomenal. Yep. And they are adjustable, so you can take those out. The boxes you could organise your overstocks into if you wanted to, or put instruction manuals, that kind of thing, in there. And then you've got all the work workspace on top. Now, we've got a one leaf and a two leaf. We're going to show you both within the one, if that's easier to do, yeah. isn't it? So if we lift this up to begin with, this will demonstrate your one leaf for you. So obviously we have... Oh, where are we? There you go. That wasn't there. That's it. Let's wheel this back here a little bit as well, just to get it in the light. There you go. I just want to ask our director, Adam, do you want us to wheel this out of the way? Because we can do it if you want. There you go. Oh, oh, I love it. There you go. It's easy. I know. I love it. He cut to a shot because he thought I'd look all like stressy doing it, but no, it's dead easy. Uh, right, here we go. So that's better. A happy director is a happy crew. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, so for the one leaf, you can see that you've got your leg under there as well. Everything yep. on casters, so it's easy to move this around. Even on carpets and things like that, these are still fully functional, aren't they? They are. Obviously, not the really thick plush carpets, yes. but then in a craft room, you wouldn't necessarily have that anyway. But if you are a little bit worried, you can get those plastic mats to put down, which might save your carpet if you're going to be putting it up and down, moving it a lot. What I think is brilliant about what you do, Joe, as well, is you will notice underneath an area where it would be very easy to just think, well, OK, that can just be bare. We don't have to add to that. Oh, no, 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 no. no. You have those extra shelves in there. Mm -hmm. Everything has been thought about. Um, you don't get boxes included with this, do you? You do. You get the eight boxes that really? are in here. Yes. That I didn't realise. I yep. forgot that you could let's get them all out, Joe. So how many litres of storage do we get with this thing? Because we've got loads in here. I think it was 44 off the top of my head. So all of these boxes are included in the deal too. So you are going to get all of those. So you've got yep. 10 and you've got 7.5, 2.2, so that's about 20, 30, 40. Yeah, it's going to be about 40, about 40 litres of storage yeah. you've got there as well. Um, so all of that will go back under the table too. Now the dimensions on this, if you want to go for the dimensions on this, we have them for you. This is going to take you through. Uh, I don't think we have a picture of it, but do you want to bang them in my ear, cat? Lovely producer cat. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to read it. Your height on this one is uh, 705 millimetres. Your footprint when folded is 905 millimetres by 465 millimetres. And the leaf itself measures 610 millimetres by 905 millimetres. Everything is on the website, so do check it out there. In case you don't know the website address, Jimmy can tell you that. Or the W's what? Hobbymaker.co.uk. Thank you, Jimmy. Yes, hobbymaker.co.uk, uh, where you will find the entire range that we have of storage for crafts items. Um, message from Julie has come through, Julie in Warwickshire. Julie says, I ordered my fourth unit when storage for crafts was on Hobbymaker in March, and I bought three last year. You can't fault the products or the customer service. Julie, would you send Thank us you, a photo, Julie. you lovely lady? Yes, please. Please do. Please send one through. And you know what happens here at Hobbymaker? Not only do you get us to read out your email, but when you send a picture through of something you you've made, so include a crafty item in it as well, you automatically get entered into our free price draw to win 100 quid. You can put that 100 quid towards your next order from Storage and Crafts. Yeah. That would be good, would it not? Uh, right, so let's go back to our table. So, Joe, you'd recommend this for maybe people that have got maybe a smaller, not a smaller home, but maybe a smaller area to work with. This is it. If you're not one of the lucky ones to actually get your own craft room, but you still want to be able to craft, this is perfect because once it's collapsed down, it is such a small 
footprint that it will fit underneath the window. It will fit maybe behind the sofa. And then when you're ready to craft, you can just wheel it out, craft and pop it away. Absolutely. Should we pop the boxes yeah. away then? Let's do it because they all go underneath as well. So everything gets stored away. This is what I think is joyous about this because in the past, I mean, so I've heard so many times from people saying, oh, well, I've got my crafting stuff over the dining room table mm. and then I've got to clear it away because we've actually got to do things like eat in life. Yeah. Uh, but with here, it's like everything can go away. You've got all that storage there this sorted is... straight away, which is brilliant. So that's the one leaf. If mm -hmm. you do want to go for that one, we do have that on interest-free um, split pays again. It it should be £399, but we've got four interest-free split pays that we do not charge you for, and we will not uh, charge any interest on that either. Under £100 today, and this could be, well, sets that ball in motion for you. If you want to go for XV4S75 is your item code, two options for you. We have the oak that you see here, or we do have the vanilla for you as well. So that's your one leaf, but yep. let's wheel it forward. We've got our two leaf for you as well. So exactly the same. You do that one then, Joe, and I'll do the front one. Is that all right? Yep. Lovely stuff. So you can see you've got the two leaf here. There you go. Yeah. Nice and sturdy. Mm. Do you know, I was tempted to stand on it. I won't because it's health and safety. But, I mean, it is super sturdy again. I mean, you really do make tough pieces of furniture, don't you? This is it, because crafting isn't a five-minute hobby. No. Once you start, you are in it for life because you, you do everything. So the furniture has got to last that long. You expect your die cutting machines to, your sewing machines to. So why not for the same few furniture? It makes perfect sense. And um, obviously, just to clarify, by the way, obviously we're showing you the one leaf and the two leaf by using the two leaf, just because we're a little constricted with our um, space here at Hobby Mako in the studio. But this is, I mean, this is the big boy. This mm. is the full extent of the, um, the actual two leaf that you have here. I mean, it's a big area. And again, if we just spin this around, you will see that you have the shelves on that side. Are you ready, Joe? Let's yep. do it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You have got the shelves that size as well. Uh, measurement wise, you can see the height, including the casters, is 705 millimeters, so just over 70 centimeters. Uh, same as before, of course. Your folded, your um, your footprint when folded, 905 millimeters by 465 millimeters. Do we have that in inches as well? I don't think we do, do we? But uh, and then your folded, your each. Have we got it when it's open? When's the height when it's open? There is. Ah, there you go. Sorry, total work area. I've got all the details. I couldn't read the right one. Sorry. Total work area with the two leaves in use. That's 1,685 millimetres. So that's what, 1.68 1, 1. metres, isn't it? And then it's like 90, a nine, just over 90 centimetres uh, in height for you. There. Oh, no, in width for you there as well. Yeah. Um, let's wheel it back to the wall just to show as well. Look at that. I mean, up against the wall... Go. It just looks fab, does it not? Mm. Really does. I mean, it's a tidy bit of furniture and it is super, super strong as well. I know, uh, I do want to stand on it, but I'm not going to. Uh, if you want to go for yours, it's XYW4S68 is your item code on that one. Now, again, a four way split pay on this one. £479 is a good price, but again, it's a considered purchase. So let's split it down into interest-free, no-charge split payments for you. In this case, over the months of April, May, June and July, all you need to pay is one payment of £119.17. Uh, 175 pence, sorry, beg your pardon. Uh, it's 190 pounds and 75 pence is all you need to pay today. And again, it sets that ball in motion uh, to get this winging its way to you. We've got a message from Wendy. Wendy says, I love storage for crafts. My craft room has never been so organized. It's so easy to find things now. Um, that, let's do see do it feels weird, that side. <laughs> um, that's the thing, Joe, isn't it? People are always gonna know where things are because they've got the storage there ready to go. This is it. I mean, we spend a lot of our hard-earned money on our craft hobbies. So you want to know where it is. You want to know it's not damaged. You want to know there's no dogged leaves on it and it's ready to use. Yeah. And this, our units afford you that option. I love it. I really do. So that's your two leaf if you want to go for that one. Should we show you some more as well? I might just leave that there unless Adam tells me otherwise. Uh, let's go for, can I bring this one in? Uh, I've got me, I've got me 130. Or oh, do you want the big boy? Hang on. Oh, let's do this one to begin with. Okay, now I'm going to move that out of the way, but that just shows you it's perfect for putting your die cutting and embossing machine on. Uh, this is our, which tower is this? This Joe? is the 130 tower, so, so this is where we started. So is it called 130 because that's the height? Yeah. Ah, good. Now we I understand. We hadn't thought of names when we named this one. Can you no, tell? But all of yours are named after like villages in Devon and that yeah, area, aren't they? They are. They're all sort of uh, National Trust places. Knights Hayes is just down the road from us. 
there's the X Ford is just a few there's miles the Woolacum away. and loads of different there's things. Beaches, yep. This one is the 130. First off, can we talk about the fact that this is highly portable? Mm. I just want to give this a quick move around if I may do director Adam, if that's all right. Uh, just show you, look, I mean, this is so highly portable. I mean, you are not going to be wheeling this around your house, but should you want to, if you have a bit of a spring clean and think, actually, I don't want it there, I want it over there, then it's easy to do it. And that's what I love. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten boxes included. Yep. What's the storage capacity on this one, Joe? Get your notes out, girl. Get your notes out. Don't you worry about that. There we go. This one is 68 and a half. So 68 and a half litres of storage mm. you've got here. Um, again, you've got a mixture of the deep boxes and then also the, um, the sort of classic one ream of paper A4 ones as well. You, you have, yeah. So you've got seven of the shallower ones and three of the deeper ones. So you can really organise your crafty stash. You could organise it by brand, by season, by occasion if you wanted to. You could really I, I separate it all out. You know, you've got your hunky-dory bits in there. You've got your crafters' companion bits in there. Your paper yep. dynamic bits in there. Your crafty witches bits in there. You've got your dreamies bits in there. You have got them all organised. This is it, and it's so it's that portable that this could be against the wall. But then when you're sat at your desk, you just bring it over to you. So then it could be your desk tidy. So you could have your pens in here, your glues, your hot guns, your embossing powders, and then that's not taking up precious space on your work area. Uh, it's a brilliant bit of kit, it really is. This must be one of the like, heroes of your range, because I think is. if you are a little bit challenged with your mm. space to get, what was it, 68 and a half litres yep. of storage for your craft goodies within this area, um, because it's not, you know, it's not tall as me and I'm not tall, and also the fact that, you know, you've got a relatively small, probably just a bit larger than A4 footprint. That's it, exactly. So if you can get a bit of A4 paper down on the floor, yep. that's where this unit's going to fit. So it'll fill that dead space behind the door next to your mm. chair. We've always got that little alcove bit that's that bit of space next to a piece of furniture that you can't move that you just chuck bags in this will fit and then you can organize everything does it come like this or do we need to build you do need to build it is it easy to build it's very easy to build this i will film not, myself this is not white glove one. service this one is no it? not yeah. this one no i will film myself building one just to show you how easy it is oh that do. would be lovely yeah that would be lovely actually um if you want to go for this one again i think if you are looking for a place to start good storage affordable price and a little bit of a four-way, well, not a little bit, a big bit of four-way split pay on it as well. This is definitely one to go for. £269 is your price, but £67.25 to get it home uh, because one payment today, one payment in a month. I would have said by the time the third payment comes out, you probably will have had this mm -hmm. by then. Yeah. It would have been delivered to your door. Uh, and then the fourth payment in three months' time. Let's remind you of those measurements again so you can see exactly what the height of these is, uh, what the height of these is, or this is for you. Uh, you can see it's 130 centimetres or 51 inches in height it's 12 inches across so the size of um, an old LP if you remember those I love them well yeah. they're back in vogue aren't they yeah. uh, so 30 centimetres across and then 42 centimetres or 16 and a half inches in the depth and a capacity there of 68 and a half litres on the 130 uh, if you want to go for that one it's OZ4S62 is your item code on that but maybe you're thinking I've got a lot more than that Nigel I've got a lot more to store away from that. So if we wheel that one out the way and I wheel this big boy in. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Look at that. I mean, I know I try and work out and stuff, but I'm not the biggest boy in the world. But this is nice and easy to wheel around, isn't it, Joe? It is nice and easy, but except there's a brake on one of the wheels. I can feel it. There you go. Fabulous stuff. Uh, so this is the 160. It is, yeah. So it is 160 in height. Mm -hmm but you've got 39 boxes in this. And the storage on this, we've got it written down, is... Yep. Is it that one, Joe? Uh, yes. 255 litres. It's called the Exford. 255 litres of storage in here. Mm. Um, Joe, I love the fact that all of these boxes as well, I mean, super tough. You can see through them, so you can see exactly what's in them, which is always good. Um, and they've got the Loctite um, snap fasteners on there as well. So if you are taking your crafting around with you, may maybe you're coming to Craftopia. Check out our website for the details about that. A brand new crafting weekend. Very excited. Uh, so if you are going out and about, this is going to be perfect for you as well. Um, Joe. again, I mean, you've got so much in a relatively small footprint. Yeah, so this is going to maybe fit underneath the stairs. That will fill that space up quite nicely. And it's small enough, I think, to fit into most attics as well. So if you craft upstairs, you can do that. 
Now, if you want to go for yours, we are getting busier and busier this afternoon. I am not surprised. Uh, we have two options for you. You can go for the vanilla that we have in the studio or the oak that you see on your screen there. Now, this should be £899. Our price is down to £719.99. Again, a brilliant price. But again, I get it, it's a considered purchase, which is why that fabulous split pay here at Hobby Maker comes into play again, taking that cost down to £179.99. and pence. Again, we split that over the months of April, May, June and July. Uh, message from Lynette coming through. She says, hi, Joe, I love your products. I am waiting for my single leaf craft table. They, uh, then I've run out of space. If you're like me, you'll find more. If you want more space, there's always more space somewhere. There is. Uh, yeah. Wendy messaged in earlier as well. She's messaged back, which is lovely. Uh, Wendy says, I'm treating myself to the Insto today. What's that one? Uh, that was the 130. Ah, the 130. Fabulous. Uh, the Insto today, but I've sent pictures of my previous purchase from Storage for Crafts. I put it together myself. It was very easy. Um, can we have a look at lovely it's Wendy's photo in County Down? Let's have a look. Here it comes. There you go. Oh, Joe, look at that. Nice that's and organised. Nice. And that's this unit. That's the X4, the 160. That's rather fabulous, that isn't is it? All nicely labelled. Look at that. I like that. I love that. Now, there's no wheels on that one, so obviously she's decided to not have the wheels. Yeah, you don't have to attach them if you don't want to. Yeah, so if yeah. you want it on a flat surface, if you mm. don't want to wheel it around, it's entirely up to you. Obviously, in the studio, we wheel it around because we're on more of a, you know, lino-type surface. But in your home, if it's carpet or whatever, and you just think that's where it's going, that's where it's staying, you don't have to worry about that. Um, obviously, no white glove with this one, but again, easy to put together. It is easy to put together. The easiest way I find to do it is to put the backs on the floor first, then attach the side, then the centre, the back, centre, then the final side, top and bottom on. So one person can build it. You'll need someone to help stand it up, obviously, because it's got the wheels on the bottom. And then it will probably take you longer to put all the shelf pegs in and put the shelves in than it does to build the carcass. I mean, it, it's, I mean, it's so easy to build. That's what I love about these. But remember, um, if you are going, well, if you're going for this one, you probably don't need two men coming around. But if you're going for the night's haze, oh, magic sauce, good, isn't it? Uh, if you are going for the night's haze, which, of course, is our big one behind Joan, we'll showcase that in a moment, uh, you will get two men who you know very well. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Mm. Uh, they will come round to actually erect it for you. Now, normally with the night's haze, you would have to pay, well, if you're paying for white glove service for anything, it would be an extra £250. Not here at Hobby Maker, not today, because that's included in the cost of the night's haze as well. And do you want to see how quickly these guys can put it together? This video may be a little bit sped up, I must be said, uh, but take a look at this whilst you're placing your order. Um, Joe, this is fabulous, isn't it? Because this is what happens. This is it. This is how they assemble the unit for you. And this is actually Kevin and Steve putting it together. So it doesn't really take up that much space when they're building it. And that is the night's haze they're building. I mean, that's the great thing, isn't it? Because all you need to do as a customer is basically make sure that there's an area large enough to actually house that. So you could yep. put it into your, it could be in your attic, it could be wherever you like. And that's the great thing about it. Mm. Uh, right, let's bring our night stays back in, which is brilliant. Jimmy's on hand with me. Come on, Jimmy, let's do this. Let's do this, <laughs> sunshine. Let's bring this back in. Look at that. Fabulous. Uh, right, uh, we've got a message from Teresa as well, if you want to go for Teresa. Uh, right, Teresa. Uh, Teresa says, where's the message? It's on the screen. Good afternoon. I have the Night's Haze and another unit, and they are such good quality, and the customer service is excellent. Uh, thank you, Teresa. Thank Bless you, Teresa. your beautiful heart. Uh, right. Let's remind you of our night's haze. Bless you, what you haven't seen. I'm going to let you into all the secrets of Hobby Maker. I don't care. What you've, not just, what you've just not seen is Cat and Jimmy literally moving about 83 pieces of furniture around. Not Cat, our yeah. producer. She's busy. We've got lots of cats on the show this afternoon. Not of the kind, but of the people called cat variety. Yeah. Literally pushing everything around. But it shows you how easy things can be wheeled in and out, which is yeah. great. Um, right, let's go back to the night's mm -hmm. haze. This is where you begin with the night's haze, a fabulous piece of furniture. Let's talk about the composition to begin with. Yeah, so it's melamine face chipboard. So the same as your kitchens and bathrooms. So already you know it's going to take heat. You know it's going to take fluctuations. It's going to take water being splashed on it, everything. And it's going to be easy to clean. But this is 18 mil thick. Mm. Most kitchens and bathrooms tend to be about 15. So you go, you go tough, well, you go thicker to make it more durable, yep. to make it stronger. This is it. So it's going to stay rigid. And because we use it throughout as well, we use it on the back. So you're not going to get that horrible twisting that you can get with some flat pack furniture where you have to tack in that horrible bit of plyboard. Yeah. 
we don't use that because I don't like doing it. So. Well, no, also, they always kind of like buckle and warp. If you have it at do. the bottom of the drawer, the bottom falls out. Yeah. It's just horrible. The last thing you want is to build something like that and have a ply board back and then fill it with buttons and glitter and embossing powders for it to twist and then have all that all over the floor. Absolutely. So solid backs, which also means as you put the boxes in, it's not going to go anywhere. And because it's nice and rigid, they're not going to twist. So your boxes are always going to be easy to move in and out. So this is what you're going to start with, something like this. But obviously, all of your crafting stuff needs to be inside. Mm -hmm. So there needs to be a lot of storage. Open Sesame Joe. Let's go on in. Let's... Oh, hang on. I'm going to need to move this table because we can't move this. Right, here we go. Hang on. There you go. Oh, no. Adam, come back because I want to show how easy it is to move stuff. There you go, look. It's just dead easy. Bless Adam, he's too good a director. He's like, quick, put a picture in so you don't see Nigel. <laughs> I don't mind at all. Uh, but look, you can see, open this up mm. and you can see you've got all of these bits for your storage, which is fabulous. Um, Joe, oh, let's do it all. Let's do it all. Let's get the tables down as well. Oh, hang on. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, nice and secure, nice and solid. Everything is there. This is now your workstation. This is now your crafting room. This is now your crafting station. Uh, whatever time of the day you want as well, because look, even in the wee small hours of the morning, you can light it up. You've got the light there as well, which is brilliant to light up for you. Bespoke furniture for crafters made by somebody who is a crafter, and that's what I love. Yep. Um, so, Joe, take us through the night's haze. So you've got... A4 storage, you've got 12 by 12 storage, you've got little boxes, you've got some little perfect ones. I love these boxes. So they're, they're about the length of a ruler, knitting needles. So they would be able to fit in there quite nicely. If you're trying to gauge the depth of them, the one that Nigel's holding there is about a Gutterman thread. It's fabulous, isn't it? Because yeah. you've got, you, I mean, we've got a heat gun in there, perfect. Yeah. Absolutely fabulous, these ones. So you can organise those. You've got cardstock boxes. You've got boxes big enough for your fat quarters. And all these boxes are included, they are, people. Yes. They don't have to buy. You don't have to pay extra money for the boxes. They are included in the deal. Yes, and that's the that's one of the fun bits I find. When Kevin wants to tweak a well, I say Kevin wants to tweak a piece of furniture. When I you want, want to, to tweak a piece of furniture because you're the crafter. <laughs> I bring all the boxes home and then I rearrange my crafty goodies into those boxes and then it's a bit like. Crafty Jenga, trying to put them into <laughs> furniture. Uh, so you have all the boxes and all the trays included. Even down yeah. here, look, mm. you've got boxes as well down there. That's what I love. Yeah. Any area that has got an area that can be filled, well, then Joe's going to fill it with something crafty to, um, or a yeah. storage to put your crafty bits in there. Yeah. Um, obviously, my end, I think, is mm. lovely because I just love the fact that everything over here has been thought about, maybe from a soft crafty point of view, ribbons and reels and cottons and, you know, places to hang your scissors and stuff like that it's lovely that this can be made to be like this if need be but if somebody's like i've never touched a reel in my life and i have no intention of doing so mm -hmm. then you can actually convert this into more sort of like you know paper craft friendly things like for your washi tapes yep. for your for your tools whatever it may be exactly you just when we assemble it we just wouldn't put the dowels in that yep. shelf for you and further down the line if you find that your ribbon collection has extended then get in touch and we can just send you another ribbon rack that's absolutely fine see that's lovely as well i mean the, your aftercare is phenomenal too isn't it because it's yeah. not just a case of like right we we'll deli deliver now bye oh and i am going to say as well on a on a kind of like crafting with a conscience kind of front you take all the packaging away to recycle don't you we do so once they the guys are finished they'll bring it all back and then they will repack more units into it to go out for more deliveries i'll repack the plastics into the other boxes We'll use it as many times as we can before I we love that. send it. I mean, the, this melamine in here is, I think it was 70% uh, recycled wooden pulp in the See, middle of this. See, that's so good to think about those things as well. Yep. Because I don't think somebody with furniture, we don't think about actually the composition, do no, we? No, this is it. We think about the functionality. We don't necessarily think about the, you know, the ethic behind it, as yep. it were. Um, so you have this area here. Now, obviously, you don't have to extend this out to its full capacity. We know it's about 196 centimetres, if I remember, across when it's mm -hmm. open. But obviously, if you wanted to, you can have it like this. Yep. Obviously, you could have this area like this. Because if you wanted to be crafting here, hang on. Joe, do you want to be our lovely crafter? Okay. There you go. So, like, literally, you've got that in there. Now, obviously, this side, we've got this table, so it gives mm -hmm. you that extra area to work out if need be. Yep. But if you didn't want to have that, that could go up. You put that... Put that oh, hang on, let's do that first. You put... Oh, hang, hang on. 
What have I done, Joe? Hang on, let's have a look. Let's put that in there. There you go. Thank you very much. It's a new stiffer leg bracket. Oh, what have I done? Uh, it's just stiff, actually. There we go. Ah, thank you very much. There you go. Normal thing. Man needs a woman to help him out. There you go. Uh, that can go round in place as well. You've mm -hmm. got such a lovely little area there, haven't you? You have. And also, when we come and build it for you or you build it yourself, you don't necessarily have to have the desk on the left-hand side depending on how your room is set up. So if your window is here, having the desk there would be lovely. You could then look out into the garden. But you can switch it the other way around if you wanted to. So you could have this set up on this side. You don't have to have it this way around. It is fabulous. Up you get, Joe. sorry. I know it's tempting to sit down all the time, but we can't have that, quite frankly. Um, it just adapts to what you need, and that's what I think is brilliant about this. We can see with the area there, mm. you know, the table up in the centre, that person has chosen to have... That's mine. Oh, is that yours? That's so mine. So you've obviously chosen to have, like, you know, the larger storage part on the right-hand side of the unit sort of facing you, so mm. you've got things within reach. This is it, and it fits nicely into the little alcove in my room there. And everything, as you say, is to hand. I don't have to get up too much when I'm crafting because if I want my papers, they're there. If I want my ribbons, they're there. And with the socket hole at the back there... Oh, hello. Favourite bit. <laughs> all I got Kevin to do was put a four bar through that, which we've attached to the wall, so everything can stay plugged in as well. That's where your cables go around the back, yep. which is brilliant as well. So you don't need to worry about... You know, it's not like you're going to have to get it in the back. Oh, we need to drill a hole in that now. Yeah. Um, when we open it up to its full capacity, you can just see the, how much storage. Did we work out the storage capacity on this one, Joe? Yeah, it's it on your... 244, I think. Was it on that sheet of paper that seems to have disappeared? It was, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think we wrote all the <laughs> numbers down. I have got it written down. Ah, there you go. Okay. Thank you, Kat. Yeah. It was on the table. This is 343 oh, litres yeah, okay. you have got there. That's incredible. Um, Obviously, it is a considered purchase, so we do want you to shop with confidence. Um, there are so many people that have bought this in the past who absolutely love this. It has revolutionised the way that they, not the way that they craft, I mean, because obviously you are going to craft however you craft at the moment, but it's going to be a revolution for the organisation of what you have, how you find stuff. If you've ever looked in a drawer and just thought, where's that heart die that I had? Where's that embossing folder with a key design on it? Where's that, I don't know, Greek key ribbon that I had, whatever it may be, I don't know. It's that if you've got it all organised, so you know exactly where everything is, then life is suddenly a lot easier. Easier. You don't have to think about all the faffing around. It's like, don't just bore us, get to the chorus. Everything is there. You can literally get crafting straight away. And that's the joy of this. It means that it's your little area, your little sanctuary, and mm. you are in charge of where everything is. Exactly. I mean, time is precious. So yes. any crafting time, we have to utilise to the full. The last thing you want to do is to be running around the house trying to find something that you bought at the NEC, that you bought in London, something like that. It's there. So 20 minutes crafting that you've got spare is 20 minutes crafting. Because I found in the past when I was busy looking for things, by the time I had managed to get everything and gather that I needed for my crafting, it was like, can't really be bothered now. <laughs> so true. The inspiration has kind yeah, of gone. Yeah, the joy is gone now. Yeah, whereas yeah. in here, the inspiration is pretty much here all the time because the colours are here. It could sparkle if you've got your glitters in these boxes. And so you can see the kit that you bought last Christmas to make for your aunt. Mm. It's there. Oh, I've got five minutes, I'll make a start. But that's the thing, isn't it? And I love this, it's perfect for every kind of crafting. I mean, you can see area there, room there for your sewing machine if need be, but I'm coming back. Um, it could be your die cutting and your embossing. It could be your, I love it. I think cuts to a picture every time I wander off, doesn't he, bless his heart. It could be, come back. Uh, you can see that you've got your uh, room there as well and a good weight. So it's like, if you are using your Gemini, your die cutting machines, your embossing machines, whatever it may be, not a problem. Even your larger machines as well, like your scan and cut. There is room here for this, isn't there? Let's move yep. you out of the way, bad boy. Let's put you in there. So like literally, even your larger of machines, that's going to be perfect for you as well. And of course, at the end of the day, you can fold everything away. In fact, you know what? I think you can probably, do you think you can? Just think. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there we go. Look at that. So, like, literally, we must remind Jimmy what we've done with that in case he's like, where's my machine gone? Uh, so everything will get folded away perfectly. 
Uh, if you do have any questions, obviously on the money front, we're making it as easy as we can with the split pays and things like that. Uh, no interest to pay on that. You don't get charged for split pay. But obviously, if you do have any questions about anything, we want you to get your emails in. That's what this lovely lady has done, Jill in Somerset. She says, hi, Joe and Nigel. I have the Insta. That's the 130 tower. We'll show you that again in a moment if we get this. tower's nearly gone, isn't it? Um, and wondered if you will be having the all-store store away Woolacombe soon. Yes. Yes is the answer. Yep. Is it on our website? It is on moment? your website, I think, yeah. Okay, so if you want to there. order the Woolacombe today, you can do Jill in Somerset. Um, Kat, is it possible to just whip that page up before the end of the hour? We'll have a look and see if the Woolacombe is there. Uh, we can give you that item number and stuff if you want to go for it. Uh, we've got a picture from Julie, the lovely Julie, I think they emailed in before. Okay. The smallest unit houses medication and things to, handle in, uh, things to hand in my lounge by my chair. The others, the Woolacombe and a triple with the doors, I, in my very small office craft room, I bet you've expanded the capabilities of that small room there as you can see a lot of loose boxes etc waiting mine for my new unit to come um this is brilliant you know what That's i mean really that must good. be lovely for you joe yeah to hear from people like julie who are literally mm. showing you there how organized it has made their crafting world this is it it's it warms my heart my kevin thinks i'm a bit sad when i say that but it is the ocd in me loves it seeing everything nice and organized all nicely labeled because it's really frustrating when you want something and you can't find it but if it's in a box and it's labeled you know where it is it is it's brilliant today is the start of a real investment in your crafting if you place your order today for whatever it may be whether it's this whether it's the tables whatever uh, the woolacombe that that lady asked about by the way jill we've got the details for the woolacombe for you if you do want to go for the woolacombe work uh, work storage uh, the workstation we have that 9.99 is the price on that one but look we have got Split pay, now hang on, the split pay is, so the split pay is going to be five, uh, five split pays, isn't it? So for the less than £200 today, uh, you could start that ball in motion of getting that Woolacombe for you there. The item number, if you want to go for it, is XE4S, or 45, sorry, XE4572 is your item code on that one. But details on the website, hobbymaker.co.uk. So anybody ordering today, then yep. what happens? So you'll get an email early next week with process of either assembling it yourself or we're going to come and do it we do try and communicate mostly through emails because there's only me who does all the admin and be constantly i can't the answer the phone yeah. when i'm here i can answer emails and we want so, you here yeah and then we'll just be in touch with dates and times with tracking numbers if that's what you need as well if you're putting it together yourself and obviously if there's any issues just Drop me a message. Absolutely, it's dead easy, it really is. Uh, we've got everything for you today. Don't forget the entire range is on the website. The 130 proving to be very popular as well. I'm just gonna whip this back in. There it is in the, the oak. We also have it, look at this. Can we just talk about 360 degree mobility as well? I'm going to keep spinning. <laughs> love it. I love the fact it would do that. It just makes it's life cool, so much it? more pleasurable. Yes. Uh, so this one, the one, uh, the 130, always popular. Why do you think that is, Joe? I think because it's such a compact unit that takes up such a small footprint. So it will fit next to your chair. It will fit behind the door because it's only just over an A4 piece of paper. So if that fits on the floor... And this is going to go there. 68 and a half litres of yep. storage in there. Mm -hmm. Now, have a think about this, because Joe and I are back at four o'clock this afternoon. I appreciate this is not going to be one of those shows where I'm screaming, 20% gone, 40% gone, 80% gone. It's one of those shows where literally I am, well, Joe, bringing us brilliant items that are going to make such a change to your crafting world. Um, we are back at four o'clock with this. There's some brilliant shows between now and then, so don't go anywhere. But in this little break that's coming up, why don't you go to your craft room? Maybe you're sat there now. Have a look at the boxes and think to yourself, do I know where everything is? Do I know where that fabulous hunky-dory kit that I bought? Do I know where that fabulous Crafty Witch's item that I bought? Do I know where that fabulous Dreamy's item that I bought is? Do you know where it is? That it's safe, that it's stored away, that it's not going to be dog-eared, that it's not going to get cat hair all over it? You know, all of those things that we have to worry about. If you think that your craft room needs a spring clean, needs a makeover, needs a crafty glow-up, then this is the show for you. We'll be back at four, but I've got something very special for you after the break. We'll see you then. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker.
never miss a show by watching on the go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Hobby Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Shopping with Hobbymaker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobbymaker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobbymaker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. If you're shopping here at Hobbymaker and have a discount code to use, this is applied at checkout via our website or app. Once you've added all your items to your basket, then simply pop the code in the discount box and click redeem. The price will automatically adjust and then you're ready to continue with checkout. Alternatively, if you're shopping with us via the phone, our friendly help team will apply the discount for you. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Good afternoon and welcome back to Hobby Maker. My name is Nigel May. It's a thrill and honour and a delight to be on this show for the next hour. Let me tell you, uh, because we have got the most incredible show for you. We being myself, of course, the fabulous Anna Lou Pickering as well. Uh, it's here. Hello, darling lady. Hi, as ever. it's a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> and we're not on our own, are we? Because look who's here. Old crafty Linda's here as well. Our lovely Linda Chapman is going to be bringing us some crafty in a wee while with some fabulous digital down downloads. All to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the fabulous Born Free Foundation, um, which of course has had such a great part of your life due to obviously your late great mother, the fabulous Pollyanna Pickering, who for people that don't know, because maybe you're a brand new viewer watching us on Virgin, uh, Pollyanna Pickering was sadly not around anymore, 
in my opinion, the greatest wildlife artist that we've ever had. A, fant a fantastic lady and your mum. She was, and I certainly wouldn't argue with that. I might be slightly biased. Of course. But to be fair, her work sold in 80 countries around the world. And she How was many? 80. And Eight I can't zero even zero countries name around the world. Countries, but her <coughs> published work was exported into 80 countries. Her original work was shown in prestigious galleries all around the world. And she was recognised as one of the top 10 wildlife artists in the world and it's so. no surprise because I mean look at the artwork that we have yeah. in the studio these are genuine original artworks from the fabulous Pollyanna mm. um, the artwork will live on for forever and you know if you've watched these shows on Hobby Maker before we have got some crafty delights of artwork like this for you to be able to replicate things like this in a digital format and to create whatever you like in the crafting world which is brilliant but because we are celebrating the 40th anniversary of Born Free we'd like to bring you some very special things your late great mum was actually part of the Born Free, or had an association with the Born Free Foundation for how many years of the 40 years? 37. Wow. She, over her, she had a very long career. She was professional 50 years. And in that time, her work was commissioned by really every animal charity or organisation you can think of. You know, Worldwide Fund for Nature and the RSPB, lots of international organisations. But Born Free were undoubtedly the organisation she had the closest links with, and I would say the longest ongoing. Uh, she visited lots of their projects around the world to sketch some of the beautiful animals they'd rescued, and she was a patron of theirs for many years. I mean, this is the thing. I mean, the, the foundation itself, <coughs> set up by Virginia McKenna and her husband, Bill Travers, yes. um, 40 years ago. That's right. Obviously, I think when most people think of Born Free, they think of a rather... A rather teary and beautiful and emotional film as well, don't they? Um, Elsa the Lion. So it's something that has been in our lives for a long, long time. So it's well worth celebrating <coughs> 40 years of this fabulous foundation. To celebrate today, Anna Lou has brought this in, a fabulous brochure. Now, anybody that buys this brochure today, and we'll get the details up for this, anybody that buys the brochure today, the, um, the money that goes from buying this will be going to the Born Free Foundation. It will. We are doing an appeal for their 40th anniversary year, so this will be... £10, and really what you are doing is you are giving a donation to our appeal. Yes. You're getting this as a thank you. You're going to get something else with it as well, which will come you to you in a minute. You are in a minute, yes. But this is it's a lovely brochure because what I've done is I've looked back at those 37 years that Pollyanna was involved with Born Free. So it's full of photos and stories and images. So it tells you a little bit about their work, a little bit about her work, where those two things sort of intersected. And you've got stories about some of the individuals animals they rescued, stories about the beginning of the Born Free Foundation. So it's just a lovely thing to look back at that 40 years that they've been doing this incredible work for I wildlife. I love it because there's so many stories about trips that your mum and yourself went on as well and also some of the things that have been done to commemorate the fabulous lady as well. I mean this is the perfect page actually because if we look up here you can see Pollyanna's cheetah story now your mother I think must have photographed every animal known to man um, over the years but obviously a lot of those animals were wild animals wildlife creatures yeah. um, in their natural habitat as well every Every picture that Pollyanna has created over the years has a heartbeat, doesn't it? Absolutely. That's what I love. There's always a story Absolutely. behind it. Now, even after the lady's sad death, mm. there is um, a heartbeat to everything that she does as well. Yes. These two cheetahs here, one of them has a very familiar name. Well, Born Free rescued these two beautiful little cheetah cubs from the pet trade. They were being transported across the Somalian border. And it was just the most beautiful honour. In memory of Pollyanna, they named one of the cubs after her. And isn't that just the most perfect tribute she could ever have had? So is this one here, Pollyanna? Uh, it's the, the one I got. It? Yes, that's the one. The one at the top there. The one below is her little brother. So Pollyanna's and they were brother rescued and then together. Pollyanna. How and the most super wonderful. cute is but that? As you touched on there, the fact that Pollyanna always painted animals that she'd seen in the wild yes. in their natural habitat was, I think, really why she bonded so closely with born free because that was so much their ethos about wildlife being in the wild living a natural it life in the wild and preserving well. it in the wild now 
That's not all you are getting. <laughs> we have got <clears throat> a rather exclusive little bundle for you today. Um, if you've seen on the front of the counter, you've probably seen something <laughs> over here with a toilet on the front cover. And you thought, what is that? If you probably thought, was that Nigel left some <laughs> magazine on the <laughs> counter by mistake? No, 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 no. This is from Anna Louise. It's called Inconveniences. And basically... Well, Anna, Anna Lou, over to you for the story on this one. Well, absolutely. Well, if you are kind enough to support our brochure and pay your £10 to the Born Free Foundation, as a little thank you, we will give you completely free this little booklet, which we normally ask for £5 for, for our fundraising. Now, Pollyanna and I travelled all over the world so she could study and paint wild animals in their natural habitats. We would come back from those journeys to some very remote areas, having been to some incredible incredible places, seen some unbelievable wildlife. The question that everybody would ask was, but how did you go to the loo in those circumstances? <laughs> this little booklet Hello. answers some of those questions. Yes, uh, we do touch on some bathroom facilities as well. <laughs> um, yes, it is for evident reasons called inconveniences. And it's just, it's, it's really funny. It's the perfect booklet to have in the smallest room. <laughs> it's been making me laugh today because A, I love the fact that Anna Lou has brought this well. to us, which really made me titter. <laughs> uh, but also the fact that it's a bit like around the world in 80 toilets, isn't it? But it's not quite 80, not quite but they're, 80. they're funny. <laughs> also, can I just say as well, I don't know mm. if there's a connection here, but the moment we showed the drawing of Anna Louise in the shower somewhere, which I, immediately I was like, she's... She's got her boots on. I love it. Honestly, you can't take a photo of that. Um, our phone lines have gone crazy. It's like have so they? many people yes. have popped this in their baskets. <laughs> there you go. Well, we were in China working in a very, very remote little panda hospital with amazingly basic facilities. The only shower was a barrel with a tap in it and they had to heat water and then fill this barrel and then you stood under it and it took a lot of doing they had to sort of build an open fire and heat this water and I was saying well no don't go to any trouble for me because I'd seen the floor of this bathroom that the barrel was over and I was sort of saying to Pollyander under my breath I'm not going to stand on that. Did it look a little unhygienic? Mm, say? Yes, it did. And they heated the water they'd gone to all this trouble so of course I had to have the shower in my boots. Now, I wouldn't let Pollyanna take a photo. Very strange that I did, you know. You don't really need to get your mother to take a picture of you in the couldn't, show, I Couldn't you? stop her doing a cartoon in a sketch, but well, no, could I? <laughs> did, did Pollyanna do that cartoon? Yes, everything. Oh, that. everything in here. It's it's my photographs, Pollyanna's cartoons, even a couple of her paintings as well have sneaked in there as well. There's a gorgeous I tiger and things like that. I did not realise that. That yes, that's one of Pollyanna's cartoons. Oh my gosh, that makes it even more special. Now that should be a fiver, but you're not paying a fiver. You're getting that with getting the brochure free. for free. And it's and fun. That's exclusively <laughs> here at Hobby Maker. And remember yes. that when you are buying this today, um, you know, I, I, I implore everybody out there to buy this because literally this is making a donation to one of the most fantastic, fantastic foundations that this planet has ever seen. For four decades, it's been around the Born Free Foundation. Now, if you want to go for that one, item de details on the screen. SN7680 is your item code for that one. But we've also got some fabulous prints for you as well. Uh, these are limited edition prints. When they're gone today, they are gone. Now let's, thank you. So Perfect. Let's start with these, our lions. You are going to be getting... Move it up a bit, my lovely. Thank okay, you, darling. You, uh, you are going to be getting two of these. You will get the lion and the lioness themselves. So you get them as a pair. And the price of this, normally they would be how much each? They would normally be £15 each. Um, Not here. £20 for the pair. Absolutely. Thank it's you so much Special for offer, this. just to celebrate, you know, mark the foundation, the fact that we can do this special show we wanted to do a a nice offer on these. So and these are not going to be clothes. reprinted. So when they are gone, they are gone. If you don't get these today, uh, they will disappear, quite frankly. Leanne, you're in. Jennifer, you're in. Caroline, you're in. <laughs> Already 10% of our stock disappearing oh, like gorgeous, that. because aren't uh, they stunning? <laughs> they are beautiful. I mean, this to me is the perfect way. I mean, between what we're seeing here and what lovely Linda's going to be showing us in a wee while with our digital downloads, you are able to literally have that beautiful inspirational Pollyanna artwork in your home, on your wall, in your cards, in your scrapbooks, in your home decor, whatever it may be. And that's a legacy that will live on for forever. Absolutely. And that's the lovely thing. Pollyanna did these paintings for people to enjoy them, for there to be in their homes, part yeah. of their lives. And Absolutely. it's so lovely that that carries on, that these will be on people's walls being enjoyed. We're so busy. Over 10% of the stock has gone on our lines <laughs> already. EY7623 is your item code there. 
thanking you. Uh, now, these you've already gone for. You're already on the phone lines, the website and, and the app for these. These are, oh, my lovely, bless you. I, I, I need outfit, training, don't perfect. I? Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's camouflaged with your outfit today as well. Um, these are your cheetahs that we have for you here. This one, I am loving this one. No, this one. This cheetah here is my favourite thing in life right now. That look is just like, what are you doing? I know. He's uh, just looking at the tip of that tail, isn't he? Any minute now. <laughs> is there a story behind these as well? They were all painted in the wild. These were ones that Pollyanna sketched on expedition in Africa. So they are wild cheetahs from the African bush. Yeah. I just think beautiful. it's glorious. I mean, put these Aren't in they? a frame, you know, get them hung under glass, whatever, on a wall, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Limited edition prints. When they are gone, they are gone. gone. Pollyanna and Anna Lou and uh, Linda are not going to be here in six months' time no. with this Pollyanna print no, saying, no, like, oh, it's going to be, you know, we've got it back. No, 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 no. They're not even going to be on lovely Anna Lou's website, are they? They're not. They are completely exclusive to Hobby Maker. And I'll just quickly mention as well, with these, we will send them to you Flat. They're not going to come rolled up in a tube, so you've not got to worry about kind of trying to press them That's and iron so them. And they will come with a lovely backing board, completely flat, so ready to frame, ready to put on the wall. I love it as well. I love the fact that the prints actually look like they've been framed already as yes. well. You know I mean, <laughs> the fact that you've got that faux frame on there is exactly. lovely. Stick that literally under glass, the job is done. 20% of our stock is gone. Normally it would be £15 for this one. What are you looking at? Or £15 <laughs> for the other one. But you get both of them here at Hobby Maker today exclusively for just £20. When they're gone, they are gone. Yeah. Uh, SM7690, your item code there. Just to remind you as well, please do check out on your brochure and your trip to toilet town, as I call it, the Inconveniences <laughs> magazine as well. Uh, they are both there for you. Uh, they are £10. Think of it as a donation. Don't think of it as I'm spending £10. Even if it's not your thing today do you know what i think it's nice to do a good thing each and every day if you know somebody that you think would love this why not get it as a little gift 10 pound donation literally to the born free foundation which is wonderful sn7680 your item code now we do have a couple of previous books from the fabulous pollyanna pickering range as well they are on the website so if you want to check those out please do so uh, the website of course is uh, hobbymaker.co.uk now all of this artwork <coughs> excuse me has inspired the crafty world as well because courtesy of our lovely linda chapman she got in touch with obviously the late great pollyanna and who was just one of the most adorable ladies you could have ever met as is anna lou and it means that the, in the crafty world this artwork will move on which is brilliant let's take a look at some of the things that we've got in the studio for you today you can just see how fabulous these are you could be doing this in your own home making home decor making craft projects making card projects making scrapbook projects using this fabulous artwork artwork that shows the late great pollyanna pickering's beautiful paintings beautiful artistry at their best look who's here everybody it's our crafty witch it's linda mm. how are you darling i'm very well thank it's you it's lovely to see you how joyous 40 years of the born free foundation yes. 37 of those with the fabulous pollyanna and we have got some digital downloads yes. today as well and never when i was 11 years of age watching born free my you mom cried took as well me. didn't you i cried and she i've did. never ever been able to watch that film since it's a it prior, is isn't it? i mean you know it, it it's a real tearjerker but beautifully so absolutely mm. but never all those 50 years back since the film was released, did I think I'd be standing here today? Well, it is a true honour, isn't it, to always talk about Born Free. And it's a true honour to say today, courtesy of this lovely lady, we have got an exclusive bundle that is bigger than any other digital yes. download collection that we have ever had before. Now, I know the temptation is to download it right now and basically be like scrolling through it and looking through everything by the end of the show today. It is a big collection, so it's gonna take a wee while to download or upload onto your machine, onto your computer. So you place your order, then do you know what? I would sit back, watch the rest of the show, soak up the inspiration from the lovely Linda, soak up the information from the fabulous Anna Lou, and then at the end of the hour, get uploading or just set it going and then sit back and watch us you've got over 900 pages in this exclusive bundle broken down into 10 collections you've got lioness elsa elsa's pride freedom pride of africa majestic tiger black panther white tiger cheetah margay and elephant calf in there as well all of those by the elephant big cats Yes, and, and I think they were Pollyanna's forte. I mean, yeah. she was just a marvellous artist, but big cats have always been a favourite of her. And a, a, a favourite big cat was the cheetah. 
because the cheetah spends that much energy chasing after its prey, but 90% of the time it never catches it. <laughs> and the elephant was the very first animal that Born Free um, saved. This is Poli Poli, and those of you who are my age will remember Poli Poli, and Anna Lou will tell you the story of Poli Poli. Um, can we say the angel policy for starters? Yes, because please. I know that is very important to people. You can more or less do what you want. The only things we, as long as it's a finished uh, product, a finished article, you can print on whatever will go through your printer. These are the images that people will go and buy because lots of crafters like to, to um, support animal charities. Mm -hmm. This artwork is timeless. We've already been going, this is our 11th year with Pollyanna. We're still using new paintings mm, from there's her. There's lots to come. You can be teaching your children as you're using these about how these animals have got to be looked after and saved. But um, you can make to sell for profit, for charities. If it'll go through your printer, you can print on material. You can... So um, as long as you're making something, yeah, so it you can, can be whatever you like. You can make your own tote bags if you want. Um, Shanae, or Shanae, oh, I, I never remember, she's on. done this beautiful, she's got an old plate and done this on rice paper and some Mod Podge and put it Can over there. That as well, this hairband? Yeah, hair and a hairband. So just use your imagination. Right, so let's see what we've got in okay. this thing because we are getting busier and busier. It goes without saying no PMP on this one because obviously it's a digital, it's an instant purchase. Order on the web, hobbymaker.co.uk. Yeah, you've Linda, got, you've got to order it on the web. You can't yep. go through the phone lines. You just click on purchase and it automatically starts to download. So for the main, for the bundle, you're going to get the main Born Free collection and then you're going to get two smaller collections. And um, we've got the, the price up there already. You're more or less saving the price of one of the smaller collections. The bundle is exclusive to Hobby Maker. So in the main bundle, you've got 10 pieces of artwork, nine of which you've never seen before. You will have seen this uh, piece of artwork before. And I purposely chose this um, painting to go on this collection because this was a painting that Pollyanna did at the request of Born Free and it, she painted it and then it was put up for auction oh, and raised tens of thousands of pounds. So it was especially painted for the Born Free um, Foundation. So we've got tigers because they, didn't, they don't just save um, lions and lionesses. Oh no. You've got this, this beautiful black panther. The marge is from South America. You've got the lions, you've got this white tiger, you've got the cheetah, and then you've got, as I say, you've got poly poly, and you've got that magnificent um, male lion. So that's in your main collection. So what I'm going to show you now, in each of the design sets, you get 10, you get everything you're going to see now. So you're going to get all of these toppers. And remember, folks, with a digital download, you can... As the things we don't allow you to do is to print and sell the individual papers. We don't allow you to take it into um, an, an external piece of software and change the colours and everything. Why would you? The colours are perfect as they are. But you can within Adobe Reader, because these are PDF files, you can within Do Adobe Reader isolate certain toppers and change the size mm. of them if you want to make them larger. These are done at 300 dpi, so you can take them more or less to the end as big as your A4 paper. So they are your toppers. Uh, we've got a message for you already from Chris in Bedfordshire. Hi, Linda and Lynn Hi, Nigel. Chris. I ordered, obviously, Linda, don't forget, oh, you yes. can print on icing if you have an edible ink printer. Can you remember, Chris? You, were, I do, yeah. you switched his Christmas lights on. I me. do. <laughs> so, Linda. Well, we, Hi, well I didn't do that. I was invited to go and turn <laughs> the Christmas can. lights on by the time I got there because we were a bit late getting there. So now, I should have done it. Can you um, just look at these decorative papers? You do not get any... Re these are not... We haven't given you 10 design sets and then given you these 10 papers and 10 different colour options. No. Each design All set different. has its own set of decorative papers and these papers can be used whether it's with Pollyanna or without. Or and these yeah. are absolutely stunning. Then we've got... Um, I'm going to get keep these in the right Getting order. Getting busier and busier on the board for We've got your essential papers. We've got your solid colours for you to do your mats and layers. And then because Pollyanna painted in um, gouache, which is a form of watercolour, 
we can't cut out elements for decoupage. So we've given you freestyle decoupage. Now, can you imagine that A4 sheet there printed and put in a frame? It'll and be you gorgeous. can sell it. Yes. You can sell it. Then we've got ready-made cards with artwork by Pollyanna Pickering in the different sizes. So you can just um, print those out and put them in a bundle. I mean, just say we're obviously showing a scaled down version. Yes. Not real These size. These will all be A4 yeah, size. You can and you can make them whatever size you like. Yeah. Then we've got uh, boxes. We've got envelope liners. We've got card panels. We've got uh, sentiments, alphabet tiles, so you can personalise. We've got a gift bag. We've got artwork by Pollyanna. Then we've got the borders uh, portrait and landscape. We've got large toppers, small toppers. And then we've got your inserts. And we've got your inserts with a greeting. And then we've got them um, muted colours without a greeting in all the different card this sizes is stunning. as well. It's, it's such a library of cre uh, creativity, isn't it? This is what I love. You know that everything I've just seen, uh, I've just shown you will all mix, match and harmonise. If you knew this is where you think, oh, this is just overwhelming, mm. it's too much for me. You can't go wrong because we know we've picked out the colours especially. Becky Seddon, who is a uh, toil witch, who is my, my other half in business. One of the witches. She is one of the best in the business and she has um, done an absolutely fantastic job and she'll be watching with little Bertie before she goes and picks another up from school. So that is what you're going to get. That is just a tenth of what you will get on that uh, big bundle on the main collection. Now, this is the first one of the smaller collections, and this is Elsa. And this is a, a totally different uh, take on it to, to on the main collection. We've, the colours have been kept muted. And when you look at it, we used to do um, CD-ROMs, the sketchbook style. Can you remember day, with yes. Pollyanna's yeah. writing? This, this writing here is Pollyanna's own handwriting. And her handwriting is beautiful. So you will love, um, you will love using these in, in just this. It um, gives it that credence, that authenticity, it does, doesn't it? It does. And just absolutely beautiful, beautiful artwork. And again, very muted colours with the backing papers. I mean, we call this a smaller collection. There's actually 77, 77 pages. 77 pages. It's actually as, as big as each of the design sets on the main bundle, mm. but as a separate one. Then you've got your essential papers. You've got your three uh, colours. And this, this is what the, the painting looks like in its entirety, this sheet here. So again you could just print that out and frame it. And we've got all the paper emporium um, papers on the show as mm -hmm. well. So you've got the brick and you've got your 160, is there, your 200 DSM. And then here are all your inserts as well. And have we got one more? Yes. So you've got boxes, you've got your card panels, your sentiments, your alphabet tiles, your bag your tags, your borders, and your artwork by Pollyanna Pickering. So if you want to give her that collection, we're calling that the Elsa collection, the Elsa Explores collection. That's $8.99 on its own if you want to give that, but it does come as part of this bundle. So you've got it over there, but if you want to give it as part of the bundle, it makes more sense to get in the bundle, because I think, why have one bit of Pollyanna when you can have a whole host, the largest collection ever yes. of Pollyanna that Linda has bought us here at Hobby Maker? And then this is the Wild Lioness, and this is in the same style, but with a, a, you know, a different uh, piece of artwork and again you've got these muted colours so you've got all your toppers there then you've got your backing papers and you can see just by me showing you the three collections how all the backing papers are different and believe you me this takes a lot of work yes indeed there's a lot of love goes into these uh, collections and you can always tell when the when my boys and girls have really enjoyed it because we get loads well, of i want to show some samples in there because there's so many delicious um, samples then you've got your essential papers you've got your three solid colors so you've got your dark your medium and your light and then you've got um what you can do some decoupage with that by just cutting the line out there. Where we can, we keep Pollyanna's signature on everything. Then you've got the ready-made cards. You have your inserts. And then you've got your gift boxes, your card panels, your sentiments, your gift bags, your alphabet tiles. There's just so much in there. If this was a paper kit, 
it would be in three figures. And if this was a paper kit, you'd only be able to use it once. Because you'd only get one sheet of each. Exactly. The beauty with digital crafting, with you know any type of um, CD-ROM craft or anything like that, this is a shop open 24 hours a day, and I have been on my soapbox for 20 years. Yesterday oh, she has. was the anniversary of my first live show on another channel. So for 20 years, I've been banging the drum. This is a shop that opened 24 hours a day that never shuts and it never, ever runs out of stock. Of Linda Chapman, never paper. stop banging. That's all I'm <laughs> going to say, quite frankly. Um, it is a complete angel policy. You can make what you like as long as you're making something. So I just want to give a quick flick through. I mean, there's so many samples. I'm going to endeavour to show, because you're on what, twice today, aren't we're you? We're on at 6 p.m. as well. With the lovely, is it Rosie and tonight? I think it Rosie, is, Rosie, yes. So I just want to show you as many samples as possible, though, because these that are just gorgeous. That white tiger is stunning. When you see the, the set we've done, the design set with the white tiger, it's absolutely stunning. And this is beautiful. the Margate. This is quite a small cat that lives in South America. And then so you've, you've, got you've been edu educated with these. I have. You, I have learned such a lot since in the 11 years I've been working with Pollyanna and now with Anna Louise. And um, it's it's lovely when we get together. <laughs> you know, we have a good. We had a good chinwag in the hotel last night. Of course, night. she did. And um, uh, Anna Louise staying there again tonight. And it's. Um, it's just lovely that this legacy just lives on. That's just gorgeous. Beautiful, that Black Panther. Um, I want to show one on the counter behind you, that head in the middle, uh, Linda. That needs to be shown because that is just gorgeous. This Look is one of Shania's. How beautiful is that? So what Shania will have done there is she will have um, cut out the, the topper using a snapshot tool. And if you want to know how to use these things, just go to our website on the how-to and everybody What's the website? Then, um, www.thecraftywitches.co.uk Thank you very much indeed. And there is a link on the um, the actual download that says how to. Just click on that and it takes you to it. But you just, it, what she's done is she's took a snap, she's taken a snapshot, she's made it larger and then she's just cut it out and made a shaped card with it. I just think it's so incredible that what you can do with these as well, I mean literally as ever, you create the most wonderful things, Linda, you and the team. Can you just show that book? Ian has, um, Ian who's with me in the oh, studio yes. today, he's, he's my wingman today, bless oh, him. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is actually going to be given to Anna Lou at the end of the shows. And I think she's going to... This is stunning. I think she's going to... This is each of the 10 design sets in the main bundle. Um, isn't it absolutely... Absolutely look at that stunning. White tiger. That's incredible. Incredible, incredible. Of course, Ian will know because he comes on the air he now. Does, and then, he does, yes. That's just beautiful. Well, Anna Lou's going to be absolutely chuffed silly with that one, isn't she? Um, we are getting busier and busier. Do you want to show us a little bit of inspiration, lovely Linda? Okay, so um, when you get your download, um, it comes as a zip file, and that's because we compress it into as small a download as we can get. So when you... Um, when you download it, it will come as one big zip file. You click on extract all, and then it, you will open up three smaller zipped files, which each in turn have to be um, unzipped. You can use it on the interface I'm going to show you can only be used on Windows based PCs because we, we just can't cater for all of the different devices you can use these days. When I first started 20 years ago, it was only a, a Windows PC. Sure. If you had a Mac in those days, you were posh. Now, you can use it on Chromebooks, you can use it on iPads, you can use it on iPhones, you can use it on Android phones. If you need any help, you just contact us, read the how-to, but Ian, the, uh, Kevin the Warlock is always there to help. Please do not get stuck. So if you are a Mac user, Chromebook, iPad, you need to play with the file. So when you open it up, when you've unzipped it, when you open it up, you want to go to autoplay. And then you go into docs. And what we've done by, by people asking is we've given you indices now so you can print out little thumbnails to show you what's in each of the design sets. When you go into um, window, if you're using Windows, you want to run it. So you click on auto run and you will see this um, lovely landing page, this lovely interface. 
So oh, there, are, right. there are your 10 design sets. All you do is click on enter and you're into the main collections. So you've got Lioness, Selsa, Elsa's Pride, Freedom, Pride of Africa, Majestic Tiger, Black Panther, White Tiger, Cheetah, Margay and Elephant Cart. Can I click on the White Tiger? Please do. They're all gorgeous, Linda. Right, look Everyone's at this. a winner. So literally, you click on a, a piece of artwork, at one of the toppers that you like. It opens in, up in a PDF viewer, such as Adobe Reader or Foxit, and literally you go to file print and then you can uh, print it off as I say. You need to print it off the best quality because this is a high quality. This, what we are giving you, uh, if it was going to go to print, these are the files we would send to the professional printers. So please use good quality paper. The paper emporium is perfect for it. The 160 GSM is perfect for the toppers because you're going to mat and layer. But please print it at best quality. It, the, the paper you use won't drink the ink. So you've got your toppers and I'm just going to keep clicking on next and just show you exactly what you're getting. Look at those backing papers, decorative papers. Then you've got your essential papers to mat and layer with to break up the pattern papers. You've got your three solid papers, your dark, your medium and your light. Can you imagine this A4 sheet there with that white tiger on just in a frame? And you can sell it. Pollyanna and Anna Lou are quite happy for you to sell it. That is stunning. You've got your ready-made cards. You've got your inserts, and when you hover over them, it tells you what size they are. Then you go to click next, you've got your smaller inserts, you've got your DL inserts. Click on next, you've got a bag, you've got another bag, you've got boxes, you've got tags, you've got your card panels. Click on next, you've got your alphabet tiles to personalise your cards, your sentiments, your borders, portrait and landscape, because it does make a difference. Then you've got your artwork by Pollyanna to give you works and provenance. And then you've got your envelope liners. So with these, you just print your back in your decorative paper, your essential paper, print this on the other side, cut them out and it lines your envelope. So you've and got a matching envelope as well. Is there more, Linda? No, if you go back home, it takes you back to the home page. And if we were to click on the Majestic Tiger, you, get the same you again would get for each all animal. the same again, but it would be different colours. and just want to show papers. some fabulous samples as well, because I think there's so many samples, it would be a crime not to show as many as possible. That is an absolute stunner. I mean, it really is gorgeous, Linda. And let's remember, I mean, you could be making these time and time again. Linda has said with Anna Lou, it's a complete angel policy to make what you like. And that is the joy, I think, for animal charities or just to fund your own craft you have it these are going to be gorgeous message from sandra she says hi linda nigel and anna lou thanks so much for this digital download collection i've already purchased <laughs> absolutely love the white Beautiful. tiger design thank you thank you they are gorgeous um i need to go back and see the lovely anna lou i will be yeah. back with you do you want to prepare us a little paper I demo i will do yes you're a little angel you may have to tidy up after me as That's well all right um, if you do want to order remember there are three ways to order either by the website the phone line or via the app if you are paying pmp well you're not for the digital downloads don't forget that everything else we have a cap pmp of three pounds and 95 pence just take a look at what you could be making with these fabulous collections as well this is what i think is phenomenal literally you could have pollyanna's artwork in your home for home decor it could be for craft card making it could be for scrapbooking whatever you want this is one of the hugest libraries that we have had from the crafty witches and i will say this is probably the hugest collection of Pollyanna Pickering artwork that we've had in one place at one time. And there's a very good reason for that. We are celebrating 40 years of the Born Free Foundation. If you are just joining us, then the fabulous Anna Lou Pickering is here, of course. Um, not just, well, you're a patron of the Born Free Foundation yourself. I now, am, aren't you? absolutely. It was so lovely they asked me to continue in that role oh, as well. Right, so. So. Continuing the great work of your mm. late great mother. Uh, Pollyanna Pickering, of course, I mean, I said before, I'm, in my opinion, the greatest wildlife um, artist that we have ever had in this country. You said she was listed in the top 10 worldwide. In the world, yes. Hello. Yeah, I know. Better. Incredible accolades. I mean, she fortunately was recognised throughout her lifetime with almost 50 awards, but I've also been presented with posthumous awards in New York since we lost her. And yes, so I, I think still it's lovely. I'm going to big you up a moment as well, because I think it's fabulous that you keep on 
you know, honouring your late great mum, but also continuing the good work in your own right as well, which is wonderful. Well, it's the most amazing legacy. It's a privilege to be able to do it. Oh, I think yes. it's I think it's fabulous. It really is. Um, we could not do a big cat show without a couple of books from a Pollyanna's back catalogue, if you like. Um, this one, which includes text and photography by a certain Anna Lou as well. Uh, this is uh, the Eye of the Tiger. What's this one about, then? Well, I brought two books today. Both of these books, uh, the wonderful Dame Virginia McKenna wrote the foreword for them. So they've got that link to the Born Free Foundation. And the first half of this book actually tells the story. Now, most people, when they think of Born Free, of course, they think of lions. Yes. But the very first association Pollyanna had with them, she was invited to go to India to paint five tigers that Born Free had rescued, actually from a roadside circus in this country, from the most horrible conditions. They'd been flown out to this beautiful reserve in India, and she went out to paint them, and that was how the association started. So the first half of this book tells that story the story of our journey, which was remarkable. I had just started working alongside Pollyanna at that time, and I was lucky enough to go on that expedition. You at the time? I had my 21st birthday oh my on expedition this is in brilliant. India. Didn't yes. you have the best birthday gift for your 21st? I certainly had the most unusual, and it, it, the story is all told in this book. On my 21st birthday, I was presented with a live sloth bear cub as my birthday gift. Yes. A live sloth a bear cub. A live bear cub. They'd actually, the, we were staying in a government campsite. The workers had been out on the mountainside that morning, found this orphaned bear cub. They knew it was a special birthday for me. They knew 21 is sort of significant in the UK. So they thought it was a sign and they thought, we'll give the, the bear cub to the very tall blonde woman. I think <laughs> that's just incredible. Having her 21st birthday. Yes. And of course, we, I couldn't bring him home because can you imagine going through Heathrow? And oh my god. I have you got anything to declare madam and my bag's wriggling like That's you know, fabulous. <laughs> I, you know, I was happy with an Aber album for mine. <laughs> you got that. That's I got genius. a bear cup. Um, and we did actually, the, oh this is a lot to the story but we ultimately paid for him to be transferred to the same oh, sanctuary god. that we'd visited to paint the tigers. And then at the back of the book, as we've just come to, you've got a gorgeous portfolio of 30 pieces of artwork. I'm going to get our Dan on and camera they to be really close on this as well, yes, because amazing. it's just come on in, Dan. You're a tiger, So Dan. the paintings at the back, you can see the results of Pollyanna's expedition. The first one to see the Born Free Tigers, there's the story of a second expedition we made to a different part of India, and then the incredible paintings that resulted. But yeah, there's lots of stories. The books are, you know, there's lots of information in in there about the wildlife but there's lots of funny stories they're quite humorous you can imagine we had so many adventures uh, I love a coffee on table these book trips. not only is beautiful yeah. to look at but also beautiful to dive on into as well um, 22 pounds and 50p is the price on that one if you would like to go for it uh, item code on that is QS7660 your item code for you there uh, now we've also got for you giant panda and sleeping dragons for you now again we were working glorious yes. harmony here, <laughs> thank you darling lady uh, you can see I mean again what's this one about more stories from around the world absolutely we were fortunate enough to travel into a part of China in the very early 1990s as you can That's tell the from... best photo again let's <laughs> br come on in come on Mariana in. Mariana and I getting ready to go on expedition and actually that's a little sneaky peek into our packing preparations because there's yeah, big stack of loo rolls at the side. Which if takes you, us back to our inconvenience. If you imagine more of that in a moment. our cases were effectively just filled with sketching equipment for Pollyanna, photographic equipment for me, loo rolls, medical bits and pieces, any sort of antihistamines and things we might need, and then about three T-shirts that we've got space for down the side. I, I'm going to say, what I love as well, I mean, I've never asked you this, was there ever a bit of you that was just like, Mum, I don't want to go? It's like, yeah. we're always, like, mm, so I ready to I struggled with the colder countries, yeah. where, yes. Uh, yeah, I, not, I, I would sort of say, don't you fancy painting, you know, an exhibition of seashells? We could perhaps go to the Bahamas. Yeah. Or oh, that would be never hard. happened, never happened. It was Let's always Bora somewhere, Bora or somewhere. Yes, very remote. So, particularly remote. This expedition we made was absolutely unique. We were the first two Westerners to go into an area of the Tibetan borderlands for at least 80 years, probably a lot longer than that. That was as far back as records went. Wow. So you can imagine the experiences we had. We ended up, as you get further into the book, working in a little hospital for Chinese wildlife, specifically pandas, 
taking care of a six month old rescued baby panda. And again, as you come to the back of the book, you will see photos of Pollyanna sketching this oh, panda. Oh, hello, the shower again. Yes, that, that, that was indeed the expedition with said barrel. Oh. Yes, but here, if we can see these images, this is Pollyanna. Is there a larger one, though? Yeah. Uh, we, well, we certainly have a little run here. We got down. Oh, that's yeah, the one, Dan. Come uh, on in. She's sketching where she got. Yes, and he did have very sharp teeth. That was Pollyanna's <laughs> right hand, which obviously was quite important to her. Yes. <laughs> being bitten by a small panda cub. But no other artist has ever had that kind of contact, spent that time with a panda cub. And then again, at the back we've got the portfolio of the paintings that uh, the journey oh inspired it's just, you can't hear in my ear people literally cooing and ooing like charlie our director cattle producer both like oh look at that oh that's Thank gorgeous oh, wonderful i want that life i mean we i think i think we forget here sometimes yeah. how honored we are a to have you here but well, b to have genuine artwork yes, from pollyanna um, just something that has been you know such an important thing for such a long time. And I think mm. it's wonderful that even though the artist herself is no longer around, that her artwork gets to live on and yes. her stories live on through you, through these yes. books, through the magazines, through the foundation. That is so important. Well, she always said that she had the best job in the world. Yes. But she also wanted very much to give something back. And that was where the fundraising we do through our own foundation, which bears her name, the partnerships we have with organisations like Born Free, that was really her big passion because you know you can see the genuine love that she had for these animals so the best job in the world but it it <laughs> brought posing. with it brought with it some of the worst toilets in the world <laughs> well let's go back to that <laughs> uh, if you do want to go for this one your giant pandas and your sleeping dragons no toilets involved there or maybe there are i don't know that there might be a mention that they do <laughs> pop up now and again um h07601 is your item number on that one if you would like to give it details on your screen uh, but let's go back to um where we began this glorious yes. journey for 40 years of the born free foundation this yes. year so to celebrate we've got an exclusive little bundle for you from anna Lou. Uh, the first part of that bundle is the art of free Freedom, the Born Free Foundation anniversary um, souvenir, if you like, that is jam-packed with information and stories of Pollyanna's great relationship with, of course, the foundation. Pollyanna was part of that um, foundation for 37 of the 40 years. It's amazing, isn't it, that yes. that relationship lasted so long and is ongoing. I mean, I've been lucky enough to, in more recent years, go out with Will Travers, Virginia and Bill's son and their yes. co-founder, who is their executive president, uh, went out to help them build some lion-proof enclosures to help protect the Maasai cattle from lions. I mean, I just think it's uh, wonderful that it carries on. I mean, yeah. on every level. But I love the fact that through things like this, you think about other people wanting to read about it, get involved with it, donate to it. Because remember, anybody that pays their £10 today, not just for this, you're also getting the Inconveniences Toilet magazine. More of that in a moment. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you are making not just a purchase, but you're making a donation because money from that will be going directly to the it Born is, Foundation. Really, so the way to think about this little bundle is really you're donating £10 and you're going to get these gorgeous two booklets as a little thank you for your donations. It so. is lovely. So let's dive into the brochure. So you can see every page is jam-packed with inspiration and, um, you know, just, I mean, information to just, I mean, you know, light up your brain with joy because, I mean, there's so much in here, Anna Lou, isn't there? There's stories, there's paintings. See, Pollyanna even painted a big 3D lion for them, a big lion sculpture. That's just I don't, cool. Isn't it gorgeous? That's in Northampton, isn't it? It was. It, it's now Is actually it in my garden. Is it really? <laughs> well, it went at the end of this fabulous Pride of Northampton event that Born Free had with all these amazing painted lions. At the end, they went to auction, and it was really the only large-scale 3D piece of artwork Pollyanna ever did. And it was sort of mixed feelings. It made the second most money of any line in the auction. Number one was actually signed by the current um, England football team at that time. Okay. Pollyanna's made the second most money, which was good, but also bad because we bought it. But, <laughs> so, but, that's still but it's there. in my garden and it's stunning. Now, let's talk as well. All right, so if you want that, you are also going yes. to get as well included. Normally it's a five rich, but you are getting it. Toilets of the World, as experienced by Pollyanna, <laughs> the late, great Pollyanna, and, of course, her daughter, Anna Giggity Lou. Uh, <laughs> see this, uh, yes, you are getting that as well. This is literally tales of, well, you get asked all the time, 
Oh, what a joy that's yes. like when you're around the world. Yes. And these are, I don't know if highlights is the word, possibly low lights really, yes. but certainly some of the funniest. Uh, we won't give that. too much away, but the, the one on the front, for example, the very first expedition Pollyanna made into Africa. I actually wasn't with her. It was before I started working with her. Uh, she was staying in a very basic campsite, canvas tents, but the tents did have a little sort of extension at the back with very basic loo in. And about the third or fourth night she was there, a lady came and knocked on the flap of Pollyanna's tent and said, do you mind if I come through and use your toilet because there's a python wrapped around mine? <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. Do you know what? You would not say no to that, would you really? really? Any, I know. <laughs> that's just incredible. So that's included as well. It is. Um, please, please pop this in your basket. Just to say as well, I know you mentioned your garden. Um, mm. People, is this where people can come and visit? It is. We have a little um, gallery there, actually Pollyanna's private gallery, but I continue to open it for events twice a year. And there's an exhibition There's an up, exhibition there? coming up. We are the 22nd to the 30th of June, and of course it is to commemorate the Born Free Foundation. It's part of the programme of events. Before Pollyanna passed away, she'd actually started doing a collection of original work for actually what would have been an exhibition for their 35th anniversary. Sadly, of course, we lost Pollyanna. That exhibition didn't happen. But I kept that artwork and I haven't released it until now. So those paintings will now be in the gallery for the 40th anniversary, along with some additional originals. How do we find out about information about the exhibition? Search online for Pollyanna Pickering. You'll go to our website. All the information is on there. It's also on the Born Free Foundation's website as well. But we are a mile out of Matlock in Derbyshire, 22nd to the 30th of June, free admission, all the paintings, lots of other things to see as well. Very eccentric gardens. Right, we're going to have a little hobby maker coach trip. We Definitely. are coming, let it be said. There's your information <laughs> there on that website, so do check it out. Uh, now, don't forget today as well, we have got uh, some fabulous artwork for you as well in the form of digital data. Downloads. So if you are thinking about making something to commemorate the late great Pollyanna or to just celebrate the fact that that artwork and that beautiful artistry will live on for forever in your craft room, on your scrapbook pages, in your home decor, on your soft fabrics, whatever it may be, then let's do it right here, right now. Uh, right, the lovely Linda, three collections in one, the largest collection you have ever bought. And of course, it's got huge craftability. It has. And it's so easy to do because everything is in the room right place for you to put together if you're a beginner you can't fail to make a lovely card and you know what because it's digital and if you do make a card and you think oh gosh that's pants and you think i'm gonna throw it away you can always print it again you don't have to cry over spoiled sheets no it's true <laughs> isn't it no don't cry like, cry over those spoiled <laughs> sheets uh, right linda dive right, on in we're going to make this card here can i say a huge thank you to ian who's helped me out because i've had a bit of a week this yeah, week yeah bless your heart so he's um very kindly done um all of the um prep for me i don't know what i'd do that's without what him. friends are for yes linda. so this is a lovely this image. is the piece of artwork that pollyanna painted especially for born mm. free to be auctioned to raise some much needed funds so this is the actual size of the um, topper that he's used. Then what he's done is he's taken a snapshot and he's increased it. You can see it's actually that topper there. He's taken a, a snapshot. He's increased it to 150%. You've lost none of the integrity. No. Just look at this. She's got the sun shining on Elsa's but paws. this is because we know that you know Pollyanna would have been attention sat there watching, yeah, you know, the attention to Absolutely. detail. Absolutely, and then he's taken the background from and he's increased that to one hundred and seventy-five percent, and then he's got um, the insert is an eight by eight insert. So, so we have all the ingredients. We have that all of there. the ingredients. So now he has um, stamped on the insert. So you get. You do get inserts with the um, with the sentiment in in a lovely font, but you also get um, the inserts with a blank, so you can add your own if you want. And is, is, this is 19 by 19 centimeters. This is one of the solid papers, and this is what I mean by we give you everything mm. to make the card with because that now frames your insert. So this is 18 by 18 centimetres. Bless him. He said, I've done them in centimetres, Linda, because I know that's how you work. 
Oh, well, this is it. I am a feet, well. well, I'm a feet and inches girl when it comes to gardening and things like that. But for, cent for crafting, centimetres now are easier. There you go. <laughs> a little insight into our Linda's So heart. this is an 8 by 8 card. And then again, he's gone and he's printed the solid colours. Look how beautifully they print. There's no banding. Mm. And this is on our 160 Paper Emporium 160 GSM cardstock which you get 200 sheets for i think 17.99 you do all of that cardstock and the paper stock that we have from linda's emporium uh, is on the crafty witches brand shop on the website also on this show as well if you want to scroll down the show page uh, but do check it all out on the hobby maker website hobbymaker.co.uk and as i say you know you can you can give these uh, this digital download for the kids to play with and they can print it on copy of paper but it does drink the ink when you use copy of paper. Mm. So use the real I am when you, you print when you're printing for yourself. And if you like to raise money for animal charities, these are the cards that will bring in the money for you. Well, I just think look it makes sense. That. When everything is like thematic and goes together, it just makes life a lot yeah. easier, doesn't it? I mean that on its own that, is gorgeous, Linda, but that's just your merely your foundation but it's, uh, level. You know, we 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 go on about the, the animals that Pollyanna paints. That is stunning as a mm. background, all the colours and everything. And bless him, look what he does. He's put them all on. He's, he's, good. Oh, he's well trained. You should get him on air. Oh, you I should, I should, shouldn't I? Yes. <laughs> so here we have Elsa. And what he's done, he's printed her twice and then cut her. Look at the eyes. The eyes are the windows to the soul, and this is where these creatures yeah, to life. This is where Pollyanna them. started her artwork. It keeps them with a heartbeat, doesn't it? Yeah. So we can put that up there. We can put it there, and there's your card made. That is fabulous. That is fabulous. Now we've got about five minutes left in the show. Shall I show you one of the other collections? Yes, one of the and I'm going to show some more samples, if I may, as well. So Still you get yourself boots. ready for that. and show a couple more because these are just glorious. Just for people that aren't just joining us as well, just state the angel policy again. People can make what they like. Uh, well, you can more they? or less do what you want. The only things we ask you not to do is to print and send, sell the in individual papers or mm. packs of the papers or to take it into another piece of software like... Um, Photoshop or something like that and start to play around with it. You can take it into Adobe Reader. It opens up in Adobe Reader because the PDF files. And you can take snapshots and you can change it in that. But apart from that, whatever will go through your printer, you can print on. So you can do your tote bags. You can do your cushions. You can um, print onto rice paper and do this beautiful plate like Shania has done. Can you imagine like candles um, as well? Candles, Linda? you know, using Debbie Moore's... Um, Printable um, Box, plates we've seen there. Uh, paper and this one. When we open this one, uh, there's, there's something special in there. If I remember, oh, yeah, oh, coasters, hello. right? So again, look at these Please. beautiful coasters with that white tiger. The possibilities are endless. So show us what we're going to get. Right. Uh, the, I mean, there are. Th it's a massive collection, this one, but you are getting 10 different images. Now, we're going to look at one of the images, and you get this 10 times right. over. No, this different. one here is oh, one of the Lioness. smaller kits. Oh, this is Wild your pardon. So you've got your main bundle. That if you watch the show again, you'll see at the beginning. This is one of the smaller kits. This is the Wild Lioness. Little, tiny, little bit different format. You click on Enter, and here, here again, you're going to have to um, unzip this. Auto play at the side of the screen there. Remember, if you want to, if you've got anything other than a Windows based PC, that's where you need to be in. You need to be in the Docs folder and um, you will see there's all your indices to help you. Um, you can print them off. But here we go, go into Enter and um, you've got your toppers. You click on Next. I love the interface. <laughs> Isn't it good? You know, I'm mm. going to have to learn how to do this for when Colin also, not only has he got the, the issue, but he's also got to have a cataract operation next month. Oh, my word, month. Linda. I know, he's really gone through the walls, poor lad. You're in good hands, though. He'll <laughs> teach you well. So um, we've got, again, look at those beautiful decorative papers. Then we've got, um, so you've got 10 decorative papers. You've got your essential papers. You've then got your solid papers, your dark, your medium, and your light. You've got your ready-made cards. You've got your decoupage, or as we call it, freestyle decoupage. You've got your inserts in the different sizes. You've got your gift boxes. 
um, your uh, panels, your borders, your tags, these are your embellishments, and then you've got your envelope liners. So in the other one, Elsa Explores, you'll get exactly the same thing again, just with different, um, a different piece of artwork. Now, if you do want to go for Wild Lioness on its own, that particular collection is $8.99. The same for the Elster Explores one as well. But if you put them both together and then add in on top of that, the 10 pieces of artwork, the Born Free Anniversary collection with all that you get there, we've got all of that together for $29.97. It is the largest collection that literally Linda has ever bought to us. To put it into context, Nigel, if you buy the brick, that's 250 sheets. You would need four packs of the brick, nearly four packs of the brick to print everything just once. This is why you need your card and paper. Go to the website and get that. Uh, joined by the lovely Anna Lou for the end of the show as well. I always forget you how tall you are. Until I, I know, stand and I've got my heels on. on. <laughs> I always used to be the little one in between her and her mum. Honestly, <laughs> it's like, Linda, we didn't have the grow bags, did we? No. Um, it's been, it must be lovely for you, Anna Lou, as well, on a crafty front, to yeah. see things that people have made, to see your dear mother's, you know, your late great mother's artwork just living on in so many different formats it really is and it's so lovely to see the creativity of the mm. crafters and the inspiration they get from Pollyanna's artwork it really is fabulous. I just think it's joyous it really is now you guys are back at six o'clock tonight yes, which yes. is fabulous I love that Mungay what Margay Margay yes it's fabulous isn't it it's like velvet it looks like velvet it's caught it's beautiful mm. see, I can I Lin say Linda's learning everything I, isn't I, she? I, I know <laughs> absolutely I mean you know I used to sit up in the hub with with Anna Lou and Pollyanna and she used to bring her portfolio at the time she brought them out are these good enough for you to use Linda and I'm thinking you're a world <laughs> leading artist and you're asking me if they're good enough it's so you know? true and it was one of her last wishes that Anna Lou and I carry on with these shows and bring in this beautiful artwork to what, the we are very world. pleased that you do can i say thank you you're Zella? welcome you're an adorable lady as are you darling lady um, the you. ladies are going to be back at six o'clock tonight i believe yeah. aren't you yes um, if you want the cheetah prints by the way that we showed earlier these ones uh, literally there's 10 left that is okay. it and when they are gone linda <laughs> they're gone they, listen to the lady when they are gone they are gone um, i'm going to see you after the break i've got cat from monkey dory here with some brand new pocket pads P -p 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 pocket pads we will see you then and these two lovely ladies are back at six now go to the website get your brochure in your basket and make your don donation to the <laughs> fabulous born free foundation celebrating 40 years bye bye <laughs> Here at Hobby Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Hobby Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show? or want to watch one back, then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go 
with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Registering for a Hobbymaker account on our website couldn't be easier. Head over to hobbymaker.co.uk and click on Register Now. Type in your preferred email address, create a password of your choice, and we just ask you for a few simple details. Click on Create Account and then away you go. Within your account setting, you can view your order history, address and card details and items in your basket. Shopping made easy with Hobbymaker. Shopping with Hobbymaker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobbymaker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobbymaker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Good afternoon and welcome back to Hobby Maker. My name is Nigel Mate and look who's here from Hunky Dory. It's the fabulous cat. Hello, Hello. lovely. Hello. How are you? Mwah. I'm really good. Do you know, it's going to get very confusing this hour because what I'm going to say is our guest is called Cat. Who's our lovely person on camera today? That's Cat. Give us a wave, Cat. There you go. There she is. Give us a wave. She's in the corner. You might have to step into the light a bit, Cat. <laughs> There you go. Oh, hang on. She's, got, she was, she's literally going to the light. There you go. Whilst we're there, we've got two people who aren't called Cat, but we do have a wolf in the background. Mr. Michael Wolf is there. Give us a howl. Beautiful man. And Jimmy the Shimmy. Beautiful. Uh, we've also got in the gallery our producer. Guess what her name is? Cat. Cat. Yes, it is. There is Cat, producer Cat. And look, we haven't got a cat, but he's certainly a bit of a dog. It's our Adam. Daddy Adam is directing today. There he is. Or maybe he's a fox. Who knows? There you go. Oh, I like that. Turn the lights on. Also, can we just talk? On the show today, we have brand new pocket <laughs> pads, and one of them is called Cute Cats. Could it be more catty if it tried? It's ridiculous, <laughs> this show. I love it. Um, welcome to one and all. Uh, we have got the most incredible pocket pads for you. Five brand new pocket, fa po pocket pads for you. This is the ultimate collection, number seven. It's exclusive to us. You get all five of the pads. Now, normally these pads would be about $4.99 each, right? So $24.95. Are we keeping at that price? No, of course we're not. We're going to get it down. Should we get it down? Oh, hang on. We've not had a clock out today. Adam, have you got your clock to hand? Could you whip your clock out when you get your hands on it? If you could, there you go. We're going to get that price down. We've got five fabulous pocket pads. What are the pocket pads? Oh, we have got some absolute stones for you this time. Um, we have got, starting with the ever popular, we have got our gnomes for you. These are really, really cute. They are so much fun for all the men in your life, the boys in your life. I'm sure there's some that we can turn to our lady friends oh, as yes. well there. But they are just so fun. They're in these active poses. You've got gym gnome, hobbies. work yeah. gnome, rock gnome. 
I love it. Coffee gnome. You've got them all in there. Oh, hang on. Uh, let's get the price down. So for all five of the pads, the gnome body does it better is the first one, 15.95. It's like you're getting five for the price of three, or if you want to go for the other way, 3.19 a pad. Wow. Are you happy with that, Kat? I'm incredibly happy. Bear in mind, you get 64 sheets in each of these pads. So that's 320 for 15.95. That's a lot, isn't that's it? And also you get more than one of each particular design. So you, you do, can do decoupage so... or gnomepage. Yeah, gnomepage. <laughs> <if you laughs> Oh, I like that, one. yes. You could. So that's the first one. Nobody does it better. Uh, the next one that we have for you is this one. It's the cute cat. They are super cute as well. Look at that. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? And I think these are all kind of younger cats. They're kittens yes. and, and youths, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. All in those beautiful outdoor scenes. Lots and lots that you can mix and match and make scenes up with these ones. Oh, look at that one with the eyes. over. Just, it really encapsulates the, the fun energy of the little kittens, doesn't it? I just think that's fabulous. I mean, things like this as well. I mean, if you are using them for, like, um, charity cards, and, I mean, if you cat charities, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? Definitely. Yeah, so many. Because you can make, like, your cute little notelet sets and yeah. things like these out of work, uh, these as well. They're the perfect size. But you can enlarge them up as well. We're going to show you lots of things you can do with you them You certainly today. can. I'm going to go and hide behind here again, because do you know what? This rotten old <laughs> face does not compete, compete with cute cats. It really Aww. doesn't. Uh, the next one we've got for you is this, our majestic butterflies. These are stunning it's always true cat isn't it i think flowers and butterflies are an evergreen in the crafting world definitely there's something you've always got to have in your staple stash but i love the take we've taken on this pad here it's a little bit more like otherly worldly there are some of your beautiful traditional butterflies yes. in there but there's lots that have got that like um ethereal, cosmic yeah, back, ethereal. Background. Yeah. and lots of jewels and jewel tones in there as well absolutely stunning they are not just a magnificent they are also majestic they are beautiful they are Ethereal, I think that is the perf yes. a perfect word for these. That's your Majestic Butterflies. That's included in your five for the price of three. The next one for you, I am loving this. This is the best of Britain. Literally, these are like those classic posters that you, you know, when you, you know, you, I mean, I live in Brighton, so it's like you go to any shop in Brighton and there would be like, oh, Brighton back in the day or whatever. These are like, kind of like old school, I mean, that's Edinburgh, isn't it? Like old school posters of places that, you know, the best of British. It is, that is... 100% what it is. It is like poster art style. And I think for Hunky Dory, this is something brand new that we're bringing to you as well. You think about all the things Hunky Dory have brought to you. It's hard to bring a new style and a new take on things, but this is absolutely stunning. I think this, but I said to you before, didn't I, Nigel? I think this board itself, you could make up yes. as a piece of art for yeah. the living room, stick it in a frame. It's going to look absolutely stunning. I love this. I mean, that card I just love. Isn't it? I mean, that's like a scrapbook right there. I mean, if you wanted to do like, you know, a scrapbook of the places you and your partner, you and your husband, whoever had been, I mean, something like this would be really, or maybe where you're going, do a little surprise, do a picture of the beach you want to be like, oh, we're off to so-and-so, do the London one, do we're off to London. Yep. That card as well, love, absolutely love. Uh, the fifth and final one that you are getting is this one. Uh, this one is our sports and hobbies for her. It's the girls doing their sporty things. Now, can I say, I think it's really nice Nice that for once we've got sports that isn't just about a bloke with a football or a, a rugby player with a rather dashing thigh. Oh no, it's all about the ladies doing their sporty things, isn't and it? And this is something we've been asked for time and time again and we love to give our customers what they want and I think the artwork again in here is absolutely beautiful there's so many sports and hobbies like encompassed in this mm. collection and we are so happy that we've been able to bring you this at last i think it's fab do you know what as well i am going to say i mean here we are what there's about five weeks to the olympics now four or five weeks to the olympics <gasps> um i think it is isn't it soon isn't it am i right in saying that or have i just like my sporting knowledge is not great i think it's next it's next month isn't it when's the olympics about four or five weeks isn't it yeah my, my reference point for that is Tom Daly's Instagram. That's the, uh, my only <laughs> reference, but there you go. Uh, but I do think, I mean, with something like that, that now is the perfect chance or the perfect time to get your hands on that pad. Definitely, yes. It really yes. is. Uh, we are f very, very busy. I am not surprised. Uh, it works out at 5p a sheet for each and every one of the pads in the collection. Um, let's show you some of the things that you can be making. Complete angel policy, Cat. Yes, as Love always. This. We want you to make cards with our products. It's as simple as that, so go. 
go ahead, do it. I love that card. Look at that. Be your own kind of beautiful. How cool is that? It's so stunning, isn't it? And incorporating lots of other Hunky Dory products in there as well. And that's it. You're taking a small little pad, but that's a seven by seven card you're making with it there. And then cutting into them, you don't have to use them in the traditional shape that you get them in there. You can die cut into them and just take elements out, mixing and matching, layer them up. A sneak peek of something else that we've got coming up on the show there for you. I'll explain that to you later. Oh, yes. But the dimension you can create, again, that's an eight by six card, I think, just from that little pocket pad. And um, that's giving me, I don't know why, Lara Croft vibes. It has, it's got that. Hasn't yeah, it? yeah, do you know what I mean? The kind of modern day Lara Croft, it's giving me those kind of vibes. Um, just to show you some more samples because they are stunning. I mean, they really are. Uh, you know, nobody does it better. Whoever <laughs> named that in the Hunky Dory office, I salute them. Yes. Whoever came up with that name, well, I absolutely love it. They are good at coming up with the names. It's just joyous. Um, again, look, that. Hello, what, what? We're off to London. Don't mind if I do. Very happy with that. Um, if you would like to order, don't forget you can order three ways. The best way is to go to the website. Jimmy, look up above your head. What's the website? All the W's what? Bit Hobby Maker, Doctor, you can. No, do it again. All the W's what? Hobby Maker, Doctor, you can. There you go. Who are you proposing to? Me or Cat? You're down on one knee. Anyone. Anyone. Well, there you go. <laughs> we both say yes. There you go. Uh, we've got a message from Amanda. Thanks, Amanda. What's Amanda saying? She is saying, uh, hi, Nigel and Cat. Loving the new pocket pad collection. Nigel, the Olympics start in 99 days. Well, that's not five weeks, is it? Mm. How, how 99 days? What's that? Three months? I, don't ask me to do maths live. Not a chance. 26th, you're very good. How did you work that out, Kat? I won the same. 26th, thank you. The 26th <laughs> of July they start. They, well, it's soon-ish, isn't it? It's flying by. Uh, ten, cute cats. 10% uh, of the stock has already gone on this one. If you would like to go for it, head to the website, get this in your baskets. Uh, get to the website and get this in your baskets straight away. Um, all of the pads we have got today also on a pick and mix of a buy three for like, well, they should be, what, 4 99 each. We've got buy three. Does it include the new ones, Cat? Cat, 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 cat. <laughs> uh, it's all three for a price of nine, nine, uh, 9 .73. So that's three for less than the price of two. That works out at three twenty four a pound. But if you go for this deal with the five, the brand new ones, that's three nineteen a pad, um, as opposed to four ninety nine each. Gosh, lots of numbers, lots of cats. Um, incredible. And um, also on the show, are we going to show this other brand new from this? Yeah, yeah we are. Uh, the kinetic cards. Now, this is exciting, everybody, because let's show you what we've got. Oh, and by the way, the new pads are in the pick and mix. So if you want, you know, if you're not keen on the gnomes or the best of British, but you think I want the ladies doing the sports or I want the cute cats, then you could do a pick and mix there as well. Um, let's talk about these. This is what our lovely viewers are getting. It is, these yes. Sheets. So how many of these are we getting, Kat? Uh, uh, oh, hello. 16. 16. Yeah. There you go. I, I, my brain always goes, it's 16. <laughs> So 16 of these. Now, these, you might think, well, what are these? OK, let's take one and you will see that they are all die cut and they are scored. So that literally, let's do this because it's already done. You can see that these will fold down into the different shapes. So you can actually be making a kinetic card like this. Or if you want to work it out gesticulatively, this is where you come in. What did you say they look like? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we did. This is our prep meeting today. So what did the kinetic cards do? That was our meeting, well, wasn't it? They're very hard to describe when you've not got one I in front of you. I think you described it perfectly. <laughs> perfectly. Uh, you are going to get your envelopes for these as well. Now, am I thinking... I'm just going to whip out a gnome. They've all got different foiling on them, which yeah. is true. But also, that panel in the centre, it's the right size for your pocket pads, isn't it? That is. Yeah, so it's designed perfectly if you were just wanting to place that on there. So you've got a card. Look at that. You just need a sentiment on that and you're ready to go. How, how quick and easy is it to do? Now, we brought you the Different steppers last time, well. this uh, style, and you absolutely love them. So we were like, what can we do to take this up a notch? So these are our adorable, scorable cards cardstock and then they have either got our beautiful silver or gold foil patterns running throughout and there's lots of different patterns that will work with lots of different designs you've got dots and honeycombs cards. and florals and kind of like a sort of a, a check in there as well oh adam could you possibly whip out one of your uh, that's the one thank you very <laughs> much one of your clocks which is brilliant uh, you've got your blues in there as well how many did we said 16 sheets so is it eight 
Is it eight different colours, two of each? Or are they all different colours? It's all a selection. It is. It's yeah. all different colours, isn't it? You get your envelopes included as well, which is brilliant. So obviously, once you fold these down, you can pop it into the envelope. The envelope is there as well. You love the stepper cards we had before. They sold out, what, about four times when we had them launching uh, before. But we've got these back today for you. But at what price? Should we find out? <gasps> Here we go. Let's have a look. OVHD 30, 11.99. 74p per card and envelope. That is incredible. So if you just put one of your pad sheets on that you've bought in your bundle as well, that's another 5p, 80p for a card. It's just perfect, isn't it? Absolutely perfect. Sell it for a pound and that's cheap well, you, for that. You sell it for a lot more than yeah, a pound, absolutely. aren't you? Come on, let's get real. You have to get real, people. Get real. Get real. <laughs> but even, I love it, feisty one you are. Uh, but <laughs> even if you sold it for just a pound, it's like literally, it's like you are making your money straight away, isn't it? Brilliant. Um, if you want to go for that one, OVHD30 is your item code on that one. Uh, small Q on the phone. What have you done? Small Q on the <laughs> phone lines. Uh, Pauline, Debbie, Tracy, Carolyn, Maxine. I'm looking over there because that's who your names are. Craft and Mandy, Dorothy in Pennsylvania. We do ship to America. Well done, Dorothy. Uh, don't forget, twelve ninety five cap shipping and handling for America. Here in the UK, three ninety five cap PMP. Free phone telephone number if you are using the uh, call centre number 0800 uh, Where's the call centre, cap? Just up there. Just up there. <laughs> so literally, you're not phoning the other side of the world. Uh, if you want to order via the uh, Hobby Maker app, you can do as well. Download the app for free from your Google Store, your App Store, or wherever you get your app fix. Or you can go to the website. Tell them cat and cat and cat and cat and you cute cats. What's the website? All the W's what? Hobbymaker.co.uk. I had cat in my ear, cat over there, cat to my left. It was great. A surround sound cat. <laughs> um, right. Okay, cat. Yes. Do you want to do a demo? Yes, Because you're going to be my demo cat from now on. That's what I'm going to call demo you. Demo cat. I'll take Over that. Over to demo cat. I've certainly been called worse. <laughs> <laughs> so I am going to use one of our kinetic cards. I've gone for this beautiful uh, purple one here. And I'm going to bring in our butterflies. And just a perfect example of how these colours are going to work so beautifully together. So I'm going to be a little bit uh, extra with this one. And we're going to use all four sheets of this um, pack so we can spread it about. So the majestic butterfly. It is absolutely stunning. Colours are stunning. They're I gemstone mean... colours. They are, yeah, they'd like those really beautiful jewel tones, mm. aren't they? So the first thing I'm going to do is work on this centre panel. Now, like you said, I could just stick that on there and be done. But me being me, we've got this beautiful foil detailing, so I want to show it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of silver mirror to make a mirror mat because that's what we love. You can't get your silver mirror mats, but because I'm cutting this down, um, I'm going to do this. We so, do have Miri mats on the show. We've got them all, all the individual colours today. So we've got a bit of rainbow, a bit of multicolour, a bit of... Check them all out on the website. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball that on two sides and we're just going to cut it down. And we are going to chop this down. It's a wobbly mat. Is that going to drive me insane? A little Hang bit. On. We'll I'm see. I'll put something underneath. You. We'll uh, see where we go. Oh, a man that can. Mm, man that can-ish. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to use this as a template. So I'm making sure that I'm getting the most of my butterfly here. Because if I just went in and cut evenly around that, I might miss some of my butterfly design. So I'm just going to use this as a template. And then I can trim it so I still get that nice matte and layer effect. So if I take that down there and then just cut a little bit in within all of these lines. And this is the beauty of our trimmer, is that you can see exactly where you're cutting. And if you need to go back and adjust, your lines are absolutely perfect for you. I think this is such a good collection of the pocket pads as well. I mean, I know we've had, this is collection number seven, so we've had six previous ones. But I'm gonna say, I think as an eclectic mix of kind of like, all star. You know, like when RuPaul's Drag Race does all stars. This feels like an all stars to me because you've got like gnomes. Everybody loves the loves gnomes. You've got the butterflies. Everybody loves butterflies. Who doesn't like you know like girls and sports and things like that? So the fact that you've got something for the ladies. Those landmarks. I mean, everything from the seaside through to London through to Edinburgh. 
just gorgeous. Uh, the old school posters. And if anybody doesn't like cute cats, then me, cat, 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 and cat are coming round to have words, quite frankly. Definitely. And the fact that they are just images, so they're suitable for so many occasions. A collection like this is just going to cover so many different people in your life. It's just a perfect thing to have. I need to make a little apology. I told you a little bit of wrong information. You know, I said that the new pick and the new ones were in the pick and mix. I made a mistake, my apologies. So they are not in the pick and mix, but that's not a bad thing because remember you actually get them more affordably than they would have been in the pick and mix in the bundle. You get all five for 15.95. So if you are going for them, do we have them individually? We do, don't we? Oh, we don't. Okay, so the only way to get them is in the bundle. So basically it's a buy one, buy them all. So I'm <laughs> I don't think there's a duff one in there because hunky dory don't do duff. No. It's never hunky duffy, is it? No, and the thing is with, um, so the thing is that if you are buying to make to sell, mm -hmm. you're going to want a range of things. It's not just yeah. about your own personal taste, is it? So. But I do think, even even saying that, Kat, I do think that the, the five that you've got in there are kind of like universal with their taste. They definitely yeah. are. Yeah, there's something for everybody. So we're going to pop this one in the centre. And then what I'm going to do with my other ones, now this is a little bit easier to work out. I'm going to measure these panels up here and I'm going to take the other images and chop them down. So we've got that like kind of butterfly in motion effect. Okay, so it's nice. like a little shutter effect. So, so a kinetic card with a little bit of sort of extra yeah. faux motion. Yeah. So we're going to cut this to one inch by three and three quarter inches. And we're going to cut four of them, one for each panel. And then we are going to take our little book, uh, little pocket pad page here. And we're just going to trim these down. Now I'm just coming two notches under the inch lengthwise. We're going to have a really fine border on this one. And then again, two notches under the three and three quarters. And then we're going to do the same again and do another panel the same again here for the next little bit. Now, let me just remember whether I took this off the top or the bottom for that one. We took it off the top. Yep. Yeah, so you need to make sure you take it off the top on all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we'll go, else it will be really kinetic. Uh, that would be, a, yeah, that would be a very kind of like artsy, modernist kind of butterfly. It certainly would, wouldn't it? Uh, we are so busy. I'm not so. Can we get some names up on the board for our pocket pads, lovely people? Uh, so I can give you a mention and find out who's there. Oh, there you are. Oh, gosh, there's lots of you. Uh, Sheila in Greater Manchester. Susan Buckley. I know somebody called, well, I knew somebody called Susan Buckley when I was a kid. She's now Susan Kirby. She got married. Hi, Susan, if you're watching. She does craft, so you never know. Her mum crafts as well. That would be bizarre. But Susan Buckley in Cheshire. Laura in Gloucestershire. Lorraine in Kent. Uh, Doris in Newcastle upon Tyne. Jackie in Kent. Joy in West Sussex. Jane in Lincoln. Joan in Cumbria. Uh, and Margaret in Cumbria. You've gone for three lots. I'm loving that. Uh, so if you want to go for your ultimate collection, don't forget you get the Nobody Does It Better. Gnome, nobody. You get the cute cat. You've got the sports for her. Uh, you've also got the uh, best of breed. Britain, and then finally you get the Majestic Butterflies, which is the one that Kat is using at the moment. It is. Kat's got a little bit lost. Kat can't find... There we go. That's the first one. She can't remember which one she needs to do. I love it when Kat talks about herself in the third person. Because <laughs> we all do that when we're annoyed with ourselves, don't we? It's we like, do. It's definitely okay, one, of those, one of those days. So I think this one is the... That could have been a catastrophe. Oh, it still could be at this moment this in time. I need to figure out what my last two pieces are I need are to think be. of lots of words beginning with cat, don't I? Catapulting <laughs> into another fabulous design. Thanks, Adam, for your editorial there. <laughs> cataracts. There you go. I'm not sure how I'm going to shoehorn cataracts into something, but we should try. You never know. So we're just going to piece this back up across. We've got this one here, and then I can do my final, final one. So we've got that motion kind of coming through now. I that like was the idea that we lovely. were going for. It's really converted that card. It's like a catalytic converter. No, that's not really good, is it? I love that. Cat producer just, oh, stop it. <laughs> just stop it. Yeah. Now, just, so just by cutting these down a little bit, it's just meaning that we're getting to see that beautiful foil design in the background as well. We're not wasting that. Now, don't forget, these are our kinetic cards. Should we side panel these kinetic cards for you as well? Uh, so if you do want to go for the kinetic cards, you are going to get, was it 24 of those we said? 
16. 16, sorry, 16, wasn't it? All different colours as well. Uh, they are kinetic because, look, they move. Where are we? Uh, you move like that, so like literally everything is scored and you just fold it down. You get envelopes for them as well. They've all got different foiling on them or different designs of foiling. Not all of them are different, but you've got like silver foiling, gold foiling, you've got dots, you've got hexagons, you've got florals in there as well. So it is a wide selection that you've actually got, but they're just gorgeous. They really are, and I love the colours. That is a particularly good colour. I feel that's very beautiful, strong. Beautiful, isn't it? And they're all in our um, current adorable, scorable colours as well. So they will mix and match with things that you've already got in your collection. That's good as well, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, maybe you've got adorable, scorable sentiments, adorable, or adorable. Oh, hello, adorable, <laughs> adorable, scorable cardstock. Literally, it will all match together. <laughs> the cat's got my tongue. Uh, Eleven ninety nine. That was a good one, Adam. Uh, Eleven ninety nine. Which cat's got my tongue? I'm being asked, though. I don't know. All of them. Uh, Eleven ninety nine is your price if you want to go for the kinetic cards. If you want to go for the pocket pads, details over there. So I have just on my last sheet. I have just fussy cut I, um, the wing detail of the butterfly just so we can give it some of that depth and definition and then I have delved into my adorable scorable sentiment and I've purposely picked a different colour a different shade of the purple but that picks up family. in the background mm. of this but just so it pops out a little bit more from from here and we will just 15 percent of the bundle has now gone if you are after all five of our pocket pads uh, should be what 24.95 so nearly 25 quid because it would be 4.99 each but you are getting all five for less than the price of three loving that Look at that, that's fab. Really is fabulous. Love it. Yeah, so all fab, just over the price of three, I should say, not under the price of three. Uh, it's 15.95, but you need to check out your baskets accordingly. So Sheila, Alison, Julie, you need to check out. Should we show you the designs again? Show you what you're getting. You only get five of them. The first one is nobody does it better. <laughs> this is so good. Look, you have got, what, who have we got? We've got rock gnome. I love the gym gnome. That's my favourite. Gym gnome is fabulous. Uh, you've got like, what are they doing there? There's that gardening gnome as well. You've got a flying gnome. There's your painting gnome. We've got a gnome and his friend. We've got, oh, there's, is that like a speedway gnome? What do you call it? Formula One oh, gnome. I, <laughs> I love it. You've got chef gnome as well. And then you've got driving gnome. Uh, so you have all of those. You get 64 sheets in each pad, don't you? You do, yes. Yeah. So you get 16 designs, four of each. And then cute cats. That's the best. It's one of the best, <laughs> most definitely, isn't it? Show me somebody that doesn't like a cute cat. Everybody likes cute cats. You can, they just make you smile, don't they? And these ones are so... You feel like you could just go in and give them a fuss and you can bring them even more to life by your layering up. They're just so, so cute. Are you a cat person? I am. Do you have a cat at home? I have three. Three? What are, yes. you, what are your cats called? I have Mac, that is my big black fluffy one, and I have two Naughty Torties, Rose and Bella. Naughty Torties, yeah. I love that, Rose and Bella, yes. fabulous. I have one ginger cat called Beverly Denise. Oh, I, know. I did have a ginger one, but he went missing at Halloween. And, oh. Yeah, I'm very, very sad about that, Eric. So we still pray. Do you know what? When I was going to say, you never know. You hear those stories of like cats coming back like literally months, years later. That's what I'm And they just turn for. up as if to say, like, yeah, well, so what? Yeah. Yeah, just been yeah. around the neighbours having food for the last <laughs> five months. Me. <laughs> no, oh, well, I hope he does. I really do. Um, then we've got our majestic butterflies for you as well. So our majestic butterflies, fabulous. You just saw these in the demo with Kat. Um, it just makes, I mean, it brings that pop of colour, doesn't it? It really does. And like we said before, those beautiful dual tones, them starry backgrounds, like some of the like water uh, wash effects on the back. There's just so many different things you can do with these. So many cutting into possibilities. Beautiful. Uh, that's the Majestic Butterflies. Up next for you, the best of Britain. I love this. This is like those classic old school posters or postcards um, of places, you know, that encouraging you to go and visit them. And I just, I mean, that would be perfect. If you're off to Edinburgh, that's just good. It is Edinburgh, isn't it? I, I, that was my thought. Yes, yeah. it is. I'm sure it is. I mean, the viaduct, I don't know where that is. If anybody at home knows where that is or where any of these it's other Glencoe. images are, please let us know. Also, just to say to Cat on cameras, I think my talk back is gone just so you know, my lovely bless you. Uh, so you're getting all of these included as well. And then finally for you, this one is brilliant. Uh, this is called Sports and Hobbies for Her. It's nice to see sports done for the ladies for once. It is. And like I said as at the beginning be. of the show, this is something we've been asked for time and time again, and we have tried to pack as many sports and hobbies into this collection for you. I think there's somebody for every, something for everybody here, for something a little bit more gentle like the yoga, 
up to the show jumping and the football. Absolutely incredible. I think that's great. It really is. So all five of those pads for fifteen ninety five. Now they are normally four ninety nine each, so you're getting all five for just over the price of three. So it's almost like you get two for free. Uh, or we do have pick and mixes for you. Now don't forget the pick and mixes do not, do not, do not include the five brand new ones. But all of the previous ones that we've still got in stock, you can get them on our website as well. And that pick and mix price. Oh, that pick and mix, but I'm taking the wrong one off. Our pick and mix price, if you would like to go for that, is three for the price, uh, three for the price of 11, no, of 9.78, if I remember rightly. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm sure I will get corrected when I can hear the... Uh the lovely people in my ear again. Uh, but if you do want to go for those, they're on the website as well. Was it, what was the price of the t three for? 9.73, there you go, nine pounds and 73 if you would like to go for that. Uh, right, is it time for a demo again? Oh, Miri, oh, well, no, hang on, let's do the Miri. Let me go and get that for you. Uh, if you want to go for the Miri, we have got all of our colors in one bundle to begin with. Let's have a look at this, hang on, I'll come back, there you go. Do you want to go to this? I'm just trying to put my bits and pieces yes. back on. I'm not doing a very good job. Hang on. So all of the mirrors, so these are the perfect size for the pocket pads, aren't they? They are. They are designed. Let me get one for you and we can show you. Oh, she says, I've not got one just to hand. What do you want the mirror? Uh, there you sure. go. So we'll take this out of here. So maybe not the ideal colour match for this one, but you get the idea. That would so be. You, that would be, yes. Let's go. So you can see that we can just pop that on there and you've got that beautifully perfect mirror mat perfection for you there. And these are great for so many things as well, for doing your set little sentiments so you're not cutting into big mm. sheets all the time. But this is our full colour collection. Now these work so well with your um, pocket pads because there's no other foiling on these. Like you said, you can pick out any colour you want to work with. So we've got like the beautiful lilac, we've got the gorgeous green, got the stunning rose gold we've got like that, one, you took, you that, that way there, there, there we go the beautiful future that one of my favorites is the hunter green there like those bubblegum pinks the reds the oranges the coppers this beautiful burgundy colour, that's going to work so well with some of those uh, Best in Britain ones, isn't it? How many do we um, get in here then? So you get 80 sheets, don't you, if I remember yeah. rightly? Yeah, You've four of each, your, each of the 20 colours, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, your midnight blacks. And then we're starting to get the repeats. We've got that beautiful cabri box purple there, your pinks. And you are going to get some of your golds and your silvers in here as well. But you can just see how absolutely stunning they are it's such a must to have in your collection especially like i said if you like doing like your little die cut sentiments or little die cut elements but you don't want to invest in the a4 sheets of all of these colors because that would take up quite a sizable amount of room these are a perfect thing to have 6.99 is your price on those if you would like to go for them bkhd29 is your item code on those loads of you with that in your basket now christine you are there uh, we've also got linda in buckinghamshire all of you going for those that right here right now uh, if you want to email or if you want to say if you want to email in you have look we've got a message from tina don't forget if you do want to message in like tina studio at hobbymaker.co.uk uh, tina what does tina say let's look hi cat nigel is it tina yeah tina in staffordshire i love these pocket pads i have them all they're all versatile so versatile for all occasions could not agree more definitely could not yeah. agree more uh, we do have other miri mats for you as well we have got all oh, now my favorite rainbow. <laughs> oh look at that Paint your craft room with a rainbow. Look at those 96 sheets of your rainbow. Oh, look at that. Kat, you're not old enough, but you know, nightclub floors used to look like that. You'd when be I was surprised. dancing around <laughs> in the 80s. Yeah, you don't remember those, do you? Um, no, you're way young. Uh, if you want I'm to go older than you think. <laughs> I'm not going to ask a lady your age, but how old are you? 41. No, you are a lot older than I thought then. There you go. You look great. Uh, 6 dollars the crafting keeps you young. Uh, 6 99 is your price. <laughs> I'd like to go for that. So I'm giggling because Kat just went, I thought we were both 28. There you go. I'll take it. There you go. Take <laughs> it where you can. Uh, 6 dollars your price for those UQHD15 is your item code. On that, uh, if you want to go for the gold, we have those for you as well. Um, again, you are going to, oh, they're limited, the gold. 90% of the stock is gone. Uh, you're going to get these again. 96 gold. Always believe in your craft. Uh, if you want to go for that one, that's IBHD32 for you there. And then we have silver. Silver for you as well, super reflective and super. Look at that. Oh, look, you can see everything. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> oh, love 
that we can't see Kat on cameras because she's a vampire. Um, IBHD, th oh, and that's your gold, sorry. Uh, let's see what we've got for our silver. Again, you've got 96 for you there. Y -I -Y -I -Y -I HD 75 is your item code on that one. Uh, right, perfect. And they do match the sizes, again, just to show you, of your pocket pads. So if you are thinking about putting anything with anything, they will be the perfect size to go together and just leave a little border around the outside, which is wonderful. Um, right, what's next? Do you fancy another demo? I certainly do. It's demo cat time. Okay, so this time we are going to delve into our favourite, uh, the best of British. So, I was kind of like really inspired by the nature of this pack and I wanted to do a card that was like... Um, really graphic and picked up on it so the first thing I thought about doing was like chopping some angles and stuff into this now there's you can measure this out if you want to but I just like going in for it so I'm just taking this onto my uh, scoreboard I'm just putting it at a jaunty angle and we're just going to trim a line in and then we're going to kind of tip the angle in an opposite direction and we'll cut another line in and we are going to piece this all back together. I'm just trying to add even more interest than we've already got there. So well, it's just like switching the angles every time. And it doesn't have to be thought about too much. I'm just going to make sure I've got a decent amount to put that down there. And then we're going to pop this to one side. Now, I do usually have a nifty trick for working out your mat and layer sizes. And what might that nifty trick be? <laughs> You didn't let me finish. Oh, I, said, I usually have a nifty trick for working out your mat and layer sizes when you're adding in extra lines. But when you've got so many like this, I will just bamboozle you with the talk of notches and stuff. So I'm going to do it the easy way. I'm glad. We are going to take a piece of uh, cardstock. This is our black stamping card. I'm just going to use my tape runner. You can uh, use your... Uh, construction glue if you're not great brave enough and you need a little bit of extra wiggle room and we are just going to place this on here now I'm using the two top sides as a guide here so the normal kind of mat and layer amount and then we will just keep building this up and then we've only got two sides to trim down and we'll still get that perfect mat and layer. But the idea is of this one is that we're stretching that image a little bit longer than it was originally, um, just so we can have a play around with the details on this. So we're just gonna quickly pop this together. So I apologize if all my lines aren't 100% symmetrical and straight, but you I will love get this, I the love idea. this idea of taking an image and just by cutting it up, you're making an already interesting image and design look even more interesting. Yeah, and this is something that you could replicate across all of the designs that we've got here today, all the books that have come before. I just think it works really well with, mm. with this one. It just really adds to that you kind don't of lose graphic any of image. The design, even though you're cutting into it. No, not at all. Just showing it off in a different way. So then all we have to do, again, you could use your craft knife and a ruler um, to get this nice and even, but I am just going to guesstimate so we're going to take this, do two sides of my mat and layer there. So we've just extended that image out. And then I've just taken a second image. We're just going to leave this one exactly the same. But the idea is that we can place them over each other when the card comes together. So I'm going to pop these down. Remind me when I've uh, popped them because I will lose them. I think it's lovely though because that really does create movement in the piece, doesn't it? So... We are now going to, I'm just diving into our stash of Adorable Scorable. And I'm going to cut two pieces of cardstock for a mat and layer of a six by six inch. Now, this is where I can tell you my <laughs> little trick. So what I like to do is, um, it would be six by six, and I come three notches under for the edge for my normal mat and layer. So... Do you know what? I'm going to take it down to a quarter of an inch just because it makes it a little bit easier to explain to okay. people. So I'm going to take this down to five and three quarter inches to start off with in one direction. And then I'll do the same in the other just so I'm working with an even piece. 
Now, if that was to go on there, you can see that that would just give us a lovely neat border of a quarter, uh, two notches, which is like an eighth of an inch all the way round. But because again, I want to try and pick up on this effect that we've got here with some lines running across. I want to cut two more um, bands across here. So I'm gonna take off another of a quarter from one of the directions that's facing down, just so it's gonna allow me to get those extra mat and layer effects in there. And then by keeping these two pieces of cardstock together, I know I can build them back up together um, to create that kind of original shape. And so effectively you could make two pieces out of this just that your colored combination would be different each time. Uh, goes without saying we're very busy. Oh, well, by yes. the way, Enrico in West Yorkshire, thank you. The Ribblesdale, oh, it's gone, where is it? The Ribblesdale viaduct is in, in North Yorkshire on the Carlisle line. So basically that viaduct that we have in here, where are you? Is the, what do we call it? The Ribblesdale viaduct. There you go, that one down at the bottom there. Look at that, that's, I've never been on that. I don't think I have, anyway. Do they go over that in Harry Potter? Is that a different viaduct? I think that's in Glen. Yeah. Oh, that's Fort William, apparently. Is Glen that in Scotland, isn't it, Fort William? Yeah. There you go. So then we can build this back up. I have them, um, I've picked which combination I like. So I've gone green, blue, uh, green for this one. But of course, you've cut the two pieces of cardstock, so you could go the other I way if you wanted to. It's such a, a really strong design, but it's so simple, Kat. It is, yeah. yeah. It's just having a play around, isn't it? And it's just having that confidence. But you've got so many sheets that you can, mm. if, if you mess one up, it's but that okay. you've now got twice over, haven't you? Because yes. you've got the same yeah, with the, like, definitely. You know, the top and bottom and the green in the middle for another yeah, card. Definitely. So let's pop this on here now. So we're going to bring this over to this side. So we're just yeah, bringing all those colours so in. We're just working with those graphic effects and just taking it to the next level, really. I love it. I think that looks really cool. How did you start crafting? Where did it all begin for you? Um, my mum is a fabulous artist and unfortunately I didn't inherit her artistic talent but there was always art supplies and craft stuff around so I think that's where it kind of comes from. I got the more crafty side. Um, it really started when I suppose I decided to make my own wedding invitations and then people started to ask me to make them for them and then that got into card making, a very, very traditional route I suppose. And then just for my sentiment, I'm just going to take one of our strip uh, cutting edge sentiments. We're going to run this through the die cutting machine very, very quickly. So crafting was definitely in the genes. Or, oh, definitely. You know, that yeah. joy of creativity. Yes, yeah. And I think it was always having, and this is why I love Hunky Dory so much, always having, my mum is a stickler for the best quality materials. And that's what it, she really instilled in me. And that's what you get with Hunky Dory. And that's why I love it so much. Mm, so true. Um, just said busier and busier this afternoon for our fabulous collection, our brand new pads, uh, the Pocket Pads Ultimate Collection number seven. You've got Nobody Does It Better. You've got the Majestic Butterflies. You've got Sports and Hobbies for her. You've got the cute cats, and then you've also got on top of that as well the best of British. What, what? Patricia in Northampton, show you need to check out, as does Jill in Wrexham, Sheila in Suffolk, Patricia in Greater London, and a brand new crafter. But well done to Richard in Rugby, Sheila in Suffolk, Kathleen in Bridgend, and Carol in West Yorkshire. You've all already checked out your baskets. I'm just peeling this carefully off here. Take this out. Oh, come on. Fab. Love it. So much fun, isn't it? Mmm. So, it's really stylish as well, I think. Yeah, and I think uh, collections like this like invite you to be a little bit more playful and come up with more stylish designs. Um, they really extend your creativity, don't they? They're absolutely, it's so much fun. So, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of tape runner to the back here. So this is where your hunky-dory uh, dotted tape runners come into their own as well with things like this. Don't forget, if you want to fill up your baskets with lots of extras to take advantage of our 395 Cat PMP here at Hobby Maker, do go to the brand shop on the website. Oh, cat on the cameras. What's the website? All the W's what? Shout it, cat. Go on. Hobbymaker.co.uk. You lovely person. Hobbymaker.co.uk. 
And then I've just popped that onto a slightly larger seven inch by seven inch car blank. And I think that big chunky white border really, really helps it pop. I love that, honestly. Together. I know I'm a broken record, but I think that is fab. Because <laughs> it just gives, it's like, a, you, know, you can imagine the tourist board for that area using that as their, you know, poster card. Aww. Because it's just fab, it really is. Love it. Um, if you would like to go for your brand new collection, remember it's 15.95 for all five. That works at what three pound? Did we say three seventeen each or something for that? Three nineteen. There you go. What's tuppence between friends? Uh, or five ps sheet MSHD ninety one is your item code on that one. Uh, let me remind you that we've also got we have those brand new um, kinetic cards for you today, but we've also got a returning favourite, a bit of a back in stock for you. Uh, these are our stepper cards. Again, these are the fabulous foiled ones, aren't they? Yes. Absolutely. And we really struggled to keep these in stock last Not time. Surprised. They, You absolutely love them. They just take, I, I don't want to dumb it down, but they take out having to think about anything. Yes, which is <laughs> good. I mean, sometimes so you don't want them for, for like measuring. I mean, you nope. can get dies to do this and stuff, but really, because this is all die cut already and it's all pre-scored, ready to go, you can just fold it down as you want and that makes life so much easier. It really does. 16 sheets, all different, if I remember rightly, as well. You've got different colours, different foiling, some in gold, some in silver. Um, so everything is different. Plus, you get your envelopes included as well, so you don't have to worry about finding the certain size envelope. They are in here. So your foiled pattern stepper cards, QC HD 37 is your item code on those. Love that black. That's fab, isn't it? Stunning. That's like a crafty caviar. That's gorgeous. Uh, now, we've also got for you as well our kinetic cards. These are brand new today. Again, you're going to get 16 of these. Uh, this... Oh, come to me. Let's get them <laughs> off the counter. Uh, this is what you're actually going to be able to do. This kind of card here. So you can see, fold it down. It's all pre-scored. It's all ready to go. Um, so you are getting that shape, but... What, what, what is that shape? How, how would you describe cat that lovely oh, shape? Oh, why are you doing this to me? Because I find it really so good. hard to find I, I describe it like this. It's brilliant. <laughs> because it's the best way. It's the best way. It is a little bit like I feel like we should be like off to some club or something, do you know what I mean? But yeah, it's, oh, look, they're doing it in the gallery. They're doing it in the gallery. I started to they're trend. It. Look at that. <laughs> Adam's loving it. Adam, can you spin and do that at the same time? That would be beyond my wildest dreams. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Yes. <laughs> Yes. See, Kat, that's why I'm doing it. You've created a dance move. OK. You've created a moment. OK. And that's what it is. Uh, right. <laughs> it could be the new Gangnam Style, couldn't it? Uh, Anne-Marie in Staffordshire. Is it your Anne-Marie? Hunky Dory saying, stop doing that. Uh, Probably. Uh, it's not. Um, uh, it's not. <laughs> Anne-Marie in Staffordshire. Oh, phone's gone. Uh, Anne-Marie in Staffordshire says, hi, I've just got in from work. Could you please do a quick run through of the, of the little books, please? Yes, of course we can, darling Anne-Marie. Let's do it for you. We've got five brand new little books. Oh, if you want those, by the way, details on the website, the kinetic cards. Uh, we do have our brand new books for you, the pocket pads. So, lovely cat, take us through these. Let's start with the best of Britain, shall we? Yes. So we have got this beautiful poster art style best of Britain collection. Really does what it says on the tin. It is encapsulating all of those best of British scenes in this really new kind of art style for us. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's very kind of like 1920s. That's what yes. I love about it. Yeah. You know, like when you have those old sort of like posters, like the old Agatha Christie books and things like that. It's yeah. that kind of style, isn't it? I absolutely adore it. And I think you were right before. I mean, you could literally just take that that board that we've got these displayed on and put that on a you know in a frame and hang it on the wall. Yeah, definitely. It looks so good. Those two cards are so good. Did you make both so of those? Clever. I know I didn't make either of them. Well, whoever did make them, I think they're brilliant. They really are. But I think you know it's easy to make great cards when you've got great product, isn't it? It is definitely. Gorgeous. Uh, that's your best of British. That's the first one. The next one for you. Nobody does it better. That's what they're called. Uh, we've got our gnomes, everything from rock gnome through to like pumping iron uh, gnome, gym gnome, call it what you will. Uh, what else? We've got gardening gnome. There's a gnome for every occasion. There is a gnome for every occasion. And lots of people have lots of multiple ho hobbies. It would be great over the years to build them a, like a little collection of cards of the same gnomes, but doing something different every time. So true. Uh, next one for you. What have we got next? Oh, we've got our cute cats. Look at this. Super cute cats. Uh, they are the cutest cats. I mean, that, that first one, can we just stop on that one a minute? Just go back up to that one. Because where's that card? Where is it? Have I buried it, cat? That fabulous cute cat's card you brought in. <laughs> Have I buried it? Where is it? Where's it gone? 
Oh, did I put it back in here? <laughs> yes, I have. Look, here you go. Look, just to show you from that, because you get more than one of each particular sheet, creating something like that, that is just fab. That's one of my favourite moments of the day, finding that. Thank That's you. I had, gorgeous. when I made it at work, I kind of had that moment myself because I was just going, can I add another cat? And they were yes. going, do it, do it. <laughs> There's always room for more pussycats, quite frankly. I mean, look at that. Uh, so you've got the cat there, but that's just one of... There's how many images? Is it eight, eight, No, there's 64 16. sheets. There's 16 different images, and you get four of each you particular do. one. Yes. Thank you. Uh, just look, cats get into everything, don't they? Cats in a basket, cats in a welly, cats playing with balloons. That's going to end in uh. catastrophe, <laughs> it really is. Uh, you can see cat up a tree, just fab. So, uh, look, cat with a mouse, ooh, your history. Uh, so we've got that one, that's cute cats for you. Next up, we have included in our brand new collection, the Majestic Butterfly. Oh, and like we said, we we can't sing the praises of this one enough. It, it is so beautiful, the colours are so rich. They're so royal, aren't they? Mm. The, and lots of different kinds of butterflies. Some more of your traditional, some a little bit more ethereal, um, some really fantasy looking as well. You yes. can mix and match these with so many other different butterfly bits that Hunky Dory have got going on as well. Absolutely the, they're gorgeous. They're otherworldly. Yes. Aren't they? Uh, so those are your majestic butterflies. And then finally, we have got sports and hobbies for her. I think it's lovely. Do you know what? We live in a day and age, and rightly so, where thankfully, you know, women's sport on TV is on the increase and the popularity of it seems to have gone through the roof, which is brilliant. And I love the fact that that's reflected in this very action-packed pocket pad. Definitely. And the fact that it's got both sports and hobbies on. So you have got things that look like very professional, like the cycling down the bottom there and the boxing and the tennis. But you've got more of your hobby kind of versions as well. So like your yoga and your running and things. So there's something for everybody in there. So those are the five brand new ones. They are not on the pick and mix at the moment. Uh, 15 95 is your price if you want to go for those. So remember, you, can get them in, you can't get them individually either. So the only way to get them at the moment is to go through the fabulous big, big bundle for you. Uh, now, we have had messages about the pick and mix and saying, can we get the new ones on the pick and mix? We're trying. Basically, we're going to make that happen. Uh, are you back later? Yes. Well, you've got two shows later, haven't you? Yes. So I think by the time that Lovely Cat is back later, they should be on our pick and mixes. So if you want to wait to put them on the pick and mix, they're not a problem. Liam would normally sort it out, but he's on a stag do in Benidorm. He's actually, do you know, probably not. He's probably on his phone. Let's be honest. He's probably looking at his phone to do work emails at the moment. On a stag do. It's <laughs> wrong, isn't it? But we are trying to get it done ASP. Liam's not doing it. We do actually let him like have a life. He just chooses not to have one. Um, if you would like to go for your ultimate collection, busier and busier, MSHD91. Um, we've got about five minutes left on the show. Do you fancy another demo? We can try. Come we can, on, we can try. If anybody can do it, I feel it should. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Especially when it's a cute cat. That we're it is doing. a very cute cat. I'm like, let me try and get some organisation in place. Uh, so, just, oh, sorry. No, go on. I was going to say, just say, if you do want to order, uh, don't forget the website, the, Ho uh, the Hobby Maker website, the app, or of course, via the phone lines, the best way. I would say, go to the website, have a look around the Hunky Dory brand shop, have a look at the other items on this show. Pop as much in your basket as you can to take advantage of that 3.95 cat PMP. So we are going to start with our kinetic card here, but we're going to try and use it in a little bit of a different way. So because the image that I'm using for this one is landscape, I thought it'd be fun to try and change around the orientation. So I'm going to add a little bit of Miri and a card blank to this to turn it into like a really funky stepper card. So I've just folded it all up ready and again, Queen of the eyeballing is just going to go in with and her you're pencil. Not you're not a measurer. It all depends, um, but I find with things like this, it's just easier to go in, get a rough guide, and then because I do want to put this on a card blank afterwards, if I take this to the closest measurements on my trimmer, it's just going to make my life a little bit easier when yeah, it comes like to putting it. the card blank down. That makes sense. So. We are going to, going to... Now, just say, we're using our kinetic card. Three and a half. Our stepper cards, my apologies. It is our kinetic card, but we're going to make a stepper out ah, of it. Ah, see. Just, just, to confuse mass, just to confuse ma matters. And I think when I've cut that down, I've managed to cut off my marking. So we'll just take that again. So that was three and a half. And I'm going to write that on the back of here, just as a guide, so I remember when I come to do okay. my card blank. 
and then we will take this I presume I've got two marks now oh come on cat <laughs> the third person the third no, person is the right one is coming out now she really really is and that is six and a quarter. I'm meant to be really? rushing, aren't I? I'm really taking time. So now I've just got a car blank. This is a, an original seven by five, but I can now cut this down to three and a half by six and a quarter. And hopefully that should be... Uh, I've got a question from Tracy. Trying to order the kinetic cards. They appear to have sold out. Are they going to be in stock, please? No, they are sold out, darling. They are they're not sold out, darling. They are <laughs> they are in stock. That's hello. If you want to go for them, OVHD thirty. Put my teeth in. They are not sold out. They are in stock. So they're on the website right now. There you go. Uh, so if you want to order them, OVHD thirty is your item code. Uh, and there's loads that eleven ninety nine is your price for the entire set of those. So they are there. Maybe there was like a momentary glitch. I don't know why. I think it's just one of those days, isn't it? It's been so, one of those days, yeah. <laughs> so I have just added uh, tape just to the bits that were free. I've not, obviously not put them at the back, so that sticks down nice on there. And then I can pop this down onto that card blank. And there is there's so many ways that you can play around with these shapes and do lots of fun things with them. And we'll pop that on there. So again, I have gone in... And I have chopped my little cat down image just a little bit smaller. Just, again, because I want to show off that beautiful foil detail. It is so stunning. Oh, it would be a crime to cover it up completely. It would, cats. wouldn't it? So, let me do... I'm sure I had before. I'm hiding everything. I'll do it again. So I'm just going to mark this out. And Are you again. cutting out a mat for it? Yes. I've cut it down, haven't I? Oh, you've got that one, can't you? I know, well, look. Oh, I see, you've cut that down, yeah. I beg your pardon. Because I, I just so love the foiling. I love the foiling of the um, yeah, design so much. It. I don't I want to cover it all up. Mm. I still want a little bit of it peeking through. So we are going to just chop that. Adam won't cut you off oh, until I finish. Are you sure? Yeah, director Adam won't do I don't know, no. I'm rushing now. No, you'll be fine. You will be fine. We you haven't got, got that much to do. We're fine. So I'm going to pop that on there. And then we can put this piece flat on the back of that panel. I think I'm just going to pop this down here. I'm just going to open it up just to make life a little bit easier for myself. I'm going to pop that there. And then, you did see, I've gone ahead... And I've cut this little layer out. So we're really going to build up that cat peaking so effect. Now we're doing so, so That's fabulous. It is catapage. We'll have to come up a name with for everyone, won't we? Oh, easy. We've got Britapage, we've got Catapage, we've got Nomapage, we've got Hurapage for the sporty <laughs> one. And then we've got <laughs> that's Flyapage. So that would be Flutterapage. Uh, uh, that was just way too easy. It was, wasn't it? So I'm just now taking the little paws off this one. Please, please. Do carry on ordering us an hour, but don't forget we've got another hour of storage for crafts coming up. But the good news for Hunky Dory fans is Cat is back, back, back. Twice tonight, once at five o'clock and then once at seven o'clock to finish our Hobby Maker Day. Brand new embossing folders coming your way at five o'clock. And then at seven o'clock, it's a bit of a roundup of the day. Yeah, a bit, a bit of a sort of Hunky Dory cocktail for you at seven o'clock tonight. So I'm just kind of going to hold this in place so you get the idea. But we would pop those little paws on there and then I die cut our lovely sentiment that we got a bit back. We would layer that up and have that coming off the front of the card there just so your little cat is peeking through. So the little cat, if we have a look at that from the front, there you go, you can see your little cat peekabooing through. That's so super cute, it really is. I love it, I love it, you did it. A version well of. Well done, congratulations. <laughs> um, Kat, thank you, absolute You're joy. You're welcome. As ever. Kat's going to be back at five o'clock. I'm going to be back after the break. Uh, is your craft room tidy? It is at the moment. Could you do us some more storage? Always. Join me after the break. <laughs> Bye. Not only is Hobbymaker available live from 1 until 8pm on Sky 670,
Freeview Channel 73, YouTube, and the Hobbymaker app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Hobbymaker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobbymaker. Storage for Crafts came about because I was a messy crafter, essentially. I came into crafting by mistake. I went to a local craft show with my mum and my mother-in-law. They craft. They said, try making some Christmas cards. So I did. And then you buy loads of stuff. You lose the dining table. And before you know it, you've got more stuff than you know what to do with. My husband, Kevin, bless him at the time, was making furniture. So he made a little unit. That worked fine, but then I kept buying. So we expanded the range. And before you know it, I've got a craft room and we provide furniture for other people like me. The history of storage for crafts came about, we started just with little storage towers to begin with. So we had stuff for A4 papers, A3s, that kind of thing. So paper crafting, sewing, model makers, because you can fit your little figurines in those quite nicely and train bits go nicely in those. And then I needed a desk because he kicked me out of the dining room. And then we thought, okay, so we had standalone desks. And then I was like, but that makes too much mess. And I've got a sewing machine by this stage and I don't want the cat to walk across it. He's like, I'll put some doors on something. So the next thing you know, we have night's haze and we have all the big walk-in cupboards. Our storage for crafters is ideal because there are little bits that we all keep as a crafter. You know, we all have the little bits of paper, the little bits of glitter and all that that we like to keep. So our storage cupboards allow you to keep everything. There's space for absolutely everything. You've got die cutting spaces, you've got 12 by 12 storage, you've got A3 in some cases, plenty of A4, and loads of little boxes for those little bits and pieces. You know, you've got pen storage, you've got ribbon racks, you've got space for your washi tapes. You can hide everything in there if you need to. I love the reaction from customers, especially when we're at the live shows and you're playing with the cupboards because it's deceiving when you're on air to see how big they are but when they see them in the flesh and you're opening up the doors and they keep going and then you're putting the desks down and you can see the smiles come on their faces and usually on their partners faces as well because they're thinking the house is going to get tidy i'm going to get the dining room back you know there's not going to be stuff all over the place so it helps both of them really Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Hobby Maker. How are you doing? My name is Nigel May. This lovely lady, of course, is Joe Venison, and it is an hour of the best storage on Planet Craft. It's storage for crafts. Welcome back, Joe. Hello. We had a really busy one o'clock hour. I'm not surprised because when it comes to making storage units for crafters that have actually been created from a crafty mind, then look no further. Joe, you've been, I mean, storage for crafts been around for what, 19 years now, nearly yep. two decades. And you make furniture that allows people to store all of their fabulous crafty items, whether yep. that be soft craft stuff, paper craft stuff, home decor stuff, jewelry stuff in the easiest and the most economical and practical way. This is it, houses are getting smaller, so not yes. everyone's got a craft room either. So I like to design furniture with Kevin that is going to fit in a small space. But Kevin's the husband. 
that can hold so much stuff because crafting isn't a five minute hobby and you accumulate a lot of stuff but we use it all, so you need to have access to it. Now, we have got, I think, some of the best prices around. Do you see that price there? We are talking about the Knight's Haze, which is one of the heroes of the Storage for Crafts range. We're already getting that price down. We're going to take £600. Is that £600? Yeah. £500. Uh, yeah, six hundred pounds. We're going to take. I can do my maths then. We're going to take six hundred pounds off and bring it down to two thousand four hundred ninety-nine pounds. A five-way split means that me personally, and we've been working together for a long, long time now, and um, we can give it to you at the best price that I have seen when it comes to split pays. Today, all you need to pay is four hundred ninety-nine pounds and eighty p. Jimmy, come here. Hello. Come here. <laughs> do we charge people here at Hobby Maker to use split pay? No. Why? Because that's ridiculous. Because that's ridiculous. Thank you. Out you go, <laughs> sunshine. It is ridiculous. So basically, no interest to pay and no charge for using split pay. All you need to pay today is just the first of five incremental payments over the next month. So April, May, June, July and August of £499 and 80p. This is our last hour with Joe today. Okay. We are here until five o'clock with the lovely Joe live and direct. If you have any questions, because we want you to shop with confidence, uh, do get your emails in studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. Right, we've done all the housekeeping. Let's just show you the brilliance of Storage for Crafts. So the unit itself, what is it made of? So it's made out of melamine face chipboard. Yep. Same as your kitchens and bathrooms. So you already know it's going to take heat, it's going to take water being splashed on it, it's going to take um, things being marked, because you can clean it with whatever you use in those rooms. But this is 18 mil thick. So this is thicker than the average me mela? Melamine face chip Melamine. Board. So that's the stuff that we have in like um, kitchens and stuff. It is, yeah. That's generally 15 mil. Okay. And um, three mil doesn't sound a huge amount, but it just makes it that little bit more rigid. Okay, so we know that it's a really strong unit. We know that it's an attractive unit, but... Mm -hmm. It's the inside that makes this a magical unit. Because look, if we take it to that stage to begin with, mm -hmm. uh, like that, you can see that, let's go for the centre part here. You've got all of these boxes included. There's a light up here as well, so you can turn the light on if you want to craft at night or if you want to add some extra light, not a problem. You've got the boxes themselves. Mm -hmm. Can you remember the storage capacities of this? Have you still got it written down? It's 344. Three hundred, you are good. <laughs> 344 litres. Have you still got the paper? I have, yeah. You are good. Uh, 344. 44 litres of storage in here. All of the boxes are included. Mm -hmm. Also in this area, you've got this fabulous table. This table will go down, the legs will come out. You pop that there, you've got a great working area. Perfect for maybe where you're going to put your die cutter machine. Perfect for maybe where you're going to be putting your scan and cut machine, your sewing machine, whatever it may be. Storage for crafts have thought about everything as well because back here you've got this little extra hole. I mean, obviously there's a little cover for that. That is where you will be putting your cables. So again, everything has been thought about. You don't have to drill into the unit itself. It's ready to go. Um, let's talk. Well, let's talk before we go to your side down mm -hmm. here. You've even got that extra storage down there, extra boxes down there as well, which is brilliant. So you can see even the areas where you think like, we don't have to put something, you put something. Yeah, there's a space there that is big enough to put a scan and cut if you wanted to, or a silhouette that will fit in there. And then underneath that, you've got two of the 18 and a half litre boxes. So good for your wadding, good yeah. for um, big bulky fleece, but you can also put um, A4 hanging files in there. So you could then organise cards you've already made by occasion. Maybe if you're making them for your school card sale or something like that, once you've made them and you've wrapped them, they can go in there safely. So this is brilliant because it is like literally your craft station. Yeah. So, OK, this is brilliant. So like if we were crafting on our own, if like, you know, Joe is crafting, I'm going to grab a chair. Jimmy, can you wheel it? Can you pass me that chair, Sanchez? Sorry, I know Jimmy's got 83 jobs to do. I'm like, Jimmy, 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 <laughs> sorry. But bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. There he is, brilliant. So, like, this is the prop, uh, the right height for a wheelchair to go under, if need be. Also, thank you very much. Go on, you can just pretend you've our, our mate that's come around. Uh, look, so there you go. It's the right height as well. He just wants airtime on TV. Get the phone to your agent again. Uh, yep. So it's the right height for, like, their chairs as well. So great for crafting. But maybe little Jimmy wants to craft... Maybe little Jimmy wants to craft with his lovely friend Joe. Is there room for an extra table? There is. Hi, Joe. Hi, Jimmy. 
Don't milk it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you can see you've got the extra table over there as well, which is brilliant. So if you wanted to have like a little portable craft, or not portable, if you want to have a little craft station for you and a friend as well, this is brilliant. Joe, the boxes on your side, absolutely fabulous too. Again, storage there for everybody. But maybe people might think, well, I don't quite want the shelves like that. Is it possible to change things? It is really possible to do that and really easy to because they're all just sat on shelf pegs. So all you need to do is just lift it out so you can put lever arch files in there if you want to. You can put taller, um, maybe you want to put an overlocker in there, that would fit quite nicely. Rearrange the boxes how you want that work for you. Thank you very much. Uh, Jimmy had to go home, by the way, sorry. Oh, bye, his, Jimmy. His mum called and said he needed to go home. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so again, you've got storage under there as well, yep. which is fabulous. This side, so look, this side, look, we'll open this up to its full capacity. And if you're thinking, hang on a minute, sizes and all that, we'll give you the dimensions in a moment, don't you worry. Let's talk about this part here. So again, extra storage with your boxes. Again, to clarify, all boxes are included. Bit of a shelf space here. So obviously, you know, we've put some gilding flakes, but it could be whatever you want in there. There's room there again for maybe another machine maybe you've got a midi or something like that uh, again shelf after shelf after shelf of potential this is it and these are a good size a4 box so you've got the shallower ones that are sort of your 500 ream mm. one but they're bigger than a4 sheet of paper so you've got about an inch at the top so you're not going to dog ear any papers getting them in and out and it's the same with all the boxes so with the 12 by 12 they're slightly bigger and with all the boxes as well, I love yep. the fact that hey, you get the boxes. How great is that? They're all see-through, so you can see what's in there, which is wonderful. Yep. Also, super tough. And because they've got that little sort of snap clasp locking system on there as well, if you want to take these around with you, you know, you're off to your crafty mates or whatever, it's brilliant. You can put your project in there. Or, of course, if you want to, you can just compartmentalise everything into like, oh, let's have a little bit of visible image in there. Let's have a little bit of, uh, you know, hunky-dory in there. Let's have Crafter's Companion in there. Let's have the Crafty Witches in there. It's entirely up to you how you do this. Also, we have this part here. Now, I always think of this part over here as being specifically good for like soft crafters as well because there's places for your reels and places for, um, places for your bobbins places for your uh, your ribbons things like that as well but again you can make this what you want joe can't you you can because it's it's what we call multi-drilled so you could move the shelves wherever you want so if you pull that door in and you're sat here you don't want the ribbons up high you can bring them down lower if you don't use the reels you just wouldn't put the dowels on that shelf and you'd flip it over and use it for something else Equally, if you find that you've amassed more ribbons or washi mm. tapes, just get in touch and we can send you more um, dowels to put your ribbons on. So this is that bespoke service, which mm. is brilliant. So you've seen what you are getting. Now, the way that this works, so basically, if you or both got a message come through, Denise in Greater London says, I had mine delivered yesterday and put together today. It's wonderful. I love it. Now, I, now to put everything into the boxes. Happy days. Oh. Um, Denise, if you want to send us a picture, we would love to see it. Happy so, organising, Denise. Yeah, happy organising. So let's explain, because mm. in this deal as well, for the price that we've got today, not only do we have a £600 reduction and a five-way split pay, also included in that is uh, your white glove service. Now, the white glove service would normally cost how much, Joe? On this one, it's £350. £350? Even yeah. more than I thought. Oh, they whistled in my ear. Uh, <laughs> Uh, £350 normally that would be, but you're getting that for no extra pennies. The way that the white glove service works, we'll show you a little clip in a minute. Uh, OK, so basically, let's show you where you can have it. And then, Adam, can we get that little clip or the sped up clip lined up as well? Oh, cat, sorry. Uh, so let's explain the map then, Joe. OK, so we will deliver it for you to assemble all over. So in cross waters, Isle of Man, Isle of Wight. But if we're going to come and put it together for you, if you draw a line between Edinburgh and Glasgow, that's as far north as we can go. And I still can't get the van to float, so we won't. You'll have to put no, it together. No, until that miracle can happen. Uh, yeah. I understand that. Uh, so, like, literally, if you have a postcode there that uh, you, they cannot assemble it, so the white glove service, you would have to pay for that. But the white glove service is included in this, which means this will happen. Two gentlemen will come round. All you need to do is actually sort of uh, clear an area, and wherever that space may be. Uh, it could be <laughs> in the attic. It could be in the uh, could be in the basement. It could be whatever you like. You can live in a tall block of flats. You can live, you know, in a remote cottage, wherever you fancy. Uh, 
all you need to do is basically clear the area. I would recommend getting some tea and biscuits in for the boys. Keep them happy. Maybe a bit of music on in the background, whatever they yeah. fancy. They won't go this quick, I'll be honest. They're not <laughs> going to be that quick. Uh, but literally, that will get done for you. And they will take all the packaging away with them as well. That, for me, is brilliant. Yeah. None of the endless hours of, like, flat packing it down into your wheelie bins or that. Literally, it will be done. Or filling up the bin when it's not being collected for another two weeks. Um, so the deal today is that you got this for, I think, one of the best prices we've ever had, A, here at Hobby Maker, but also wherever I've seen this before as yep. well. £499.80 is your first payment. I know it's considered a purchase, but think about the investment that you've got here. You are going to know where all of your tape pens are. You are going to know where you are going to find all of your knitting needles or your balls of yarn or whatever it may be. We are so proud here at Hobby Maker and on our sister channel, Sewing Street, to say that we are the only place on British TV right now where you will find this lady on air. Do you know what I mean? That's true, is yep, it? Storage it is. crafts aren't on air anywhere else. We are. Just here, and of course, our lovely Sewing Street. Mm -hmm. Are you there tomorrow? I am. Yeah, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. There you morning. go, 11 o'clock yep. tomorrow morning for our Sewing Street fans. They'll be filling that with ribbons and all sorts, won't yes. they? Um, it's a brilliant deal. So how does this work? So people think, yeah, I want to go for this. They do the item code, NC4S43. Yep. Then what happens? So once all the orders come through to us, we separate out, I say we, I separate out who's putting it together and who we're assembling, who's had one of these. Then we send out an email. So it will say tracking numbers if you're going to put it together yourself. And if we're going to come and do it, it will say, just hang on fire. We've got it. Don't worry. We'll be in touch. Because it takes me a little while to work out delivery routes because we kind of like to put little clusters together. Yes. Because coming out of Devon, it takes a long while to go around the UK. Yeah, you're not going to do that. Like, well, let's do Edinburgh. Well, you, let's do, I don't know, mm. North Yorkshire. And then let's go to Lowestoft. And then let's go down to Brighton. And then let's go across to yeah. Swansea or something. This like is that. it. It does take a while to get a route yeah. in, in place. And then we start you know we're going to be in the area in this day does that work if it does great that's fine we arrange a time the boys will turn up they'll put it together for you as i say all the rubbish comes back and then we reuse it as many times as we can obviously it's on a really good price at the moment but if you don't want it in the eight in the eight to ten weeks for the assembly we can delay it. So if you're going on a cruise or something in the summer or, or you're waiting you're, for the kids to go back to uni. Or maybe you know that you're going to be moving house in the next yep. couple of months. Or we something. can hold it until you're ready. That's not a problem. That's brilliant. Yeah. I think that's yeah. so good. It really is. And equally, if you want to put it together yourself and you don't want to wait for us to come and put it together, we can ship it and you can do it. That's and you fine. Go. The choice is yours. Also, I will say, I mean, I know thankfully we're kind of like, past those times but I know people mm. still talk about it some people worry about Covid and all that kind of things and having people in your house all of that can be discussed on the phone yep. to make sure that everything's as safe as possible to give you the best peace of mind possible that's the great thing all you need to do is just literally clear the area now we need to give you the sizes for this don't we because mm. it's a big unit it's about two meters almost when it's open um, let's give you the dimensions for this so when it's closed it's going to be these dimensions so obviously 74 and a half inches high 67 inches across 32 inches deep but obviously you're not going to keep it closed unless it's the end of the day and you want to put your craft stuff away you're going to open it up now opened up to its full length it's 77 inches that's 196 centimeters so nearly two meters it's still obviously a 74 and a half Half inches tall now with the secondary table down the one that's longer uh, that makes it 160 centimeters in length which is 63 inches so it's a really sizable unit but I love the fact that obviously once you have decided that your crafting is done or if you suddenly realize that you've been crafting for nine hours solid and like the other half's coming home and you need to you know put everything away or the kids are you know grandkids are coming around or whatever let's see how easy it is that Jimmy doesn't put his stuff away after. No. Let's see how easy it is to put everything away. So the tables will go up. I'll put that down there. And then that will go there. Do that there. There you go. Literally just over 15 seconds to put that together. Ding dong, the kids are coming round, which is good. It's like where everything's nice and tidy and it's away. Um, Brilliant. This is such a good uh, good bit of kit. I think it's the best storage on Planet Craft. I really do. Your choices are the vanilla that we have here. We've got two choices for you. You can also go for the oak if you want to. This is what the oak looks like. The vanilla is the most popular at the moment. What I love about the fact that you've got the choice of vanilla or oak, both of them are very easily accessorizable. So yeah. they will go with whatever you already have in your home, I think, as well. They look modern, but they can look quite old school. It can be whatever you want. Um, I do think, I mean, obviously, we're using these for crafty purposes here. They have been built 
from the mind of a crafter, mm -hmm. for the love of a crafter. But I do think as well, I mean, for kids' bedrooms, like the little homework station and stuff like that, it would be, I would have been absolutely they would chuffed as an egg if I'd have had one of these when I was younger. Well, this is it, because you could still have your gaming stuff in there, you could have toys in there, you could, you could do your homework in there if you wanted to. Perfect. I, I can imagine, my, my oldest granddaughter is now eight, which Gosh. frightens me in itself. Mm. Uh, but I just think, can you imagine, like, you know, that's her little, where she puts her little makeup on. Oh, She's yeah. at that stage now. Uh -huh. Everything's like, I need to get my makeup on. You know, a little beauty station, you can yep. do your homework in there, write letters to mm -hmm. granddad, and, oh, you know, all of those things. It's perfect. just lovely as well. But yep. obviously, primarily, this is for crafting, and it's nice to be able to say that. You're not having to go to a store and think, like, well, I'm a crafter. It's like, I want some furniture that's going to work for my crafting. Here, you aren't having to compromise because Joe has done everything, and Kevin, of course, your lovely husband, to make sure that this is perfect for you. Uh, so if you want to go for the Knight's Haze, it's the hero of the range on a five-way split. £2,499 is your price, uh, but it's down, well, five interest-free for split pays, taking it down to four ninety-nine eighty. Uh, Stuart in Cheshire, hi all. Is it available in black? No, is the answer to that. Mm. But I am going to say, with both this and the pine, more so with the vanilla, if you're crafty, there's nothing to stop you kind of like pimping this up or changing it to whatever you want, really. No problem at all. In fact, my daughter Could does. Could you lick of paint on it if need be? Quite easily. Put some, sand it, put some primer on it, paint it. So I think yeah. really what we're saying is, Stuart, it can be whatever colour you want it to be, mate. Paint it accordingly, do you know what I mean? But it will come to you in the vanilla or the oak, depending yep. on what you pick. Um, right, what should we look at next? Because we've got so many to choose from tables right this is this shows you how easy things will wheel around your home as well which is brilliant uh, we've got the two leaf for you and the one leaf so should we start with the one leaf we're going to show you both on the two leaf just to show you how easy it is but basically there is a separate one leaf mm -hmm. one if you want uh, right joe let's move that up to begin with there you go okay. and then shall i pop that through there you go so this is available let's move it back a little bit as well there you go put it into the light yeah. uh, this is available in oak or vanilla not only do you get the leaf here so it actually goes up to sort of spread out but also you are going to get oh i need to spin this around a little bit don't i you can see on that side look you've got lots of storage and your box is included and then da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Look, you are going to get the boxes and your storage on that side as well and your shelves. I think this is such a good bit of kit, it really is. Um, Joe, I mean, this for me is maybe for people that have got a little bit less room in their home, yep. maybe don't want to commit to the price point of a larger unit and just want something that maybe they, maybe they don't have so much craft stash as it's, you. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> and it, it's a nice compact unit, yeah. so it will fit, the height of it will put it underneath the window quite easily so it works in a conservatory really well yes but in mean, some houses are incredibly small maybe you live in a one bedroom flat so your living room is your dining room yes. your craft room and your living space this isn't going to take up too much room at all so you can craft here you could eat your dinner on here as well because it's a comfortable height agreed so you haven't then got to worry about putting it away getting it out you can craft away. And this, so this is the one leaf you want to give that. Have we got the dimensions for this one, uh, producer Cat? Uh, so just so we can give you the dimensions. Again, the, you know, assembly is quite easy on this. It is, yes. There's no white glove or anything like that. You can do it yourself. But basically, is it a Phillips screwdriver you need? It is just a Phillips screwdriver, yeah. yeah and just follow the instructions step by step. And if you do have yeah. any kind of like hoo-ha or quandary or problem or poser, yeah, just drop me a message and I'll ring yeah. you and we can, I can talk Dead through easy. it. Uh, the measurements for this one are as follows. There you go. Uh, the height including the cast is 705 millimetres. That's just over, what, 70 centimetres, isn't it? Uh, and the leaf, there you go, with the leaf in use, the total uh, area there is 175 millimetres by 905 millimetres. And don't forget, you get all of your boxes included. Um, we've already taken £100 off the price, bringing it down to 399 It is down to a four-way split. Again, no interest or no charge for that four-way split taking it down to under 100 pounds so all you need to pay today is 99.75 we have it in the oak if you want to go for that but again we've got the choices we will have it in the vanilla as well the vanilla proving to be the most popular at the moment so that is the one leaf but you know what i'm thinking if you're tempted by the one leaf why have one leaf when you can have <laughs> two because look this is the two leaf that we've got for you here um, again you are going to get your storage both sides both to the front there and to the back this is fabulous this is your dinner table your crafting table your storage table your sewing table yep. uh, it's everything that you need in one isn't it 
It is. And I think you could probably get about six people comfortably crafting around this as well. So you could have the grandchildren, children, you could have kids down the street all coming in craft together. Yeah, what a, what a lovely idea. Yeah. I mean, I think with something like this, if you do want to go for it, £479 is your price. We've got a split pay offer on this one, of course, a four-way split pay, taking it down to, what, 119 or something? Is it something like that? Uh, 119 something, if I remember rightly. Uh, WH4S68 is your item code. So WH4S68. So with the two leaves up... What are the measurements that you need to know? Let's check those out, shall we? Here they are. Your total work area with the two leaves in use is 168 millimetres, uh, 1,685 millimetres, and, or by 905 millimetres. And the table contains, remember, eight storage boxes as well. I mean, think of what you might be putting in there, your papers, your cardstock, machines, machine accessories, your tools, your fat quarters, whether it's your soft crafting, whether it's your uh, paper crafting, whether it's your home decor, whatever it may be, you will be able to pop your bits and pieces in there. It is a phenomenal deal. And also remember, at the end of the day, when you are thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, I now need to like put it all away because I've got somebody coming around. Or maybe you're thinking, well, I need the table again, basically because we need to eat off it. All you need to do, put those into place, put that there. All of your crafty story is still accessible, so if you need to get your crafting out, it is there for you. And look at that, fabulous. And if you want to, like, you know, even if you want to move this, I mean, we're on like a lino sort of floor here in the Hobby Maker Studio, but even on a not too deep carpet, mm. this will still move around, won't it? It will be absolutely fine. And the four main casters on the main section are lockable as well, so once it's in position. It is that, and it's, it's, it's super tough as well. I shouldn't sit in it, but it's super <laughs> tough, it is. Uh, we've got two options for you on that one. We've got the vanilla, and then we've also got the classic oat that you've seen here in the studio today. Uh, so that's on a four-way split way. Which one should we look at next? Oh, let's do a big boy. Right, OK. Uh, we have got our fabulous 160 coming up for you next. Uh, this is our storage system, the shelving tower storage system, which has become kind of like a hero range within the storage for crafts um, arsenal of product, hasn't it? It is, because not everyone's got room for the night's haze. Yeah. A lot of people have got their own desks, so they just need storage. So our triples, the 160, this is one of our most popular ones. I'm not surprised. I mean, you've got 39 boxes in here. Do we know the literage storage on this one? Get your paper out, Jojo. <laughs> I want to say 244. I don't know why I've got that in my head. Close, 255. Oh, nearly. <laughs> there you go, 255. 255 litres of storage. Yep. All of the boxes are included. You need to fill them with your own craft stuff. That's what we're saying there as yep. well. Um, I don't even know, I mean, how much the boxes would be, but I mean... You've got a good amount of boxes there. You're probably looking like the best part of like 100 quid's worth of box easily. And the rest. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm being conservative, yeah. aren't I? Yeah, because these, um, off the top of my head on our website, these are around about the £8 mark each. Oh, my gosh. And these... Well, you've got 30 of those. So what's 30 about times nine. 8? That's taking 100 quid out the window straight away. Yeah. That's 240 quid. Mm. And then you've got the boxes down at the bottom. How much are they on your website? They're about... Nine, just under ten, maybe. Well, so let's say ten, because that makes mm. it easy for maths. You've got another ninety, 90 there. Yeah. That's three hundred and thirty pounds there. That's half your price, virtually. Well, not half, but like you know, mm. forty percent of your price already. Um, tell us about the unit itself. I mean, it's on casters, so you can move it around if need be. Yep. It doesn't have to be. We had a picture in the previous show, didn't we, from a lady that actually had this unit. She did. What yeah. was the lady's name? Can we remember? I want to say Michelle, but I'm making that up. I can't remember, uh, but, but we'll try and find out. But basically, she's taken the casters mm. off, so like, literally it's on the floor. Wendy, yes. Wendy, 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 thank you. Yeah, so I mean, taking the casters off is going to give you an extra inch. So if you're putting this in the attic or under the stairs, it gives you a little bit more wiggle room. Is it easy to put together for people? It is. It, Kevin designed all the furniture so I could do it. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> Don't know what that a, says about he's me. He's such a keeper. <laughs> I love it, which is brilliant. Yeah, and all I do when I have to build these units is start with the backs on the floor and then just attach everything to that. When we first started, Kevin thought it'd be funny to watch me try and do it holding it up, but I'm not an octopus, so I couldn't manage it very well. Fair play. So make it on the floor, put your casters on last. You might need someone to help stand it because it is quite heavy. Mm, it's the same with any kind of furniture when you're doing that though. Yeah. I mean, anybody that can make a flat pack piece of furniture on their own, you have my respect. Yeah, it's impressive. And then it takes me longer to put all the shelf pegs in, yeah. especially on a unit this size than it does to actually build the 
the carcass. I mean, that's just think it's such a good bit of kit. Mm. Once it's there, once it's in place, I mean, it's going to revolutionise the way that you craft. Think about what you've done in the past when it comes to like buying things that you then find out subsequently you didn't need to buy. Like, oh, you're going to buy another set of tape pens. Mm. Oh, I didn't realise I had 18 hidden away already. You buy another set of like Christmas papers. Oh, I'd forgotten I had those. It's like if you've compartmentalised everything, and I think this is the perfect one for compartmentalisation. Mm. So you've got your... Easter papers in there, your Halloween papers in there, your Christmas papers in there, your heart papers in there. Or maybe you do it by colour, your blues, your reds, your oranges, your blacks, your whites. Or maybe you do it by, um, you know, by companies. It's like you've got a bit of hunky-dory in there, a bit of crafter's companion in there, visible image in there, uh, a bit of paper dynamics in there. You name it. You've got your metallic card, your silk card, your glitter card, uh, you know, whatever it may be. Then you've got one for your adhesives, one for your tools, one for your embossing bits, your parchment, your vellum. It's a great way of making everything accessible when you need it now again we have this in two options for you the ve uh, the vanilla or oh, some of the vellum then uh, the vanilla or of course the oak it's entirely up to you should we give you the oak is the most popular i'm not surprised should we give you the measurements on this one of course that's not that's a baited question of course i'm going to give them to you no i'm not uh, so this one it's called the exford if you want to go over this one the height is 63 inches that's 160 centimeters the depth is 16 and a half inches that's 42 centimeters the width is 86 centimeters 34 inches and the height again oh, we've got the height 12 because we love it that much uh, so if you do want to, I don't know why but there you go uh, and you've got 30 of the five and a half litre boxes and nine of the 10 litre boxes Debbie and Stephen both in Hampshire Hampshire's gonna, Hampshire's gonna be well organized let me tell you uh, you've gone for yours already check out to secure your purchase but don't forget to use your split pay if you can 719.99 takes it down into how many interest free split pays have we got four split pays five on this one hoorah mm. Uh, 179.99 loving that no it's four isn't it four sorry my apologies 179.99 that's four split pays on that one uh, so your item code is ab4s91 if you'd like to go for that picture from michelle mm -hmm. Um, hi, Joe and Nigel. I had my lovely night taste delivered last week. It only took an hour and a cuppa for the gents. An hour and a cuppa for the gents to put it together. Why did they share one? Uh, just started my organising today, says Michelle in Chorley and Langs. That looks awesome. Looks you know, good. Doesn't that look? I mean, that, yeah. that, that must fill you with warmth because it fills me with warmth and it's not even my company. Yeah. I just think that's fabulous. I, it is a little bit bizarre at times, though, when I see these pictures and I think, that's in someone else's house. But I love the fact that, I mean, for people that weren't with us for the mm. earlier show, basically Joe was saying 19 years ago, because Joe is a crafter, she was yeah. like, I can't get the right storage. Said to her husband, he created something, and Joe was like, oh, that's brilliant. And that became like a company. So 19 years on, that is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, which is why we're so proud to have them here at Hobby Maker. Um, so literally to have that, that idea, that was mm. your sliding doors moment. Literally, you have changed so many people's lives. This is it, yeah. And crafting becomes easier for people because they know where everything is. Yeah. Crafting time is crafting time, not running around the house trying to find everything. But I, I think organisation of your craft room shouldn't mm. be a luxury. It's something that no. everybody deserves. Mm. I know these are price points that maybe you think, oh, I've got, it's a, it's a considered price point. You have to think about spending this kind of money. I get that. But I do think if you can split the cost down and you can actually see the investment that it makes in your future when it comes to your mm. crafting, the economy of not buying things twice, and also that whole thing about having a place for everything and everything in its place tidy mind tidy crafting that's the joy of storage for crafts it really is um that's your 160 busy for that but if you are thinking i don't need that much because i don't have that much stuff uh, this is the most popular by far it always is yep. our 130 because it's 130 in height this is the single tower it is and so where many we started people love. So this is the one. This was your sliding doors we, moment. Yeah. Um, Joe, why do you think this continues to be so popular, this particular item? Because it's so compact. I mean, the only bit of floor space you need for this is just over an A4 sheet of paper. So if you can put that down on the floor, that's where it's going to go. So mm. it will fit behind the door, in the alcove, next to your chair. So you could have all your works in progress in here. You know, you could have your cross stitch. You could have some knitting in here. You can have some beading. Your cards you need to finish off. And you can sit and craft, mm. but be social and sit with the family. Yeah, it's so true. I mean, I do think with this one as well, I mean, obviously, you know, you always try and personalise things. Mm. I have a study at home where I do lots of bits and pieces. And it's like, I think things like this, you know, those horribly boring things in life where you have to, like, keep your gas things, mm. your electric and your council tax and all of that. This is such a good storage unit for that. Everything, like, hidden away. 
That's boring, though. I think just generally, if you can you put the exciting stuff in here, like your craft stuff, that's mm -hmm. really good. But I just want to show the versatility of what you have here, because whatever you use it for, this storage is ingenious because it's really, it's really fulsome in such a small footprint. You can have, you know, a lot in here. Do we know the capacity on this one for the literage? Out with your paper, Jojo. Is it 67 and a half? 68 and a oh, half. I'm so close every time, uh, <laughs> but no cigar. Uh, so 68 and a half litres yeah. of storage with this one um, in a relatively small space, as Joe said, just over the size of an A4 piece of paper. Also, if you do a bit of a, like a spring clean, it's that time of the year and you think, well, hang on, I like it here, but actually I want it over here or I want it over there or I want it over here. Uh, this is brilliant. It has got 360 degree mobility and that's the joy of this, isn't it? I mean, a great one for the garage as well. I'm going to be honest with you. I think unless you've got a nice old garage where you go out to a lot, I I'd want to show this off. <laughs> I would want it in the house. Do you know what I mean? But I mean, if you have got, you know, if you want to go for a few of these. Also, I mean, you know, if you are thinking, well, I want that. I don't really need one that big, but I could do with a bit more than that. Go for two of these because if you had two together, they're obviously going to butt up alongside each other nicely. Again, you can have the casters on or off. It's entirely up to you. And again, we've got the choices. You can have the vanilla or you can have the oak. So those are your choices for you there. Um, OZ4S62, 269 pounds, but it's on a four-way split. So all you need to pay today, if you want to go for your Insta 130 storage tower, uh, with of course no interest to pay and no uh, charge to pay, is just 67 pounds and 25p, 67.25. That for me, if you are thinking about dipping your toes into the wonderful world of storage for crafts, is definitely the one to go for. It really is. Um, I, I love the whole personalization with this. I love the fact that so many happy people say to you, mm. you know, that you've changed the way that their craft room looks, changed their lives when it comes to crafting. Yep. If that is you, or you just simply want to be like, you know, look at my tidy craft room, mm -hmm. send us in a picture. We would love to see it. I mean, this picture that we've got now, yep. that was sent in earlier. Or was, was that yours? A uh, customer sent That's this. That's customer that sent, uh, it sent this to me this week, yes, yeah, to show off what she had. And it's amazing. This was from Lynette. I just think it's lovely. Yeah. Um, we've got a message from Pamela in Essex. She says, hi, Nigel and Joe. I have five towers. They are oh. fab. I would recommend them and keep my craft room tidy. So a happy husband. Keeping the, happy, uh, the yep. husband's happy is always a good thing, is it not? Uh, right, OZ4S62 is your item code for this one. Don't forget, three ways to order. Best way is to go to the website and you can check out the entire storage for crafts range there. PNP, 395. Yes, even on large items like this. That's the albatross that we made for ourselves here at Hobby Maker by having capped P on PNP on everything, regardless of weight or whatever it may be. Um, Kat, what's the website? All the W's what? That is the one, hobbymaker.co.uk, bless her heart. Uh, there you go. Uh, right, we're going to give you a moment to think about this. Check out your baskets. Go and have a look at the reviews on the website. Go and have a look at the details on the website. Or maybe measure up that area and see which is the one for me. Because when it comes to storage for crafts, shopping here at Hobby Maker with your split pay, you are in for the best investment I think your crafting mind could ever make. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Here at Hobbymaker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel.
Welcome back to Hobby Maker on this fine Thursday afternoon. My name is Nigel May. This lovely lady is the answer to your storage needs. Joe Venison from Storage for Crafts uh, with, I think, you know, the perfect show for this time of the year, Spring Clean. Mm. Spring is in the air and you might be looking at your craft room after the long winter months and thinking, well, that's a bit of a mess. That's a bit of an eyesore. And you want to store all of your fabulous crafty items that you have paid your hard-earned money for in a decent way in an economical way, in a practical way, in a functional way, in a keeping them nice and safe and tidy kind of way. That's why this comes into play. The fabulously designed, beautiful looking as well, I've got to say, I love the fact that it's so generically simple in its look. Mm -hmm. The Night Saves from Storage for Crafts. Yep. Furniture that has been created as storage for one group of people in particular crafters and that's because it comes from your mind joe because you are a crafter that needed storage couldn't find what you wanted right. so you got your husband to make something that was the start of a beautiful company business 20 years ago this is it just because i was a little bit messy he would probably argue i was a lot messy well I can i just say your messiness however big your messy is yeah uh, your messiness is now very making the nation very very happy yeah uh, the night says it looks like this on the outside but let's go inside because this open sesame because this is where your storage dreams come absolutely into fruition mm. um Joe, this this unit is just your craft station, your craft area, yep. your little be bit of peace of mind and sanctuary to escape everything else in life, isn't it? It is. It's a craft room in a box. Yeah. So you could have all your lovely crafty goodies in here. And when they're all filled, all the boxes are filled. It just looks stunning. All boxes all are colours. included, but you need to supply your own craft stuff. We can't give you that. Yeah. So you've got... A wide range of boxes in here so you have got the standard a4 boxes you've got the shallower ones and the deeper ones and then across here in the middle you've got some that you could put paint brushes knitting needles that kind of thing would fit in there quite nicely and then you've got some sort of dvd size boxes dvd i love it you're old school like me i am yeah and then you've got more a4 down in that section underneath you've got a space for a machine if you want one You've got a space for cutting mats. You've got more A4 storage. Do you know, every time I look at this, there's more that I see. I never realised there was a space for cutting mats down there. Yeah. Never realised. It's just genius, isn't well, it? When we were designing it, Kevin was having a little bit of a fit because it didn't fit. So I'm like, well, I need somewhere to put my craft mats. And he's like, all right, then. But it's perfect. I love it, the fact that it's constantly, uh, constantly evolving. He's the perfect husband, can I just say that? He <laughs> really is. Um, I mean, the large one that you've got, I mean, that could be for your balls of yarn, your crochet, it could be for, your, could be for a machine, you could pop your midi or something like that in there. You could you? quite easily. And also, you can get your A4 hanging file on there. Nice. So you could keep your household bills in there if you wanted to. Oh, no, let's put crafty. Or you could put, fill it with lovely exciting. crafty yes. bits. Yeah. Much more exciting. Um, you can see on my side as well, I mean, if you are into your soft crafts, and don't forget Joe's going to be on our sister channel, Sewing Street, tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. with the same deals, hopefully, mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Uh, you have got an area over here, maybe, which is specifically made or created, really, with soft craft in mind, but you can obviously make it bespoke to your own needs uh, by talking to the team at Storage for Crafts. A place for your reels, for your ribbons, for your bobbins, for your sprays, for your, you know, hanging your hooks and your, well, hanging things on your hooks, your ribbons, whatever it may be down there, your scissors. It's entirely up to you. So this really, I mean, it can be adapted for whatever you want, but as we see it now, it does lend itself to soft craft. It does, although my night's haze is my paper crafting one. So I have uh, washi tapes on these. Nice. These are both filled with washi tapes. I don't have this one, but the rest of them are filled with my sprays and some paint, spray cans. So your micas and your lotions and potions and your pastes and your shimmers and all yeah, of that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. They're all in here. And then um, I'm trying to think, I've got talcum powder in there. I've got my chalks in there and all sorts. So, and because I have it at a 90 degree angle to when my desk is down, I can easily access everything. Uh, do you want to see Joe's? There it is. Look at that. How I fabulous tidied is it, that? so I took a photo. <laughs> well, no, bless you. I love your chair as well. Um, I love it. I mean, honestly, it's like that for me just makes me realise how productive. And it's your happy place now, isn't it? It is, yeah. I mean, I, I took them down to take the picture, but it's usually got lots of pictures stuck around the inside so that, you know, Ticket stubs are up in there as well because it's my space. I like that. It's like a little scrapbook yeah. of your life going well, on. I was talking to um, someone at the stand on the NEC and we were just generally chatting like you do about your crafty bits and craft rooms and stuff. And he said, so what have you got decor wise? And I said, well, it's just a craft room sort of thing. 
I said, but I've got my turntable up now and I've got all my vinyls out. And oh, all that kind of thing. now you're talking. And then he said, I bet you've got posters up on your walls, haven't you? I said, well, yeah. Who have you got? Bon Jovi. Nice. Did you see him yesterday on This Morning? I recorded it because I was at work. He's looking good. Yes. Did I ever tell you the time when I worked at Moore magazine mm. and I had to wait all day for John Bon Jovi to phone me for an interview? It was back in the days when it was like, you know, you do things on the phone and stuff. And um, it's like literally he didn't phone, didn't phone. I thought, I need to go to the toilet. So the moment I went to the toilet was he the moment rang. he phoned. Yeah. So he's banging on the door going, John Bon Jovi's on the phone. I'm like, oh. Running back, it was like literally, but it was lovely. Yeah, lovely, lovely. So we were busy, and he just turned around and said, "Your craft room is your teenage bedroom, just slightly more grown up." And I'm like, "You're right." It How is. lovely is that, though? It is because you know I've got my Captain America stuff up and I, all that Lego kits out, and yes, my teenage know, room so. just You're for crafting. Such a, such a fabulous lady. Um, so this is your your storage for your craft, your crafting station. Obviously, you've got the tables as well. Yep. So let look. This will come down. You've got this one here. And then if we get that one down over there, and then I'm just going to get the chair in as well, because look, this is fab. It's like that is the right size to pop in there. Also, this is the right size if you are thinking about... Um, oh, we can't see you, lovely Joe, can we? Oh. Come round here, darling, there you go. Oh, so it's the right size as well. If you are thinking about um, wheelchairs as well, it's wide enough for a wheelchair to go under, isn't it? You've yep. thought about that too. Most standard wheelchairs. Yeah, standard wheelchairs. They fit under there quite comfortably. Yep. Because you've got a nice wide area there, but equally you've got so much more space this side. Because mm. you can still work from this side just because, you know, it's an L shape. I think it's lovely as well the fact that, I mean, if you wanted to be a bit solo crafting and you've got the two tables on the go, you can. Or if you wanted, like, you know, Joe wanted to come around if this was my place and do a bit of crafting together or yep. a game of cards or just general chit chat and a coffee, <laughs> uh, then, you know, it's a great way of doing that as well. But there is always that moment, isn't it? And at the end of the day, you think, like, I've done my crafting, or, you know, I think, like, oh, I've got to worry about, you know, somebody coming around tonight. I don't want all my crafty bits everywhere. Or somebody's coming around and you don't want them to see what you're doing. Or maybe you've, you're making something for the other half and you want to hide it away because it's a surprise. What happens then? Well, all of this, let's get rid of that chair, will then go away, of course. And that's the joy of this because everything will go back into its place. The tables will go up. Nice and easy, where's my bits? Nice and easy to put back into place. This will all fold away as well. The light, there's a light on here that goes on and off. You can turn the light off, uh, you get ready. Then put that away and you are left with a really tidy piece of furniture. It, it, all of the, your crafty glory is inside there in the TARDIS of dreams. It literally is because you put so much in there. Everything that you own craft-wise could be going in there. I kind of know what you're probably like. There might be more bits and pieces that you add on to it and then you think, well, I'll just get an extra tower or something yeah. like that. Uh, but I love it. For one piece of furniture, I think this could be your, you know, one-stop shop for your crafting, really. Everything could be in there as well. The boxes alone in here, what was the literage on this, did we say, Joe, again? 355. 355 litres of storage. Those boxes alone that you get in here, because you are getting all of those boxes, would cost you over £300 if you were to buy them individually. We've already got a £600 saving on this, taking it down to 2499 Also included in this, remember, is your setup fee, which is your white glove service. That sounds nicer, doesn't it? Uh, your white glove service would normally be £350. That's included in this. And we've got a five-way split pay. Now, with that fabulous um, white glove service, thank you, that white glove service, that is only in certain parts of the UK. So you can see up to the black dotted line, you can use the white glove service across the mainland. Um, that black dotted line is from... It's Glasgow and Edinburgh, so draw a line there. So sort of Glasgow, Edinburgh, line from left to right. So north of that, I'm afraid, it's self-assembly. Also over in Ireland, it's self-assembly as well. Those postcodes cannot assemble in those areas too. This is what will happen. Two lovely men, is it Kevin and... This is Kevin and Steve. Kevin and yep. Steve. It might be there, might be other people. Uh, they will come round. You just need to clear the area. We'll give you the dimensions again in a moment for your night says. Clear the area wherever it may be, whether it's in your basement, whether it's in your she shed, whether it's in your garage, whether it's in your attic, wherever it may be. And then they will do everything else. They'll set it all up for you. They'll take all of the... They won't do it that quick, honestly. Uh, they, they, will, well, you <laughs> might, they might do. And the lady said before, they did it in an hour, which is yeah. amazing. Uh, they will take all of the packaging away as well. All you need to do really is give them a cup of tea or coffee and maybe a nice crunch biscuit. That's all they need, isn't it? It, quite frankly yep. um, so if you do want to go for that that's included too but let's give you your measurements shall we so you know what size area you need to clear when it's closed you can see 67 inches across and 74 and a half inches high 32 inches in depth when it's open 
This is your sizes. Oh, these are your sizes. Uh, it goes up to 77 inches in width. That's about 196 centimetres. 74 and a half inches in height. And then, of course, with that extended table down, it's 63 inches in depth. That's 160 centimetres. It is brilliant value for money. But let's explain how this happens. So you decide to spend your hard-earned cash today, hopefully using split pay so you can cut break that cost down. Um, you put your first payment comes through to us, then what happens, Joe? So once we've got the orders come through, I separate out those that are going to be assembled by the customer and those we're going to come and do. Those that are going to put it together themselves will get an email saying that it will be dispatched on this day. Does that work? And the tracking number will come through. If the dates don't work, they're not set in stone, you can email back and we can rearrange it. It's not a problem. And then with the assembly routes, it's the same thing. I put um, postcodes clusters together so that we have a logical route around yes, the country. You're going to be going like all over the place, do you? Not really. And then um, we arrange the times and the dates and then we'll come and put it together. All the rubbish we will take away. Because the night's haze, when it's all in boxes, but it's, um, there's... 24 boxes. So I love the boxes. Fact you said, and you actually recycle them and you use them again, don't you? We do. I use them as many times as we can, even so down to good. the little packets that the screws come in. I We pack more screws That's into those. That's so good. Yeah. It makes life so much simpler and less landfill and I'm all for that. Exactly. Yep. Um, so literally, like, so from ordering until completion, mm -hmm. should you choose to get it as quickly as possible, we're yeah. looking at how many weeks? So if you're going to put it together yourself, you're looking at between six and eight at the moment. Yeah. And then if we're going to come and do it, you're looking at between eight and ten. So that's not bad, is it? I mean, we look at, what are we now, April? So you're probably looking at getting this done in the summer. Yeah, so it gives you time to decorate, which is usually what I get when I talk yes. to people. Oh, I've got time to decorate. I've got time to move the room around, yeah. get rid of the bed and all that kind of thing. Or we can hold it. Get rid it. of the husband, get rid of the kids out that room, all exactly, of that. Exactly, yeah. yeah. But, but equally, if that's too soon, maybe you're going away or you've got an extension being built, you're moving, we can hold it until you're ready. I mean, we did have a case where someone we held up for a year. I mean, this is the thing as well, isn't it? I mean, it's a completely bespoke service. So mm. if people are thinking, well, I am predominantly a soft crafter, so I want to make sure that it's going to be specifically good for... A, B, C, you know, your ribbons or whatever it may be for, um, then you will do that. It's not, because this is a bespoke service, because yeah. everyone is made individually. It's not like some factory line of like, oh, get another 10 of them done. It's not like that at all. It's literally everyone will be made individually. So you're speaking to somebody in, I know, Hull, who's ordered, and it's yeah. like, okay, what do you want? Well, I want this, I want that. You are speaking to each other and making sure that you get what you want. It's like you're placing your order. You know when you phone up for a takeaway, placing your order so you get exactly what you want that's what you're gonna get there's gonna be none of those like you know you know when you do your online shopping sometimes it's yeah. like we couldn't get your prosecco we got your steak and kidney pie no that's not the same it's not gonna be any of that you will get exactly what you want because it's a bespoke service this is it and that's why we've made all the shelves adjustable mm. so all the boxes fit in the layout that it's there that's how i've decided it works but you might want it in a completely different way and that's quite simple to do you just take shelves out you could give some boxes to the other half to put in the shed or in the garage or, you know, in the kids' rooms. Let's go in there again because we're nearly at the end of the show and I can't bear it. It's like, look, that open sesame moment when you open this up and just see the potential of what you've got here. It's just incredible. I mean, you could leave yours open if you wanted, but I love with this the fact that you literally can take everything out. Um, you know, you can put it away or take everything out, do what you like. You've got your hole at the back there as well for your cables and stuff. So like literally any machines that you want to have here that have wires and cables and fuses, they can all go out the back. Um, it's such a beautiful bit of kit, it really is. Uh, Michelle messaged in, of course, in Chorley and Lanks. You can see, I have my lovely night, night haze delivered last week. It only took an hour and a couple for the gents to put it together. I just started my organising today. She has left one side for, uh, sort of folded out, but up against the wall. So I'm loving that, maximising the space that she has to still get maximum potential mm -hmm. from the actual unit itself. And obviously you could use the tables then individually to access the boxes and stuff. But I love the fact that she, it, she's used it in the most practical way for her. You can do that as well. I mean, it's such a versatile bit of kit. I do think, I mean, your customer base, you must have one of the most happiest customer bases around, quite frankly, because yeah. you are giving the gift of organisation to a passion that's already there. This is it. And they're the stories I love to hear. Yeah. And they come up to you at the shows and they say, I've had my night says. I had one woman at the last show saying she'd had it for 15 years. So it must have been one of the very first ones of these we designed. So it's slightly different to this. 
And she says, and I still open it up every day and it's a joy. Everything is where I, I left it. You know, I know where everything is. And she then bought another tower because she'd filled this. I don't blame her. I mean, I think once you get one piece of storage of grass furniture, quite often mm. that will then lead, you know, onto something else and yeah. something else because you will fill this up or think, you know, oh, I need something specifically for my papers or whatever it may be. And then you go for a tower. The entire range of storage for crafts is on the website. You can check it all out there. Um, I understand that this is a considered purchase. This is Joe's last live show today. Mm -hmm. When are you next back? Obviously, Sewing Street tomorrow. Sewing Street tomorrow, and then I want to say sort of this time in May. Yeah, because you're normally back sort of like once a month ish, mm. aren't you? Yeah, Which is around about the 20th ish usually. I'm just thinking with spring cleaning being definitely this time of the year, spring clean is in the air, is it mm. not? it would be the perfect time to think about, okay, what do we want to do? If you've got that craft room that needs a bit of a glow up, you know, needs a bit of a sort of like a makeover and you are thinking, okay, what are we going to do? Maybe order this storage as the centerpiece of your craft room. If you've got that husband, that wife, that partner that is like, oh, you've got stuff all over those shelves. We've all heard it, haven't we? And yeah. whatever it is in life, whether it's craft stuff or other stuff, and you want to get your place tidy, now is the perfect time. This as your unit is going to house everything with that 300, 155 litres of storage yep. that you've got here. All the boxes are included. All these trays are included. Uh, you know, the shelves, the dowels, everything will be included, but it will be made bespoke for you so you've got exactly what you want. Then it gives you time with that sort of like, what is it, eight to ten weeks to yep. get your decorating done to change the carpet, to do whatever, to give yourself that project to work on so that your crafting for 2024 and then for 2025, 26, 27 and so on and so forth is going to be organised and fantastic and economical as well. I know it's an investment today because it is a considered purchase. You've got you know, a hefty price point, but we're getting that price point down with split pay to the lowest price we possibly can to make it as manageable as possible. But think about the money that you won't be wasting in the future on extra tape pens or extra this or extra that because you can't find the ones that you already have. Mm -hmm. This really is tidy, tidy mind, tidy crafting, isn't it, Joe? Exactly, because we spend a lot of money on our craft things. I mean, if you think about what a scan and cut costs. The last thing you want is to go and lift it out of its box that's been on the floor to find the dog's chewed the lead oh, yeah. or the cat's been sleeping in it so it's all covered in hair. In here, it's in its place. It's potentially already plugged in because you've got an extension lead through there. So you can just play with it. You know, that's saved you five, ten minutes. Mm -hmm. So you've got that extra crafting time. How much do you think it's changed the way that you craft as far as like your organisation is concerned? It's made it easier. Because I do know where everything is. I can sit there and make a card without leaving my chair because my card stock's here, my chalks and pens are in here, I've got a die cutting machine here, and I have actually got a, a manual one on this desk as well. So I can potentially make loads of cards at once and it's happy. You know, it's space for your tablet. So more organised than ever before. Definitely. Beautiful. A yeah. uh, quick question from Pauline in Wiltshire. She says, hi, hobby maker. Does storage for craft make under the countertop storage towers? I have five towers already marvellous storage from Pauline Gollage. So do you make under the countertop storage towers? If you mean sort of normal storage height, yeah. yes, we have them at 70 centimetres high. OK. Coming soon. Ah, OK. So watch the yeah. space. They're not on the website as yet. Like the, to be fair, they should have been in the show today. Yeah. Joe broke down on the way here today. We were supposed to have lots of new stuff today, but all yeah. of that is in a lay by somewhere between here and Devon. Yeah. Just to say. But it will be here it'll soon. Probably then it'll be here next month now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now. I tell you what, mm. you know naughty cousin Rosie, she's coming round oh, soon, she? so we better get everything oh. tidy and get it away because quite frankly, she'll cause chaos, she really will. <laughs> I think she's going to be here, okay, thank you Joe. She's going to be here before you know it, quite frankly, so we better put everything <laughs> away because she steals, she nicks stuff oh, when no. she comes round, so we have to be careful, she really does. <laughs> Look, she'll never find it in there, will yeah. she, Auntie Rosie? Um, I will be back with you tomorrow here on uh, Hobby Maker. I will be back with you at 1pm tomorrow and Joe's going to be on Sewing Street at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yeah. Thank you, lovely Joe. Thank as you. Ever. Always an absolute... Delight. If you want the best storage, you know what you need to do. Get to the website now. I'll see you tomorrow. Joe's back on Sewing Street, but lovely Rosie and Kat are up next. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Bye. Here at Hobby Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once.
Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Never miss a show by watching on the go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Hobby Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show? or want to watch one back, then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Shopping with Hobby Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobby Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobby Maker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. <laughs>
Hello and welcome to Hobby Maker. I'm Rosie and I'm here with Kat. We've Hello. not worked together for so long. I know, it's been a while. It has and it's so lovely to have you back again. It's brill and what a busy day it's been with Hunky Dory. It is. Fabulous day. <laughs> it's a fabulous, fabulous day and there's more to come because we're starting with a brand new launch uh, right now, which is very exciting. Now we all love an embossing folder. You're going to get four in the bundle that we're bringing to you in a moment, but we're going to show you them individually first um, and then you can come on in and get the bundle. I would wait for the bundle because the bundle is by far the best way to shop. It's where you get the biggest saving. Definitely. Um, but let's show you what everything is. If you go to hobbymaker.co.uk, it's all here. There's the brand new glass cutting mat. Have you got yours yet? Everyone's raving about these, aren't they, Kat? They're brilliant. It's incredible. Yeah, it's yeah. the best. It's so good. Um, you've got all of your individual embossing folders there. You've also got the ultimate collection. Now, this is the one you want to go and grab, okay? It should be $23.96, but that's not going to be your price today. Because it's a bundle, you're going to make a big saving. So go and shop ahead. You don't have to wait for us. Um, but let's bring them all in for you. So we're going to start with the dots. And first of all, Kat, um, just for anyone, I mean, I know you know what embossing folders are. The vast majority of you shopping with us right now know exactly what an embossing folder is. Yes. But for anyone who's unaware, why do we love embossing so much? Why do you love embossing so much? I love embossing so much because it's just such a quick and easy way to add texture to your cards. Mm. You can use them, as you'll see throughout the makes today, on their own to be the statement for your card. But they're also great for combining with your topper sets, with your little books for making fancy backgrounds. You can use them on the, uh, the way they come through. You can use them on the reverse. You can ink onto them. You can sand over them. There is just so, so many uses. I'm not going to lie. I have been begging for these. Oh. I've been on my hands and knees and praying that we would bring a collection of basic embossing folders yeah. to bring them back in because every now and again we'll launch one that matches a kit and one that matches a collection and they're yeah. fabulous but I'm like I really need some dots yeah. I really need some stripes and I am so so happy that we get to bring you these Perfect. today. Perfect. So you dress for it as well with your dotty shirt? I know. I love it. Nice <laughs> polka dots. Um, it is absolutely brilliant. Now lots of you are already coming through and obviously if you want individuals that is absolutely fine but I will just let you know obviously with the bundle you are going to get the best saving. Okay so people are checking out the individual I can't speak individually <laughs> I know put your teeth back in Rosie here we go um now we're going to bring you the stars okay and you can see I mean these are just fabulous aren't they perfect for any occasion as well aren't definitely they? For, especially for all your celebration kind of things but they're going to work so well you can see there on this board we've got an example of how it does it embossed and then you can ah. see the little deboss section as well at the back so there's lots of different ways especially if you're going in mm. with your inks and stuff to oh, really yeah. pick up and highlight all the different ways you can do this but this a star pattern is going to work for so many things isn't yeah. it it's so many ages it's for birthdays it's for celebrations it's for um those moments what's the word i can't like things that you've passed congratulations yes, that's it's just it. so so useful so brilliant i mean do you know what as well i always feel like with embossing folders they're so good with boxes and stuff like that, aren't they? Gift bags, things Absolutely. like that. Just really brilliant. Um, now, we've got the stripes and have somehow, I've got my two zigzags, but we can show you the stripes up at the front. Um, so you've got the stripey as well. And who doesn't love a stripe? I mean, this is, again, just classic. It's perfect, isn't it? It's it's so perfect. It's And it's just so universal. Now, with this one, mm. you can actually create like a crosshatch pattern as well. If you oh. put it in one way and then turn it 90 degrees and put it through again. So it's like a two in one. Oh, that's a so brilliant there's so many idea. things you can do. But they are just so fabulous. Going back to like you were saying about gift bags and stuff, just by embossing elements on your card, it's just going to elevate it. It's going to give it that extra level of luxury. It, it, people are going to think it's much much better quality yeah than, it's just fabulous it is and when you you know if you've got your craft store and you're wanting to put them in bags for people or offer that as an extra thing yes. but just you know it adds the value as well Definitely. doesn't it really it's brilliant so you've got your stripes you've got your dots you've got your stars and we couldn't um we couldn't not have a zigzag no. really could we um and this is just brilliant it's almost sort of like chevrons isn't it yeah it's just great here we go yeah. So isn't that beautiful? So it's a fabulous pattern on its own, but you think about like your um, kids like tractor cards and things like oh, that. If you want to put like tire prints and stuff like that as yeah. well. There's lots of different ways you can cut into them chevrons, die cut into it, make it look completely different, twist yeah. the chevrons round on top of each oh, other. I love that. The possibilities are absolutely endless. They are the fabulous. So brilliant. Look, you've got all the individuals now, and this is XJHD17. But listen, obviously the vast majority of you 
wanting the bundle. Um, they're all six by six inch, aren't they? Yeah, um, yes. Which is a great size. I and mean, I think for so many people, this is the favourite, isn't yeah. it? Um, so what we're going to do is, here it all is, SLSHD32 is your code. We're putting a clock on screen. We're not going to be stopping there. But what I'm going to do is just while that clock is ticking down, just show you a few of these fabulous, your team's been busy. They have been Haven't they with the busy. samples? Just amazing. So varied, like you say, Kat. You know, everything can be so different. Even using the same embossing folder, look at how many different ways you can do it, you know. Um, at 23.96... That's where we should be stopping. Absolutely fantastic. That's five ninety nine each, and that is superb. So that is with a saving already, by the way, because remember they weren't meant to be five ninety nine each, no. were they? Look at what we're doing today. Um, Seventeen ninety six. That's four pound ninety nine per set, which is absolutely amazing, amazing value there. Really, really superb. Um, so it's just fantastic. So come on in, take advantage. Um, and have fun with them. Actually, £4.49, actually. Um, now, I love what you've done here. I'm going to show you this before we show any more samples, if that's OK, because this is wonderful, because what you've got, Kat's shown you with the embossing folders how they work on loads and loads of different backgrounds. Now, this is your adorable scorable, that's right? adorable scorable. Nice. And what have you done here? So this is our matte-tastic. OK. So, and I've just sanded back half of it so you can see how you can really, really get yeah. that texture coming through. It's I love beautiful. that. We've got matte-tastic on the show as yeah. well today so you can shop ahead for that too um really lovely that's just plain black this card is spot, our right? black stamping card so on i've kept uh, half of it as is and then the other one i've gone over with our pearl, pearl shirt Pearlescent shimmer both powders. We're both today, aren't we? This is it. Um, <laughs> and you can just see how it really brings that texture to life. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's re oh, I love it on the craft card too. It, it's match made in heaven with yeah, the craft card. It is. I really like that. And um, obviously, it's going to work beautifully with the oh, mirror. I, I mean, think that is all just... your colours of your mirror yeah. is going to be stunning. Oh my word! Absolutely. And this, I think this might, this next one might be my favourite. You know, I love it on the vellum. Yeah, on That's the parchment really vellum. That's really beautiful. It's yeah, really, really stunning. That isn't is. It? Gorgeous. You could do like a little light box and have that texture on there. Or yeah, something, little you? apertures in your cards yeah. and stuff. And on the acetate, it works so well. It is fabulous. It's Ooh. one of those when I um, I made a card with it. Hopefully, I'm going to do something similar in the show today if we get through to it. Um, and I was like, why have I not thought of doing this sooner? It is so, so stunning. So cool. And then on your glitter card. Yeah, on I mean, the shimmer card. as well. Gorgeous. Oh, and then that's a little purple yeah, parchment. Yeah, that's some coloured parchment. Yeah, colour. that's gorgeous. Oh, my word. Right, once everyone's checked out, 10% has gone already in a matter of minutes. And they're kind of, I'd say that these, of all the embossing folders we said, I mean, these are essentials, aren't they, really? Because they're just classic patterns that they, are going to work. For, they definitely are. Yeah. I I talk about it a lot you'll have heard me say it before but I have I have two sets of stuff I have the sets that are quite niche that I just pull out when I need them like flowers and butterflies uh -huh. and things like that um maybe like if we do a cat dye and stuff and then I have my essential set that goes everywhere with me these go straight into my yeah essential set. oh absolutely because I mean look at this as well how fabulous and I guess as well you could mix and match couldn't you, you could have the chevrons with the dots on top or the stars on top, you know, it's getting busier and busier by the second, by the way. Oh, look, you mixed them here. I love that with the stripes This is the it. Dots. Hopefully, again, I might be able to show you how to do this in the last show. So this is just from one piece of cardstock. Wow. Really clean and simple, but just, bring, just bringing those two different designs in. And it's so Brilliant. simple to do. It, it's a bit of a mind like bender when you see yeah. it like that like, how do you do that it's dead simple oh i can't, can't wait to see this and i've just got right do you know what i'm going to get started i'm just going to show you these two more we will show you some more later but they're just fabulous um look at these i mean just like you said right at the start it just as you could just have a fabulous rainbow and that would be great yes. but having the chevrons there and having those zigzags it just adds dimension it adds a bit of texture it's perfect it really it? does really beautiful oh my word okay it's getting busier and busier by the second um once everyone's checked out over 20 percent of the stock has already gone we're talking minutes into the show um so please don't leave anything in your basket today okay it's been incredibly busy throughout the day please check out as you go along um hi donna how are you doing she says hi cat and rosie so glad hunky dory are making fabulous embossing folders they are so underestimated thank you that is really true isn't it some people just maybe haven't thought of it or haven't seen it but yeah. you know why should everybody today Come and get these embossing folders, Kat. Because they're just going to add another level to your crafting. Like you've, we've seen already in the first like 15 minutes of the show how many 
things you can do with them, all the different aspects you can bring into the card. I'm hopefully going to show you through some demonstrations today, all the different Oh, yeah, absolutely. But the other thing is, these are tools for life. Yeah. They're not a consumable. These are something, if you look after them, they will look after you. And you are getting four of them for under £18. That it's is incredible. just brilliant, especially for this size. You don't see... I tell you what, we, we do not see the size of embossing folder no. very often at all. Six by six inch, we don't see that size very often with embossing folders. What a great and useful bundle. Thanks. That's Julie and Warmly. And you're absolutely right. Essential patterns, essential size, um, and lovely with this board to see how to use it. Yeah the two different ways as well. Um, what are you going to show for us today then? I am, um, right, we're going to work with some matastic, we're going to do some sanding back and I'm going to Ooh, try, no. I think I'm using three of the four all in this card. Oh so. wow, nice. And it's only a six by six card so we're really throwing it down. Yeah, love it. So I'm You're putting it to sure. the test. Love it. In fact, I'm lying, we're going to use all four of them. Ah, nice. I have done quite a few bits in advance, otherwise we would be here till six. Okay. <laughs> so pick which one you want me to use and I will... Um, stars. Should we do the stars? Yeah. Not the stars, another one that's for something else. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dots. Dots, okay. <laughs> yeah. um, this is exclusive to Hobby Maker, I should say, as well, isn't it, right it now? Is. Yes. Yeah, you can't get these anywhere else, so do be first to get them home. And then just show us your makes as well, show us what you do with them. So we are going to cut lots of little squares down. So okay. I'm not going to go to the full six by six by this. I'll take this down to four by four, and then we can trim it to the size we want to afterwards. Um, so you don't have to use a full six by six piece of card and waste it if you're not wanting everything to be dotty. Okay. So my idea with this card is I've gone in, I've actually picked, I've only got three of them here, four different shades of my Mattastic. Mm -hmm. um, we've also got the lovely Spearmint, which I will show you later on. We're just going to pop this in here. Now to keep it nice and straight, I'm just going to line this up on the edges here. And you want the side that you want to show the embossing on the top with the purple. Okay. So you've always got your purple on top. Um, ah, that's handy. Unless you're wanting to deboss and then just flip it over. It's okay. as simple I as I love that, that colour coding though. So you don't see that very often either, no, actually. It just makes it so, so much yeah. easier for you. Brilliant. And we're going to pop this Purple through up. here. And then the idea is, is that you're going to pick a different colour. Um, do you know, it wasn't the dots either. I'm getting confused. It's all right. Dots I do is, that all the dots time. Is it's not really me. One. So my two main sections are my chevrons and my stripes. So let's okay, do this. Okay. On here. So she's never asked me to pick anything. <laughs> so just confuse everybody. No, well, I did give you the choice of all four. It is my fault. I can't blame anybody else. You can blame so me. I'm going to pop that Everyone blames me. down <laughs> on there. And then when you're embossing, you just need your two plastic plates. Okay. You don't need anything. Oh, that's else. nice and easy as well, isn't it? It all depends on what machine you're using, but for this one, this yeah. is all you need. Okay, bro. So we're going to run that through there. So I will just say while that's running through, we're approaching half the stock going already. We knew, I said, well, didn't me. I say when we were prepping? I was like, oh gosh, is this going to be enough? Um, we've got <laughs> a big stock, but do you know what? It is absolutely flying out the door. So if you've got them in your basket, just don't forget to check out. Okay, very important. And we'll take the other colour, we'll take the pink and we'll just do a small section again. So you're going to do two of your colours um, with the chevrons and two of your colours with the stripes. Okay. To start off with. Perfect. So we'll do this one just so we've got an example of each. Beautiful. Like I said it doesn't have to be the full size because if you've got any bits left, you can mm. always use them for another project. Mm. So we'll run that through there. And if you were if you were making sort of multiples of the same sort of card, yes, could you put them in and then cut them after? Yeah. If it, yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. Like, yeah. Yeah, and that'll give you lots and lots of different options yeah. to work with as well. Perfect. So then we're just going to cut all of these down to two and a half inch by two and a half inch squares. Okay. So we'll just do that. And when you are done, you should end up with... Let's do my first... Here's one I made earlier. I love it. You're going to have... Um, four different colours, two with your stripes and two with your chevrons. Beautiful. And then to really, really make this pop, I've got a little sander tool here. You can just use a nail file. Oh, you don't okay. need anything fancy. But this is where the magic happens. If you just lightly buff yeah. over the top and you're just Ooh. really, really going to make that design start to pop. 
That's such a gorgeous technique, isn't it? It almost makes paint. it kind of like um, like a shabby chic effect, you know, with your chalk paints. It does, yeah. But, but, then, but then with these beautiful modern colours and modern patterns, it Definitely. kind of keeps it contemporary as well. And I think because there's going to be quite a lot of white on this card as well, it just ties it all together. Yeah. So when you've sanded all them back, mm -hmm. We are going to end up with four pieces that look okay. like this. And they are so, so pretty. It's gorgeous. You see, isn't that amazing? Just such a simple technique, but so effective, isn't it? Definitely. It's Can right. I ask you to hold on them for me? I will. Because I am the queen of losing things. I'm going to hold on to somebody them. else. I will not Somebody else's them. problem. <laughs> I'm just going to hold them like this, so then the camera will be on them all the time. <laughs> so I can't put them down. <laughs> so now I'm just going to take a piece of my white... Uh, Ink me white cardstock. Okay. And we're going to pop this in, and this is going to be the background for the card. Okay. So we've had our chevrons, we've had the stripes, we're now going in with the dots. Mm. So it just shows how well they all work together. Yeah. So we'll take this through here. And oh, does it? Oh, that's interesting. We've got a message from Julie. She said, oh, sanding makes my teeth cringe. Oh, no. <laughs> Is that like a bit of um, nails on a chalkboard? Yeah, it must be. I don't mind, it. actually. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me too much. I don't mind nails on a chalkboard either. Do you? Do you have anything that makes you cringe? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but can't talk about it. The, the list, me, is it the me? List, the, list is quite, the list is quite extensive. So I've just put this down to a... Um... I love that. <laughs> yeah, All right, we won't go into that now then. If you get me started, I won't stop. <laughs> so that is just cut down to five and three quarters by five and three quarters. So this is going to be the base of our card. I've also gone ahead and out of the white again I've cut another two and a half by two and a half ah. of the white that's again in the dots and this is all going to layer up for us Beautiful. so I will take my these darling. Back down and let's just pop them down and decide which way we want them oh, I love this to go on and I'm going to have my chevrons and stripes going in different directions do you know absolutely spot on Ellie Ellie's just said the colors I like being by the seaside. You know, very... all the lovely little beach huts. You yes. know, that kind of, um, you're just gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful. It's very summery and yeah. fresh and lovely, isn't it? It is, so it's beautiful. I'm just going to pop these down with my construction glue because my next two layers are going to go on with my uh, foam pads. And again, it just gives that little bit of wiggle room yeah. to get them down. And then I have got we are going to we've got to bring the stars in at some point i said we were going to use oh, all yeah. four and i know we're going to hold you to you that can't yeah you you certainly can <laughs> so we're going to pop this one down there and i'm purposely I having them that. all going in a different direction yeah. because that's the way i want it to look i quite i quite want tiles like this <laughs> in my bathroom or my kitchen as well imagine how brilliant that would be so I'm going to pop this one in the middle and we're going to put this in the kind of like diamond position just to really oh, give nice. that interest in there. And then what I've done, I've gone ahead and we'll do one more. I think I need one of the purple. I'm oh, just yeah. cutting four little one inch by one inch squares of each of the colours again. Oh, nice. So I'll just finish off with the purple one here. Mm. But there's... This is the amazing things you can do with mm. these is that we're just using cardstock and we're yeah, all those little such bits. a fun little cute card. Right, mm. I'm going to use tape for this because I need to put it through. And we're just making like another little Harlequin pattern. Yeah. Um, and we'll take this down here. This is gorgeous. See how my hand keeps actually going for the construction glue. <laughs> it's a bit like Neapolitan ice cream as well. It is. Isn't so it? you make that up. <gasps> we're going to pop that one in the star embossing folder. Oh, we'll run no. that through and emboss that again. Oh, that's we're going to get something that looks like this. Back that's at clever. our centre. And then we'll pop this back in the middle. I'm going to try and have it so none of the oh, colours are touching. And I don't think they are there. And then to fi finish off, I have taken one of our uh, combo oh. dies. Hooray. But you can emboss these as well. You yeah. can emboss your sentiments. Keep so tying this time, it all together. I won't lie. I'll let you pick one and we can go whichever <laughs> one this time. Um, I feel like I want to go dots because dots. it's the back and then it brings it yep. forward. Does that make sense? I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. There I'm you go. happy with that. With that. <laughs> so, not just using it on your bigger pieces of cardstock, yeah. you can use it for your sentiments. You can run your sentiments that already exist. Through. Think about yeah. like your toppers and your topper oh sets. Gosh, as well. yeah. run, run your um, toppers through and give them. Oh There's so many different so things. So many things. A lot of admiration for your card going oh, on here, Kat. What a brilliant card, Kat. That's from Donna and Cornwall. Isn't it gorgeous? What does it remind you of? Is it some holidays? Is it Battenberg cakes as well? Yes, it has you got know, that little, feel, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. So, it's just delicious. It's I lovely. know I've kind of thrown the kitchen sink at it and done everything with it, but I just want to show off how wonderful these are. Yeah. I think that's what's great. You know, you can take them in so many different directions. If you were going for a classic card, they'd work. If you're yes. going for modern, if you're going for temporary, if you're going Definitely. for gold, if you're going gents, female, you know, everybody. It's all just about the material that you yeah. put it onto that's going yeah, to be yeah. a changing factor. And there we go. That is gorgeous. Isn't that amazing? It makes me feel happy looking at that. It doesn't does, it? Yeah. It's beautiful. You know, um, what are you going to be selling this for is it at your craft show as well? If you, know, if you make to sell, full angel policy, obviously, of with, with all of it, yes, isn't it? Yeah. So um, come on in and get them. I need to give you a little bit of a stock update. Thank you for that, Kat. It's not gorgeous. Over half the stock has gone officially. That's not including everyone who's got it in their basket. Please make sure you're checking out. It's so important. And what I'll do, well, um, while you're getting another demo ready, Kat, I will show you a few more of the samples because... They said, you know, completely different. Um, I love as well. Look at the windmill. Oh, did you see what we had on the show yesterday? Oh, I mean, they, they sold out, unfortunately, but you can make the windmills like you've got the little pattern. Very cool with the, I know, with the adapters and everything. I missed out. I know, I wasn't quick enough. Um, but just so many different things you can do with this. It's gorgeous. Take a little look at this, your tags. Yes. Your tags, your birthday boxes, your celebration cards. Love this one as well. Really paired back. Really simple with the chevrons here. Again, you know, you don't have to... Oh, my goodness, look at this. Every... Oh, I love the shaker card. Look at that. That is a beauty, isn't it? Yep, so using it for your backgrounds, pairing it with your scene setting dies are absolutely gorgeous. Fantastic there with your acetate as well. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And love this as well. You know, using it with your darker cardstock and using the, um, the pearls on top. I mean, yeah, and this is the pearlescent page as, again. It just, oh... A completely different look, isn't it? When yeah. you put them two next to each other, both using the that's same it. core embossing folder, that uh, chevron's there, but you've got something that's like really grungy and, yeah. and masculine to something that's so fun and fresh. It's gorgeous. And then for your kids as well, you know, how yeah. beautiful is this for a new baby? Absolutely wonderful. Um, now, loads of you coming through there. Over half the stock has gone. Keep on coming through. We have had so many messages about the glass mat. Oh, I'm um, When this looks Launched. Oh my goodness me, pandemonium. It was just chaos <laughs> on the phone lines. Um, loads and loads of you came through for this. Lots of you missed it as well. So here it is for you, $24.99. Absolutely brilliant saving. Tell us why this glass mat is different and unique and why everybody needs this one. Well, it's an essential work tool. It's great. You'll see us all the time. This is what we work on because you can cut on it. You can use your hole punch on it. You're not going to get any damage. It cleans up so it pairs beautifully with our... Um, What's it called? <laughs> With my oh thing. yes. So you can keep it nice the and nice and clean. Rubber. You've got all the measurements for everything you could possibly need on there, from your four by fours up to your A4 cards, and then even things like your US letters and yeah. stuff like that. All these guidelines are so so useful. Just if you're wanting to make sure that your stamps are straight, that your embossing details straight, you've got this to be able to see through, and you can do it. You've got all the details of the card sizes and everything you can, and then up here you've even got a little palette. I now, your glass that. mats are perfect for working things like your inks and your brush markers on. Yeah. Um, picking them up, you, you've got your brayer in your hand. So uh -huh. you can be putting your inks on here and picking them up with your brayer. You could be brayering out a pattern on here and then putting your cardstock on top to, to pick yeah. it up. There's just so, There's so, so many wonderful to do with it. uses for it's it. It's perfect as well, isn't it? With the, we've got the brayer in today. Keep on checking out. Amy's in, Dillis is there as well, Bristol. Loads of you coming through who missed it before. Talking about the brayer, you see, this is, I used to love uh, monoprint. Yes. Uni. I mean, that is an absolute match made in heaven. You know, you've got the brayer, you've got the mat, just perfect. It's and you're really going to be able to achieve that kind of effect with your embossing folder oh, yeah. as well. Oh, that's so great if you were shout. to bring, depending what side you wanted to pick up, yeah. get your ink on here 
and it is just going to hit. Use it oh then to gosh. deposit your colour onto whichever side you want yeah. of your thing. Put your card inside and then run it through and it's going to oh, emboss and deposit the colour yeah. at the same time. Absolute match made in heaven. That is a great idea. Absolutely superb. The bray is only $9.99. Um, it's a really lovely one as well. It's got a lovely pressure, hasn't it? Yeah. Perfect for your embossing folders like Kat's just shown you how to do as well. Um, and you'll get loads and loads of tips for this online, won't you, on Hunky Dory's website as well. Come on in. Brilliant, brilliant tool there. Um, now, we have, we talked about, that you used the Mattastic there, didn't you, um, to sand. And we've got that on the show today. So if you're wanting all those beautiful colours um, that Kat's just used... Here you go. Um, you're going to get 30 sheets, okay? You've got all of these beautiful, beautiful colours. And you've got some dark shades in there as well. You've got pastels, you've got brights, you've got greys, beautiful lemon yeah, there. You've got everything, really. Really, really good selection that's going to take you through all your crafting needs, isn't there? You've got your darker, like you said, tones. You've got those lovely pastels. You've got lots of different shades of similar colours, so you can really make up those kind of like ombre effects and things as well. Absolutely stunning. Do you know what I'm really rubbish at, Kat? What are you really rubbish at? Sure. Fanning, and Adam <laughs> is agreeing with me, fanning out the colours to show them all. <laughs> yeah, I just never quite get the hang of it. Are you, can you do I it? Don't, I don't know if I'd be any know. better to be. No, don't put You'll me be better thing. than me. You'll be better than me. Adam's like, yeah, hand it over. Oh, there you go. You see, it's already better, he said. <laughs> right, well, I don't, I don't know because I'm trying to look on the screen and do it at the same time. Well, that's, you're doing no, a brilliant not, job. Much sure. better than what I was it's doing. There's a big chunk in the middle there that I <laughs> Um, over 10% of the deal's gone already. I mean, 9 99 for 30 sheets. It's incredible. That is awesome. Yeah. Really, really good. If you've gone for the embossing folders, this mm -hmm. is a great top-up to go with it because you're yeah. going to be able to start making cards like that straight away. Yeah. Do you know what's fantastic as well? Because tell us about the technology here because with the Adorable Scorable, yes. it doesn't... So if you want to sand it, you can, obviously. Yes. But if you want that solid colour, it doesn't crack, does it? It doesn't crack or it doesn't crease when you fold yeah. it or score it. And you've seen when it was first put through the embossing folder, the pressure that it's gone through, there was no white coming no. through until I made the white come through, yeah. which is quite a hard balance to get it when is, you think yeah. about it but it does it absolutely perfectly so it's as well hard. as using for your embossing it is great for like your box making needs your tag making needs and all those kinds yeah of it's fabulous it's really wonderful um, loads of you coming through there we've got leanne we've got diane we've got Anne and beverly amanda's there as well julie greater manchester denbyshire 20 percent has now gone once everyone's checked out as well for just 9.99 and you think about the beautiful colors that you're getting um and you know actually we've seen with the card you've just made one sheet of A4 can go a really, really long way. Oh, thanks. Oh, I'm, oh okay. This is, Adam's saying this is okay. He said this is all right. There we go. <laughs> um, loads and loads of you coming through. 30 different colours um, to work with here, which is just absolutely gorgeous. I love them. You know, you've got your pastels, you've got your kind of royal blues, you've got those fuchsias and bright reds. Look at that peachy one there as well. Lovely. Such a lovely array of colours. Oh, I love that grey. Isn't that cool? Like a charcoal. Really like that as well. Stunning. And they all kind of match with each other as well, don't they? They do. They, they, I don't know how they do it, but they mm. are very clever back at Hunky Dory Towers. Now, this is our selection that launched at the beginning of the year. Now, mm. anything that comes while this is still available that's matastic with Hunky Dory will fit into the range of this ah, colour somewhere. So if you get this in your stash now, it's going to work. Something in there is going to work with something matastic yeah. that's brought in the future. Yeah. So it's absolutely perfect. It's lovely. They're very Paul Smith colours. You know, the sort yeah. of famous stripes. Those really, they're gorgeous. Yeah. They're really, really, yeah, very expensive. Exactly, yeah, they look really beautiful. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Come on in and grab them. Keep on checking out. Um, we've got, oh my goodness me, um, well over half the stock of the original bundle of your embossing folders has now gone. Um, and that's not including people with it in their baskets either. It's getting busier and busier and busier. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. If I hold up the board for you again, and you can see um, the different effect. Just to explain for everyone, just in case anyone missed it, Kat, what's the difference between this one and this one with each so one? So your bigger L section at the bottom is the... Uh, um, embossed. Okay. I ended wrong in my work, in my mind then. Um, so that's if you put it through as is. Basically, the little square is if you flip it upside down, and ah. that's the deboss. That's the back of it. So you can. So instead of the dots coming up, the dots are going down. Amazing. So and this one, if you want it, the emboss, it's your purple side up. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. So I love that you colour code. I'll just show you that because it's um it's really clever. 
Yeah. You don't always see that, you know, you just have to work it out, but it's great that you've done that. Yeah, so it's, when you're doing it on white card, it doesn't really matter. You can put it in any mm. way and you just flip your piece of card. If you were putting coloured card in, if you wanted it to be embossed, make sure that your colour is facing up okay. this side. And then if you were wanting to deboss, just flip it and make sure your colour nice. is on this side. I like that, all of that attention to detail. Shall we see them in action again? Yeah, come on, let's have another demo. What are you going to okay. do this time? So we are going to do a little bit of inking this time. Ooh, I'm going okay. to get some of my boring bits out of the way first. I'm going to use a piece of black stamping Nothing's card. Nothing's boring with hunky dory. <laughs> to um, make a little six by four card blank. And we're okay. going to go completely different this time. We're going something a little bit more masculine. Okay. So I've cut that to six inches tall and we are going to cut that to eight wide. And then I'm just going to fold that in half to make a basic six by four. I'm not quite sure where my scurry tool's gone, so I'm going to have to find that in a second. Ooh, I think it's to lurking in, in my, um, it's in the top of my uh, scoreboard, which is where it should live. Ah, uh, <laughs> do you use the handle of that? Would that work? Or, um, yeah, that's fine. It's fine. We'll be okay. great. So there I am go. going to take a um, piece of cardstock. Mm -hmm. We are going to emboss this. We're using the chevrons for this one. Nice. So I think this works brilliantly for masculine cards. And we'll so just the two through. plates, but it depends just on your plates. machine. Yeah, absolutely. Bit. Yeah, just have a play around. Everybody's yeah. got a little bit of scrap card they can, they can yeah. figure out. And most of your machines will come with instructions as, as well. Perfect. So I'm going to take that through here. Now, I'm just going to trim this down just a little bit. I am going to trim it afterwards, but um, let's take this to four inches and I can trim it down again afterwards. And we'll just take off a little bit of the excess now. So I am going to use my ink to bring out the detail in this. Now, I've chosen three colours here for you. I've mm -hmm. gone with our powder blue, our Air Force blue and our concrete. So I said I want this to be mm -hmm. quite masculine. Now, you could just um, bob these over and create like a um, ombre effect. You yeah. could just do them randomly round. One of my favourite things to do, and I mm. usually do it with completely opposite colours, is like a bokka effect. So I'm using my blended oh, tool, Sorry, like now. a bokka effect. You know all those oh. like, um, I'm, I'm going to be rubbish at explaining these, they're like images of circles of light. Oh, you'll see when it comes okay. together, I'm sure nice. you'll oh, recognise it. I love it, it almost looks like um, a thumbprint or a sit or sort of spiral it is uh, but you can cool. see just how beautifully it's picking up yeah. the detail there and just keep filling in some spaces and you're just going to keep switching between your colors mm. oh i love that um, this is like, i love with the prism inks that you get the little pad underneath yes it's genius that isn't it well we have these are obviously old ones we did have the um special made uh, velcro dots mm. don't know if they're still available Oh, um, just going to let you know, um, while you're doing that fabulous technique, I yes. love that, um, we've popped the graphics on screen, AOHD15, for the amazing bundle of prism inks from Hunky Dory. You're going to get 40 different colours, okay, and you're getting your handbook as well. The handbook's £10, right? Yeah. So I'm that means you're getting 40 colours of prism inks for under £50, which is amazing. And it's on a two-way split pay for you today as well. So you're going to get the whole collection home and the prism book. I mean, this is a book. It's, a, it's an education, really. You think about how much you pay to go on a on um, an inking course or a stamping course or, you know, any of these wonderful crafting courses you yeah, can do. Definitely. What do you pay for a day of that? You've got the book here. So you've got so many different courses actually jam-packed into this one fabulous book. So really, really wonderful deal. Keep on checking out on that as well. This is beautiful. I so you're going to build that up all mm -hmm. the way over, fill in any gaps. And when you're all done, you should end up wow. with something that looks like this. That's and amazing. again, it's mixing those tech mixing those textures i think it's absolutely yeah. just stunning we're going to pop that to the side one minute that is gorgeous i have gone to our mattastic and i've okay. picked the beautiful fawn color and i've cut myself a mat and lay here to just under the six by mm. four inches i've gone to our essential stamps um and i've just picked out the cheers to you and we're just going to finish this off with our dad um Jeez. and we are going to emboss this bit as well but i just wanted to show you how you can again you can ham 
emboss over your stamping yeah um just to make sure you're getting that texture all the way through the layers of your card lovely so we'll go in with we're gonna have to go back and do the d again but we can this is brilliant this set of stamps isn't it, it is so so useful isn't it have we got those on the show today or are you teasing us I'm, I'm just being naughty <laughs> so just go in with our you could just stop there as well some people say da don't they I've put my D in know. the wrong place, I think. Why Why is my D upside down? <laughs> uh, oh, do you know, that would have thrown me as well. Yeah. So it can be my ND. So we'll just put this. I'm not quite sure my... Uh, oh, Adam gonna... thinks it's going to be for him. No, not for you, Adam, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> First day at the beginning. Beautiful. Look at that. And then, normally I would leave that a little bit longer to dry down before running it through. Okay. But oh, we can nice. Pop I'm this. It after. Yeah. So um, you're going to get that detail even through oh, yeah. your uh, stamping. Brilliant. So clever. I bet you. I bet you can't wait to get these home now and have a go. <laughs> so much fun right, isn't it yeah. there's so many different things you can do and we're literally just scratching the surface yeah, today. this is why they're essentials this is why you've got to get them home oh <gasps> look at the difference that makes oh isn't my it goodness it also gives it that sort of extra layer of professionalism doesn't it it, it does. really gives it that professional finish yeah so we are going to get this on here mm. just onto the base of our card We'll pop that down there and then this little section that we took before i'm just going to trim this down now so i can do a top and a bottom section Lovely. on there so i'm just going to cut this a little bit under again ellie's found them oh ooh, goody found, yeah goody, goody well done ellie so we'll do one and three quarters and then each of these, and we're gonna have a little bit left over. This is very organized, I like this. <laughs> you say that, I feel like I'm making such a mess. And we're just gonna pop Not these back on top and bottom and just nice. build in those layers of please excuse the back of this it's waste not want not where i come from and if oh, i yeah. didn't go right the first time then i was definitely using the other side definitely for the right one i quite like that as well because it means whatever angle you're looking at the card you sort of you can't see that white background actually yeah. it's nice, isn't it? so i'll just pop this on here this last one and like i said so just using one pattern on here but using it in different ways and I mm. think you get something just as fabulous. Yeah. Now oh, that is wonderful. Different. Look at that. It's kind of dreamy, isn't it? Yes. I love it. It's beautiful. Really, really love that. It's gorgeous colours as well. Um, sixty percent of the embossing folders is now gone. Oh, um nice. massive well done to every single one of you. If you want the acrylic blocks that Kat was just using, um we've actually Ellie's managed to find those. Did you find the alphabet as well, Ellie? Um, the acrylic, but okay, amazing. Right, the acrylic blocks are brilliant, aren't they? So these are perfect for stamping. They are. Um, just so if anyone's new to stamping and maybe they've they've been wanting to have a dabble, they've been wanting to have a go. Yeah. Why are these a great place to start the acrylic blocks? Um, be because you can see what you're doing. Like, okay. Let, let, oh, let's perfect. Just put it as, <laughs> as yeah, simply yeah. as that. That once your stamp is on there. Whatever yeah. you're placing it on, because it's transparent, you know exactly where you're placing it. Nice. So like you saw with the alphabet before, if you've got to use the same letter a different amount of time, so you can't spill it all out on your block. You can yeah. put the letters down and then line them up each time, especially if you've got something like this with your yeah. lines that you can line up on your glass mat and stuff afterwards. So good, so good. Um, brilliant. And once again, essential really. You know, if you're into your stamping, if you wanted to have a go at stamping, there's three of your clear acrylic blocks. You've got three different sizes, two by four inch, three by four inch, and six by four inch as well, all for 12 99 And once again, a tool for life, XD HD92. Um, absolutely superb. Um, but you know what? And these are just flying out of the door. Over 60% has now gone. Um, we've got your fabulous embossing folders. 
four different embossing folders, all six by six inch, which you don't see very often. We often see A5 as kind of more um, common as a size, would you yeah. say? Um, sometimes the A6, but we don't see the six by six, that's all square very often at all. You've got your dots, you've got your zigzags, you've got your stripes, and you've got your stars, all four here. I think you'd agree as well, all essential, because they're the kind of patterns that, it's not about taste, it's not about what the, um, theme is for the card no they kind of work with everything they don't do. they which Definitely. is brilliant um i mean look at that look at how many different styles of card you're seeing there just in one shot it's like julie messaged in an earlier and said you know there's such a useful collection you know you probably be using them every single day um they're really really fantastic did you know what i'll do as well is just show you a few more of these wonderful um sample oh my goodness samples from your team <laughs> look at this oh my gosh my kids are obsessed with the oh, wire art um God. this is gorgeous so you, if you've got the wire bundle um that we launched here on hobby maker the other week you know how fabulous to mix it with other styles of your craft i mean just absolutely gorgeous this is beautiful as well with the craft card um and your acetate i mean it's such That's a simple stunning. idea but isn't that lovely absolutely gorgeous and then this i just think is fabulous we did show this one earlier but i do love it it's a really it's just it's a really fun vibrant and lovely um card now we've got the baby girl oh i've got another favorite here as well now <laughs> so many oh my word and look at this how gorgeous is that? I love it with the different shades of blue and the polka dots there as well. You are going to have the most fun with this collection of embossing folders. It's great. And then look, if you've got toppers that you're wanting to use them as well, is that topper actually embossed as well? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think that's like a little book page, yeah. That's great, isn't it? Really lovely. See, again, I mean, I wouldn't have thought to do that, yeah. to emboss your images, but actually that's a great idea. Yeah, lovely. Um, so many wonderful ways to use them. So come on in, grab them. And have a go. Look at this as well. This is beautiful, isn't it? Have a beautiful day. Love that. Gorgeous. What would that background be? What have they embossed here? So I would say that they have um, used like the brayer technique to add the ink oh. to the... Um, on the, on the big side. Oh, okay. So add the inks to the embossing folder and then put and your then put it through. And, through and it that presses works. it into the image. Beautifully, yeah. Nice. Love that. It's really good. This is divine as well. Check this out. Look, maybe you're just joining us. Maybe you're just switching on. This is the brand new collection of embossing folders from Hunky Dory. Um, I love, Kat, that you said earlier on, you know, you've just been absolutely begging them to do embossing folders because it's not we don't see hunky dory embossing folders very often no so really really fabulous and you've got your essential set here today amazing have a great day it is a great day um now we've got the embossing folders <laughs> it's wonderful um here you go look at that is that the sanding technique you showed us I earlier would, as well yeah that's it and that's you're using a little piece of paper from one of our duo design pads there yeah. but by cutting it down you're making it the focus of your card and then bringing in your own background and this is beautiful because sometimes we do papers that have got dots on but you'll go through that whole book and you'll not have the right color that you've what that yeah. you want but you can make your own now you, you can, can make. make your own backgrounds you can make your own foregrounds it's it's just incredible it's superb i love um this as well this is fantastic what a gorgeous idea for a card or Again, some kind of box. Could you do two and put them together somehow? I don't I'm sure know. There's a way. There's a way, absolutely. Isn't that clever? So again, using all of the different textures. Um, I mean, you can imagine bunting as well in the house if you're wanting to use it for home decor, wanting to make some just fabulous tiles to decorate and give a new lease of life to a wall. You know, mm -hmm. there's so many things you can do with this. It's just superb. And look at the phone lines now. It's gone. These are going to sell out before the end of the show for sure. Um, if they're in your basket, do not leave them there, okay? It is incredibly busy today. Um, Ellie has asked the question, because we are at risk of, of selling out right now. Um, she's asked the question if we can get more. It's not a definitive yes, and I don't think it's going to be happening today. So, um, so yeah, this is your chance to come on and get them. Really, really important. I think we can squeeze in another demo, you know, Let's Kat. Let's do something really, really, really quick. Oh, okay. okay. So, Kat. I am going to do, she says really quick. I don't do quick. I don't know who I'm lying to. I don't know. Let's Getting do three it. demos so into an hour. Show how you can do it on your acetate and like the little book page. Oh, okay. I'm finding two in one. Nice. So, I'm going to make my card blank out of my acetate. This is our A4, so kind of the biggest square you can do is a about five and a half by five and a half. Okay. Um, so I'm going to cut that to five and a half tall, and then we're going to double that to 11 for the length. And is this construction acetate or is this normal acetate? Yeah. Construction acetate. 
and again let me fold that in half I'm going to take that in there oh can I ask you yes. we've had a message in from Beverly um can you use the embossing folders on fabric I mean, it would work on something like leather, for example, wouldn't it? I would think so. I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on fabrics. Mm -hmm. um, I would think on most things that are soft, it might come out and look like it initially, but it will it fall out fall. because it's going yeah. to move like the, the weave and stuff in the texture. Okay. I know there's products out there that you can use to stiffen fabrics, oh, yeah. isn't it? Like start You could put wax as well with yeah. it, maybe. You know, like so, your batik wax. So maybe if mm. you coat it in something like that, yeah. that would work. But again, please... Experiment. Experiment. Yeah. Um, but I'm no expert on that. I've seen embossing folders with leather. Yes. And pleather. So like, yeah. oh look, cats. Got, we've got all the cats in today. Yeah. Um, cat, the Surrey Street is nodding away. Yeah, it happens a lot on Surrey Street, doesn't it? With um, Nice. So if you're making like leather handbags, things like that, and you want a bit of detail, that's a really, yeah. Good shout, that'd be lovely. Oh, yeah. Right, you ready for this? So I've just popped one half of that card front in. <gasps> I'm going to have to put something behind it so you oh, can that's see. Oh, that's cool. But you can just pick. It's very ha oh, There we go. Look at that. Look how incredible that is on there. And that just fabulous. creates our lovely card front for us. And while we've got it out, somewhere mm. I have got hidden a little book page. Ooh. So remember, you can use this. Imagine this is a top, or imagine this is one of your pocket pads from yeah. earlier. You can add the extra detail to all those images as well. I'm Fear not, by the way, because I can hear you saying, what pocket pads? Where? <laughs> They're coming up at seven o'clock. Do not worry, OK? They're coming up at seven o'clock. <laughs> I will say, though, nearly half the stock has gone. That was a massive stock you yeah, came to air definitely. with today. Nearly half of it's gone. So, yeah, very popular. They're coming up at 7 o'clock. <laughs> so we'll take that through there. So you could leave Ooh. that as that again, but I've got my sanding tool here, and I think okay. this just really, really brings it to life and gives it even more dimension. Oh, it makes those stars really pop it doing does. that, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm just going to concentrate on those dark ones mm. around the outside. And then I'm going to, I've got a little bit of silver mirror here. I'm just going to mark out a little mirror mat for myself. And then I've got a super easy tip, trip, trip, tick for you to help you hide all your workings when oh, we're perfect. making an acetate card. Because that's the hardest thing to do oh, when yeah. you're doing acetate. Because you don't want all your glues and your adhesives showing. So we will just trim this down. Beautiful. People are actually shopping for multiples on this today, Kat. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Great gift idea, actually. It is yeah. amazing. So I would advise that you use your red high tack tape, usually for sticking anything to acetate, but just in the interesting time. Yeah. Because I would love to squeeze in another demo if it's at all possible, or at least a technique. Yeah. Oh, so we So I am going to pop this behind here. We're going to centralise this in here, mm. she says, because it's a bit hard because it's see-through. But if you place this on the back of that layer there and yeah. then add this to the front, you're still going to get that lovely Marie Matte effect. Genius. But as you'll see when I turn it over, all your taping and your sticky bits oh, that's are hidden. So we're going to pop that on there. Now you could add whatever sentiment or anything you wanted, but then you've got that beautiful hint of that coming through there. That is matching. fantastic. And that's and then at the back, it's lovely and clean, so you can yeah. just pop your insert or whatever on the back there. Genius. So clever. Isn't that wonderful? So again, so many different techniques, so many different ways of making this look. You know, every embossing folder got countless ways of using it so you're never going to run out of ideas with it and of course you've got hunky dory um you've got their website you've got the youtube you've got the facebook page as well you've got all of that with hobby maker as well so you've got a whole community of people who are there to hold your hand and help you through and if you're ever stuck for ideas well you're not going to be anymore which is <laughs> brill um we have got so many of you coming through over 70 percent of this stock has gone and we've got a lot of people with this in their basket. Now, I don't want you to miss out on it. Every single day, um, come eight o'clock, we get messages through saying, I had it in my basket, Rosie, where's it gone? It's gone. Um, because you didn't check it out. So it's really, really important. Um, Patricia, Karen, Leanne, Diane, basically, if it's in your basket, not checked out, somebody else will get it, okay? Um, if they're on the phones, they'll be allocated by our call centre, who are just upstairs. If they're on the web and they check out before you, um, then exactly, and you know, FOMO is not a 
good thing when it's no, crafting it's goodies, is it? So, no, do not miss out. Come on and grab it. But listen, let's squidge in. Um, squidge in? Squish in? Where? Yeah. Squidge in. Whatever in. Another, so, another little demo. So, we are going to try and do a version of that one that I was on about right at the beginning where you've oh, got those okay. two different patterns going on at Jaunty Ankles. So, I'm starting with a 5 by 7 card base. Mm -hmm. We are going to cut ourselves a mat and layer. And I'm really, because the main focus of this card is white, I thought bringing a little bit of zesty orange would oh, really, nice. really bring it to life. So, that's 5 by 7 I'm going to take this to... Let's do four and three quarters by six and three quarters. Beautiful. And then I'll just check that with the piece that I've already cut. So we should still have that nice white border around the outside. And then we'll get that lovely oh, yes. pop of colour there. Now, this is so easy to do. Now, you're going to need one of your bigger machines to get this to work it's not going to go through like your a5 because of the angle you've got to put your card ah, okay it's just about playing around so i'm going to pop this in here and we're just going to put it on Ooh. a jaunty angle we're just going to do so i've got it coming down kind of like a little bit of like of an envelope shape oh, at the nice. top there but because you've got a nice large area here yeah you can do it like that so just make sure that's sat in there mm -hmm. and this is just adjust until we know it's fitting in there. Run that through. Trouble is, Ellie, he's driving. So he's not going to be able to check his phone, I don't think. She's trying to get more stock. Oh. But Andy's in the car and obviously he can't be on his phone. So that is our top bit. So you could leave it like that if you wanted to. Yeah. You could just leave it like that. But let's go on the bottom and add another... Another little jaunty yeah, angle. Yeah, another little jaunty angle. And then get it to where we like and then we can have a play around just to make sure it all fits on there which it does Fab. so like you said before you were how do you do that how do you do that it's so simple in yes practice. so it simple but so effective so, you know it looks beautiful let's take that through and then it's just a case of layering it up. So cards like this, you could batch me in a matter of minutes. If yeah. you were doing, they'd be fab for like invitations or something, That's wouldn't so they? That's so true. Absolutely brilliant. And if you're making to sell as well, being able to batch make quickly, yes, definitely. obviously, is, um, is good news, isn't it? It's fabulous. Yeah, that's true. Our cat's um, making her wedding invitations at the moment. And again, so embossing yeah. folders are Fabulous for wedding invitations. Yeah. That texture just gives you that added luxury. Definitely. It's absolutely incredible. So we're fantastic. just going to pop that down on there. Um, and it just really elevates it. If this was just white on white and it didn't have that embossing detail on, yeah, it'd still be pretty. It'd be clean mm. and simple. But I just think it takes it to another yeah. level. It gives it that modern edge, doesn't it? It does. It's fabulous. My matte and layer has gone really wonky, which is going to bother me. So I'm going to have to fix that. There we go. Okay. And then I have just gone ahead and die cut one of our sentiments, sending smiles, because I think this is what this card does. Yeah, definitely. And we're just going to pop that. Oh, I in love the that with a drop shadow. Just a little drop shadow in Beautiful. the matching colours. And how quick that comes together. Gorgeous. So wonderful that really is gorgeous isn't it um and you can do all of this you can have a go with the different techniques you can have a go with the sanding you can have a go with putting the different um embossing folders on one piece of card there's so much you can do with it um and i can see so many of you there with this in your basket you have got to check it out i know i keep on saying it i'm like a broken record but the trouble is there are we're over allocated frankly so it is going to be selling out in the show today four pound 49 for each of these six by six inch embossing folders really perfect size lovely size for all your card making and of course you can cut them down you can cut out different shapes you could die cut um, before and then emboss there's so much you can do with them it's in your basket you've got to check it out and marie elaine diane there karen Kay in leicestershire as well we are oversubscribed 80 percent of the stock has gone and people are dialing through every single second and putting them in a basket every single second so if you want to get them home you've really got to make it happen if you want to speak to our call center brilliant place to start 0800 001 4433 that's a completely free number um, so you can give them a call right now 
or of course check out on our website hobbymaker.co.uk uh, send us your makes and well more on that because we've got competitions going on here at Hobbymaker. I can tell you more about that a little bit later on but um, it's amazing to have you here Kat thank you thank so you. much now you're back at seven o'clock I am very exciting for the launch of the pocket pads here today on Hobbymaker. Um, very popular over half of the stock has gone and that was a big stock that you bought today so that is all coming up at seven o'clock so we shall see you soon um, don't go anywhere though because we've got a remarkable collection coming your way right now we know we have thousands of Pollyanna Pickering fans who watch the show here at Hobby Maker and to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Pollyanna Pickering we have Linda Chapman here and we have Anna Lou to celebrate with some brilliant and exclusive deals here on Hobby Maker see you in a moment <laughs> Here at Hobbymaker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. a show by watching on the go with our brand new hobby maker app head over to your app store now and search hobby maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet you can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests click on the today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show want to know what's hot then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Shopping with Hobby Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobby Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobby Maker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker.
Oh, hello and welcome to a very, very special show here on Hobby Maker. Anna Lee, welcome back. It's lovely to have you here. How are pleasure. you doing? Really good, thank you. It's been a, a we've had a really nice day today. It's yeah. been a pleasure to be here. It's, so. Well, it's our pleasure to have you here and to be surrounded by your wonderful yes. mum's beautiful artwork. Yes. I mean, it's just gorgeous. This is the work of Pollyanna Pickering and we're celebrating 40 years today which is incredible well it's actually our show is themed around the 40th anniversary of mm -hmm. the wonderful born free foundation uh -huh. um, founded by of course dame virginia mckenna her late husband bill travers and their son will who is still the executive president okay and they were formed i would say 40 years ago and this collection is to celebrate that but pollyanna had a very long association with them and in fact the first work she did with them was 37 years ago so wow. almost oh from the goodness. very beginning the not very quite beginning. but almost so tell us a little bit more then about mm. born free because we, we've got a wonderful opportunity for you today to get mm. this very limited and exclusive brochure here today at hobby maker um i will just warn you it's on the graphics right now sn7680 it's just £10 today, which is absolutely incredible. And you're going to be getting this brilliant and illustrated by Anna Lou as well, this fabulous uh, book of inconveniences, which yes. <laughs> I'll get you to explain a little bit more about in a moment. Well, yeah. It's great. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, before we talk about the inconveniences, yes. tell us more about the, the Born brochure, Free yeah. and the brochure. Well, this brochure, like I say, it looks back at... Uh, you have a little flip through, okay. because you were so good at that, showing it to the camera. Um, it looks back at 40 years of the Born Free Foundation, the amazing work they've done conserving wildlife in the wild, but also rescuing individual animals. Mm -hmm. And this really looks at where Pollyanna intersected with them. So it's a, a look at some of the things they've done in that 40 years, some of the things she did alongside them in the 37 years. So we've got all these gorgeous photos and some of the special events that were organised. We've got lots of lovely paintings in there. We've got stories about some of the individual animals. So it's a really nice read and it's a really nice overview. It's a more detailed look, isn't it? It's lovely for you to be able to get that insight it is. into Born Free and um, how Pollyanna was, was part of it. You know, it's such a wonderful opportunity well, for you. Pollyanna had a, a lengthy career. She was recognised as one of the world's foremost wildlife artists. Mm -hmm. And in her sort of 50-year career, she was commissioned by every wildlife charity and organisation you can think of. You know, yeah. her work was published by the World Wide Fund for Nature, by the RSPB, lots of international organisations. But I would say it was definitely born free that she had the, the longest and probably closest association with, and she was a patron of theirs for many years as well. Mm. So this really, their 40th anniversary, was a wonderful time for us to kind of look back at that. And also, I've continued that association as well. So. Uh, at the end of the brochure, we're looking at some of the things that I've been going on to do with them more recently. Yeah, it's so amazing. And this is exclusive for it our is. Hobby Maker viewers. It right, is. you cannot get this it anywhere is else. Hot off the presses, literally two days ago. I was My quite relieved goodness. to see it arrive. Uh, it will be um, available at our. We're doing a an exhibition in our own private gallery in June yes. and it will be available then. Mm -hmm. Until then, here and here only. Here and here only. <laughs> yes. And you know, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Born free, as free as the wind blows, as free as the grass grows, born free to follow your heart. And you know, you can read the second verse when you get it at home. That's yes. beautiful. It's really, really Isn't lovely words. Lovely? Um, now for just £10, you obviously get your exclusive brochure. But you're also going to get this fantastic and very fun inconvenience. <laughs> so what's this? Tell us about this then. Well, Andy. this is going to just a little thank you for anybody that does give their £10 to our Born Free Appeal, as well as the brochure, you'll get inconveniences. Mm -hmm. Now, Pollyanna only painted wildlife that she'd seen in the wild, in their natural habitats. Yes. So, of course, over the years, <laughs> we went on expedition to some very remote parts of the world in some often very, very basic conditions. We would come back from those trips, having been to these incredible countries, seen amazing wildlife. And the question people would ask was, <coughs> How did you go to the moon? <laughs> so well, we're, this, we're always fascinated with it. It's only a little booklet, but it's great fun. 
answers that question <laughs> because this has some of the, the more interesting and unusual bathroom <laughs> facilities that we encountered. That you encountered. I love it. It's just it's, fantastic. It's, it's really perfect to have in the smallest room by the loo. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. It's we always had funny. a great big stack of books <laughs> growing up and, and we still do now as well in our house. We've always got the loo books. <laughs> it's funny. You can just pick it up and there's a little, little funny story. Yeah. Anywhere, yeah. That's it, little anecdotes and cartoons. wonderful illustrations that you've drawn. Uh, no, no, all the cartoons are, are Pollyanna's and the sketches as well. There's even a couple of paintings in there. So there oh. are a few animals too. But but I wrote the stories. You wrote the stories. Yes. Oh, my goodness yes, me. So. Absolutely fantastic. And yeah. you're getting this absolutely free. Now, normally this would be £5. This is usually £5 donation, but you're going to get it with your... £10 for your brochure. We're going to put this in for you as well, just for fun. Yeah, it's <laughs> so, just and superb. I say it's called inconveniences for very obvious reasons, <laughs> but we have taken this to many of the talks that Pollyanna gave that I still give so that we could sell some at the end for our fundraising. Yeah. And the first time that um, I took these to the talks with Pollyanna, she mentioned it during the talk and she said, you know, if you'd like to support our appeal, Ask Anna Louise at the end, she has some of the inconveniences booklets. <laughs> and a lady rushed up to me the second the talk had finished and said, could I get one of your incontinence books? <laughs> So we kind of always still referred to it as the, <laughs> the incontinence. incontinence. <laughs> yes. Absolutely fantastic. It's not that. Trust me, it's not that. <laughs> oh, it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Um, we we are approaching fifty percent now <laughs> of a very big stock yes, coming to air today. Now having sold out, so please do make sure if it's in your basket. You really do need to check it out. And I can promise you, not only are you going to learn so much and just get this wonderful insight into Pollyanna and her work with Born Free, um, it's a really personal book. It's an absolutely beautiful brochure, gorgeous artwork, obviously, wonderful photography in here as well. And you're just taken on a journey. It's really, really magnificent and you won't get it anywhere else. You can get it here today, The Art of Freedom. And of course, your Inconveniences booklet that you're getting absolutely free here today. It's worth noting as well, when you come in for this, yes. it's it's all going to Born Free. With the brochure, it it's all yes. going to This is all just part of, we, we are fundraising for them during this mm -hmm. 40th anniversary year. So all all the proceeds from this yeah. will go into our fundraising Incredible, yes. absolutely wonderful. Um, it's very busy, lots and lots of you are coming through. If you've got any questions, by the way, through the show that you'd like to ask Anna Louise, or of course, Linda Chapman later on in the show as well as she demonstrates, please do get your messages in. We're live, we're interactive and we always love to hear from you. So if you've got any questions at all, um, do message in. Now, um, I'm really, really excited about these beautiful mm. limited edition prints as well. Um, okay, we're going to start with this stunning cheetah. I mean, mm. this we is have one absolutely each. fabulous. So you're going to be getting two prints, yes. aren't you, when you come in for this? Um, these are very, very, very nearly sold out. I need to just warn you right now, we're in single figures. Oh, wow. Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> and I have this. to say, these we won't be bringing back. It's today, okay. today only. Okay. is your only opportunity to get these prints that we've got on the show. You're being amazingly generous as well. I mean, these are meant to be £15 mm. each. And you're getting both of them today, um, both of these beautiful limited edition prints, for just £20. So um, absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that detail. They are. They're lovely quality fine art prints. Yeah. And when we send them to you, we will send them to you flat. Because okay. I know a lot of times you buy a print, it comes in a tube, it's all rolled up. You have to try yeah. and flatten it out, get the creases out. No, these will be sent with their backing boards, sent oh, to you gorgeous. in a folder flat. So okay. literally you'll be able to just unpack them. Put them in your frame. Go, ready to frame, ready yeah. to go. Yes. They are just gorgeous. We're in single <laughs> figures. We've got a handful left of the cheetah. Yes. Um, and this really is an exclusive opportunity. I always think back, you know, if you could go back in time, if you could go back and get that limited edition mm. Van Gogh, if you could go <laughs> back in time and get the Chagall or, oh my goodness, you do it. What a wonderful opportunity you've got right now to get these gorgeous limited edition prints. Do make sure you're checking out. They should have been £15 each. Today you're getting both of them for £20. SM7690 is your code. We are officially over allocated. Okay, um, so again, just please make sure you're checking out your basket. Um, we're going to bring the um, graphics for the lion set um, live for you now. And 
I mean, this is just one of my favourite yes. animals of all. And I love that you've got the male and the female yes. here. Just absolutely beautiful. Well, I had to bring these on because it's a Born Free theme show. Yes. Of course, everybody, when they think of Born Free, think of the beautiful oh, lions. It's almost like a photograph. I mean, look the at the detail. The detail's incredible, isn't it? And I just love that picture because, of course, the lionesses, they live in the prides. And she's literally just got her head on top of one of the other lionesses. Yeah. Gone to sleep, so relaxed. <laughs> that is it's the most relaxing and beautiful Isn't image. Yeah, and then bedroom. this guy's just watching over them all, making yes. sure, you know, they're okay. No yeah, one's okay. approaching. What was it like growing up, um, Anna Louise, like travelling <laughs> to all these wonderful places? Well, I didn't start travelling with Pollyanna until I joined the business. So okay. my first expedition, we might even get a chance to talk about a little bit later because I have got a couple of books on for the show as well. Okay. Uh -huh. So I was 21 when I first went wow. on expedition with Pollyanna out into yeah. India. Amazing. And that was when I joined the business. But yes, I've been so fortunate. I've had the most incredible experiences yeah. and been lucky enough to see these incredible animals in the wild. It's just fabulous. Yes. I mean, they're so yeah. beautiful and so, so different in the wild as well, aren't they? They are. Compared they to are. And I think that was why, you know, Pollyanna had such a strong relationship with the Born Free Foundation because mm. their ethos matched so closely to how she felt about wildlife yeah. because they are passionate about wildlife being in the wild yeah. where it belongs. Where it belongs. Yes. Um, it's, it's an incredible collection. This is so very beautiful. We've got brand new crafters coming in for this artwork. Remember, you're going to get both of these exquisite prints. You've got the male and the female lion, absolutely gorgeous. They'll come, they'll arrive flat, so they're not going to be rolled, they're not going to be creased, they're going to be absolutely perfect for you to frame and put on your wall. Um, these aren't really limited, and this is your chance to get them here today. If you want to call through, that's a really good idea, 0800 001 4433. That is your free telephone number to call our call centre. We're just upstairs. Um, you can also, of course, check out on the web. Um, but Anna Louise, I shall see you again in a little bit. I'm going to wander over, because what is really exciting is all of this fabulous artwork, all of this wonderful inspiration, all of this exquisite beauty has become a digital download, it has. hasn't it, Linda? It has. Oh, this is just and, amazing. And we love it when we do the big cats. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is Pollyanna at her very, very best. Uh -huh. I mean, she's best all the time, but this is Pollyanna at her very, very best. Um, the cheetah was a big, a favourite big cat. Oh, um, and it, it, this is just a beautiful collection. You're going to get uh, 12 pieces of artwork in the bundle, mm -hmm. um, 11 of which are brand new, you've never seen before. And here we are 11 years down the road with the journey with um, Pollyanna and Anna Lou. And we've still got loads of new artwork yeah. to bring. This is it. It's ever changing. Table. It's ever evolving. Yes. And this is what's so exciting for you at home as crafters as well, is it means that your beautiful card making, your artwork, it can just constantly evolve. So, I mean, you've got over 800 printable elements in this collection. Um, there's nearly wow. 900 printable wow. sheets. So if you envisage um, the brick that we sell, which is on the show today, so if you want to um, stack, you know, stuck up on your paper mm. emporium, it's on the show. You would need, need, well, you'd have to buy four packs of the brick. That's a thousand sheets. Wow. And that's just me. to print everything once. God. So this just gives you such a yeah. brilliant sort of so, insight. You can print out your favourites. You can print them out as many times as you like. You, you can. You know, the beauty about digital crafting is it's open 24 hours a day. If you want yeah. to craft in the middle of the night, it's open. Never runs out of stock. And you can go any size you want. You to can, start, you? within Brilliant. the realms of Adobe Reader. So in the bundle, you're going to get the main um, Pollyanna Pickering um, Born Free collection. Uh -huh. And then you're going to get two smaller kits. So with the price we've given you, which is exclusive to Hobby Maker, you're more or less saving the cost of one of the bundles. Yeah. I mean, it's just extraordinary, isn't it? So look at how much um, you're going to be getting on the show today. Just so much that you're going to be able to craft with, that you'll be able to work with. Um, you've got all of the toppers there. You've got the beautiful decoupage sheets as well that you'll be able to work with as well. The decorative papers to work with it as well. All of your essential papers that everything's colour matched as well. The 
solid yes. colours to work with it. Really, really fantastic. You've got your alphabet tiles in here too. Panels that you can work with. Sentiment sheets you, that you, you can work it. with. We've given you it's two. Wonderful. Shall we, shall Let's we? have a little look right. through. Right. Because this so, is just divine. Just to remind you, it's a digital download. Let's mm -hmm. get the angel policy out of the way. Practically uh -huh. there isn't one. Except we do not allow you to print and sell the individual papers okay. or to make them into packs. And Perfect. we do not allow you to take the artwork into another graphics program such as Page or Pro or something like that. Mm -hmm. Because we have the license as is to use as is. Okay. You can't change the colours and things. But if you want to craft, as long as it's a finished article, uh -huh. you can make and sell for personal profit. You can Perfect. make and sell for charity. These cards make money for charities because Absolutely. people recognise Pollyanna's artwork. Great one for working with with the children because you're yeah. teaching them as you use them. And also with digital, you're not worried about them using your favourite piece of paper because it's yeah. the only one you've got. You can print the same piece of paper over and over and over again. Great for doing workshops with as well. Okay. So shall we show you what we've got? Absolutely. What I'm just going to say to right. um, all of you is, though, is if you purchase it now, the beauty of a digital download, um, do be patient with it. There is yes. so much in this collection. Yeah. So purchase it now. You won't have to worry about posting packaging with this because no. it's a digital download. So it's just the purchase button on the website on hobbymaker.co.uk. Um, perhaps wait until after the show today to download it. Um, yeah, I think people now are getting to know how our digital downloads work. If uh -huh. you get stuck, you just email us. Yeah, hello at the and you're really quick at messing Hello at thecraftywitches.co.uk. Uh -huh. We crafters are not known for our patience. We want things <laughs> before we even need, know we need them. Uh -huh. But this is a big download, so depending on your internet speed, how busy it is, if the kids are on the internet in different parts of the room, mm. I would wait till after you've had your tea. Yeah. and then try it and then go for it yeah. perfect well take us through the list okay it's just gorgeous. so the first thing you're going to see on the boards is um these are the 10 pieces of artwork on the main collection all of these are brand new you've never seen them before and you might think what on earth has an elephant got to do with born free anna lou will explain why the elephant is there this is for those of you who remember if you're as old as i am this is Polly Polly, who I remember. I, w I was 11 when Born Free, the film, came out. And I've only ever watched it once because I cried mm. and cried and cried. And I can't bring myself to watch it again because I know where this... That. It, it, it is sad in places, but you'll enjoy it. Now, this one here, this is a very special painting, which those uh, um, people who collect Pollyanna... Um, CD ROMs, DVD ROMs from Another Life and now the digital downloads. You will remember this piece of artwork. This piece of artwork was especially commissioned by the Born Free Foundation and Pollyanna did it so it could be auctioned to raise funds for the foundation and it raised a lot of money when it wow. was when okay. it was um, when it was put up for auction. So there are your ten pieces of artwork in your main collection. So then what I've done is I've, I've given you, this is one of the 10 design sets. Okay. So in, within each design set, you're going to get 77 sheets. Wow. Okay. So, so you've got all your toppers, mm -hmm. um, which these are A4 in size when you get them, but obviously we've um, downsized them so we can um, get them on, the, on the, the A3 sheet. So you've got all of these toppers, which as I say, you can... With your snapshot tool, um, you can um, isolate and uh, print separately if you want to and then resize them. These are your decorative papers. Now, what I have to say is, in times gone by, we've had a set of decorative papers and then we've ch just done them in different colourways according to the main colours in the artwork. Okay. Every set in this collection has a different set of decorative papers. Wow. So you're getting in this uh, download 100 decorative papers. That's you can incredible. use these papers with any of your, yeah. um, gosh, they're any gorgeous, of your, aren't they? you know, your stamps and things. Mm. Then we've got your uh, essential papers. We've got your three solid colours. We've got freestyle decoupage. Can you imagine, Rosie, putting this mm. and printing it off? 
put it in a frame and put it on the wall. You can print it off, put it in a frame and you can sell it. Wow, how? How did I thought you had to make something? So you can just literally pop it you in a frame. Pop it in a frame, you've made, you've made a picture. And you've made a picture, so you can, that's sensational. Pollyanna oh was always very keen for her artwork to be shared with as yeah. many people. She, she wasn't precious about her artwork yeah. and, and Anna Louise has mm -hmm. continued with that tradition. So that's this amazing. is what we call freestyle decoupage. We uh -huh. haven't cut the pieces out for you. Because there are no solid lines, it's up to you where you want yeah. to go with it. And it could just be a tiny element it or could. it could be You, you know, know, it more. could just be this bit here yeah. and then this bit here on the top. Then we've got four different size ready-made cards. So if mm -hmm. you get a last minute table at a craft fair, you can print these out and put them in packs. That's a great idea. Um, then we've got boxes, mm -hmm. bags, card panels, sentiments, alphabet tiles, more bags, artwork yes, by yeah. Pollyanna. So you can put that on the back of your card. So you've got some provenance there. Beautiful. Um, borders, portrait and landscape, tags and smaller tags. Then you've got your inserts in full colour and muted colours with and without sentiments in all the different sizes you can think of. And we've got, um, I think that's that's it. That's just yeah. incredible. <laughs> See, that's it. You say that's it, but <laughs> my goodness, if you if you would like that, okay, then you've got that available as an individual yes. on the web as well. But obviously, with this bundle, you're going to be getting all of them together, which so is just amazing. You've got a second. You you've mm -hmm. got two more kits, which Perfect. are a bit more muted in colours now. Pollyanna did um, paintings in what we call the sketchbook style and mm -hmm. this is quite uh, similar to this so if you can get in close if you can see there's some writing oh, here really this is all in Pollyanna's own handwriting and these paintings mm -hmm. were painted onto handmade paper wow. so there was something very special so you've got your toppers mm -hmm. you've also got your um, decorative papers and you've got your um, essentials yeah. you've got your three solids and here you can see what I'm uh, what I mean about the handwriting and Pollyanna's signature and Elsa there God. you've got your four ready-made cards you've got your inserts it's amazing how you've color matched as well because obviously these are incredible paintings with so much detail this, and so much warmth yeah. This How is what it's is all about is I think the most difficult thing when you're when you're beginning your crafting journey mm. is what goes with what? Yeah. You know that if it's within that design set, it will mix, match and harmonize. Nothing yeah. will stand out. There's if you put pink in here, you think, what on earth are you doing putting that pink? Yeah. Or blue. Uh, or but something you've done like all that. of yeah. that hard work. You've taken so away that difficulty. here and you've got these on the main set as well. You've got mm. your envelope liners, you've got your boxes, your bags, your, your card panels, your sentiments, alphabet toppers, your borders and your tags and everything. And then we go on to the second kit, which is a similar kit, but with a different piece of artwork mm. and beautiful muted colours there. Mm. And then look at the, look at the oh backing papers. And this is what I say about all the dec different back decorative papers. Mm. Every single one is different. Yeah. And then you've got your um, decoupage, your essential papers, your finished cards, and your inserts, and then your boxes, your bags, your tags, and you've got your finishing touches. Altogether, you've got over 900 printable sheets. If we did this in a paper format, <laughs> you'd only get one sheet of each and yeah. you'd be talking three figures. Yeah, this is it. I this, mean, it's extraordinary. For the price you get in. Yeah, that's it. And if anyone's watching who's not done digital download before, Linda, they've not tried. Why haven't you? Why haven't Why you? Haven't yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because it really is easy, isn't it? I think if, oh. to, if people are sort of not technical right. or maybe a bit afraid of technology, they think it's going to be very complicated, it's but it's not, not at all. Is all it? we've done is cut out the middleman, mm -hmm. which then in turn takes some of the cost away. Mm. If we put this onto a USB, yeah, it would be double, if not more, the price. Yeah, because you've got to pay for the USB. We're taking out the, we're being, we're being um, 
environmentally friendly as well because yeah, absolutely. we've taken out the USB, we've taken out the plastic box, yeah. we've taken out the cost of having the van with all the fumes coming out of it, visiting your house. Yeah. And do you know what the best bit is? You can hide this. <laughs> Nobody knows. What on earth have you been buying now? <laughs> That's so true. You know, I love because that. Because if it's like my husband and the, the, you know, the van drive, what on earth have you been <laughs> You arrive with a great but big I'm, you know, I'm on first That's name it. terms with the, um, <laughs> some of the drivers, but you can hide this and you never know. That's it. Now, I'm going to let you know at home, because obviously we've now shown you the entire bundle, that huge digital download, where you're getting everything that's on the main graphic fee for £29.97. It's XJ6. 398 is your code for that, okay? Now, when you go onto our website, onto hobbymaker.co.uk, um, it's just the, you click the purchase button, okay? If this is the only thing you buy today, you're not gonna be paying any posting and packaging either, okay? Because of course, that's just going to go straight through to your Hobby Maker account, okay? And then when you're ready, you can download it and it's all there for you to use whenever you like, okay? Now, the collections that are in the main bundle, if you want them, if you want a smaller collection and you want the individuals, we do have that opportunity for you as well. So this is the Born Free Anniversary Digital Collection um, for £19.99 for you here. Okay, this is your 10 different designs that Linda showed you a little bit earlier on. You've got the Lioness Elsa, um, you've got Elsa's Pride, you've got Freedom, you've got Pride of Africa, majestic tiger i mean they're just gorgeous the black panther there as well the beautiful white tiger um and your cheetah of course and uh, pollyanna's yes. favorite and that beautiful elephant as well there this is really stunning and we'll find out more about the elephant a little bit later on as well um it's just amazing isn't it so you're going to get all of that in your born free collection 760 sheets altogether for just 19.99 which is superb now if you would just like elsa explores okay we can give you that collection on a digital download as well that's just 8.99 for you um you're getting 77 sheets all together with the elsa explores kit really really stunning you can see all of that handwriting there as well that beautiful sort of illustrative effect all of it works so well together handwriting yeah oh gosh yes. i can't write no one can read my handwriting um, <laughs> um, or if you would like so you've got the elsa explores kit there if you'd like the wild lioness you've got that for 8.99 you've got 77 sheets in this one as well these are all available on our website right now they're all exclusive to hobby maker but of course, the very best way to get all of it today is in the big bundle, okay? Here it is for you. You're getting absolutely everything. 912, oh, so well over 900 um, printable sheets for you to get home today. It's such a gorgeous collection um, and just so many different ways you can use this for your gift bags, for your boxes, for your cards, for artwork on the wall. And, you know, particularly if you're making to sell, making to sell for charity as well, then this is instant recognizable you know not just here in the UK but all over the world so it's an incredibly beautiful collection to come and take part in today um, do make sure and um, please be patient when you're downloading because it is a huge collection yeah. and that will depend on your own Wi-Fi and the speed and all the rest of it but the quality is outstanding so it's worth the wait and just quickly on the printing because a question people always ask when they're printing from digital download um, if you're sat at home thinking well, I haven't got the big fancy pants printer don't you need don't need to. one do you no. as long as you've got a good quality paper mm -hmm. that doesn't drink the ink yeah. um, you just need an inexpensive um, inkjet printer you don't yeah. need a laser you can use a laser printer if you want to um, but it depends it's the paper quality that yeah. um, you can use copier paper but it will drink the ink it'll drink it all right because you can it. see it soaks through to the back yeah but if you use um, you know this is our 160 GSM you mm. can see how the ink just lay, lays on the it top on of the it. Top. This is all available on our website, yes. by the way. So if you'd like to add that to your order, we've got all of your fabulous um, the papers paper available. The Paper Emporium. Yeah, from yes. Paper Emporium. Um, now, can you show us, right. Linda, how it all so, works on um, the web? It works on all devices. You've got all different devices these days. With the, in, the lovely interface that you see works with Windows. We can't find um, a, a, an interface that will work with iPads and Macs and what have you. So if you are any other devices, mm -hmm. 
You want to play with the files. You go into autoplay. You go into the docs folder, which is short for documents. The first 10 files that you see are indexes okay. or indices. And you can print them out and you've got a visual then oh, thumbnails. We've, we've just recently started doing that. But what you see here now is what you can use with Windows. So here's your 10 piece of artwork. You click on enter and straight away you are a little brief um, write up about Pollyanna there. And then you've got your 10 pieces of artwork. So shall we go into um, Majestic Tiger? Yeah. Right, not? you click on the one you want to look at and it opens up straight away into the design set. Now, you know, okay. within this design set, everything mixes and matches together and harmonizes. Mm. Um, if you stick to this design set, you can't fail to make a lovely card. If you think your card's not nice enough, you can just print it off again. <laughs> you don't have to, it's not the end of the world. So simply click on the one you like the look of. It opens up in Adobe Reader or um, whatever PDF reader view you have. Which means, Rosie, that these digital downloads are future proof. Ah, as okay. long as you yeah. have an up to date version of the PDF viewer, you could still open this in 2020, oh, 2030, so 2040. Brilliant. This will never, you know, like sometimes you can't use a certain CD because it doesn't work with so yeah, and so. Yeah, of course. But um, this is future proof. Once, yeah. once it's yours, it's yours, and you can yeah. download. And the rest with of the day. Windows, Windows XP, and later, we might be getting a bit dodgy with Windows XP because that is getting very old now. And this is a big folder. But I, I use Windows 10 at home, and I use Windows 11. My laptop is Windows 11. Look at those Are these beautiful um, decorative papers. I'm just going to whiz through this. Gorgeous. Then you've got your. Um, Essential papers in positive and negative. Okay. Then you've got your um, three coloured papers, dark, medium and light. Mm -hmm. These are your decorative, um, uh, uh, what's the word, decoupage. Mm. I'm losing my words today. We all are, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Kat and I were doing that earlier too. And then we've got our ready-made cards. Click on next, we've got our inserts. Um, and I like that you've got the vibrant and the more musical yes, colours there. Yeah. Um, choice, well, it? the vibrant ones, if you can cut a square out, you can use them as a feature yeah. on the front of the card. And we've done all different sizes. And you can see when we actually run the cursor over, it tells you the size if ah, you're not okay. sure about sizes. So Perfect. that's telling you that one's for a four by four. It's telling you that one's for a five by five. Then you've got boxes. You've got bags. You've got um, little square boxes there in two different styles. You've got your tags in um, larger and smaller. And then you've got these, um, what we call panels. Now this shows you how the decorative papers work together mm. and shows how you can mix and match with them. So it's giving you that inspiration. It's giving you some inspiration. It? If we look at the second one wow. there, look how those very tribal looking, aren't yeah. they're on this actual design set. Click on next again. You've got your alphabet tiles to personalize your cards, your sentiments, your uh, borders, portrait and landscape, and then your artwork by Pollyanna. Mm. And then you've got your envelope liners. So with your envelope so liners, print your decorative paper and then either print that over, the, put it back into your printer again, either print the, mm. the, um, the, the template at, on the back or you can print it over the, the decorative paper, cut it out mm -hmm. and then you've got a, an envelope to la that's lined to match, which looks really posh mm. then, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does, that's it. I mean, the whole collection just works so beautifully But together. anybody, you know, if you need to, if you get a bit stuck, you're not sure what to do, just email us at hello at the Crafty Witches. Mm -hmm. And if, you know, if we need to, we'll even ring you and talk you through yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. You, so you've always got help, you've always got yes. Linda and your amazing team to hold your hand and talk you through and help you through. And of course, you've got all the inspiration. It's yes, just well, again, then if you go mm. on the uh, if you go on Facebook, if yeah. you join a group called Creative Friends, all my girls and boys put their samples in Creative Friends. They create albums. Yeah. So all the cards you see here, most of them you will see on 
creative friends. It's a closed yeah. group. You have to ask to join. But okay. You know, we'll let you in. We'll let you in. That's if you it. behave yourself. <laughs> if you don't, we'll chuck you out. But, um, <laughs> I love that. You know, but look at the quality. Like you said earlier, you know, you cannot make a bad card with this no, because but everything looks just it's so It's not just cards, Rosie. Look the at place. this. Yeah, right. here we go. This. Look at this. So what would you print out on right, this? Right, this has been an old plate that mm -hmm. Sinead... Oh, I never can remember. Sinead, Sinead, if I'm saying it wrong, sorry. Rice paper. Oh, wow, OK. Printable just... rice paper and then Mod that Podge over the front of it to seal it. It's beautiful. It's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And that would have been an old plate. Mm. If you look at that book look there, yeah. this is Thank what um, <gasps> Warlock Ian has done. Look at this. Absolutely There's gorgeous. a tie there. But, and then he's got, this is made from the 10 different design sets. Wow. On oh, the, um, the actual main <gasps> bundle how fabulous is this and can you imagine in your craft show yeah, do you making know what, Rose, yeah. gosh. i mean you know things are tight these days people don't have a lot of money so yeah. make your own presents yeah. if you give that wow. to somebody that is made with love yeah oh, and 100%. it's unique it's completely and that will gorgeous. make more mean more to somebody yeah. than you spending a fortune buying something. Oh, hundred percent. You know, we can. It's just yeah. lovely. Look at the box. And the box. Here if you well. open that box, uh -huh. coasters. <gasps> the coasters. So, I mean, this is it. When the, you make the world, a gift, the world's your lobster with digital yeah. downloads. Honestly, folks, because with a paper kit, you and there's nothing wrong with paper kits, but you only get a certain amount of each paper. Mm. And you only get them in that size with a digital download. And believe you me, if you don't think your computer savvy, this is a way of learning because yeah. you don't realise you're learning because you're enjoying yourself. That's it. And how gorgeous you know, is this? I you mean, you can't, can't... you can't break anything on the digital download. No. So if you want to try enlarging something, go on to our how-to page on our website and we talk you through mm. it. Um, the links are on there on in the um, uh, information bit on the download but we'll hold your hand and talk you through yeah. things i mean where would you, you know not everybody has a designated craft room either no. not everyone has the space i mean where would you house 900 sheets of paper well, if this, you have you know with the lovely uh, thing with this it's all on your computer I've, i'm you now using the floor for storage and that <laughs> is a bad sign and i dread to think how much weight there is on my well, shelving exactly. Now, Linda, my darling, I'm so sorry, to, but time is running away with us in the hour and we've do... got the books to bring to you as well, right. which is really sort of keeping an eye on the time. You've got this beautiful demo to right. show us using the elephant. So, what so, have you done here, um, my darling? I haven't done this. Ian's done all my demos. Oh, well um, done, Ian. Look, yeah. he's over there. <laughs> Look, proud as punch. Yeah, I've, so I've, you should be. Um, I've had a bit of a shaky week, so he's done all mm, my demos for me, which is really kind of him. So, this is showing the elephant. Uh -huh. So, what we've taken here, here is um is this a seven by five card ian a5 nice. so what he's done is he's printed out the um the, the okay. topper mm -hmm. and that's it there and then he's he's uh, matted it and we're now gonna we haven't got an insert for this one but we're gonna do it that way so here we go beautiful and he, yeah this is handy isn't it? it's just that little bit of baking sheet baking parchment yeah thing, ian. It's a great idea. It's from that well-known Junkle website. Oh. So um, what he's done, he's put the sizes on and bless him, he said, I know you craft in centimetres, Linda. So this is 20 and a half centimetres by 14. That's your first um, piece of uh, card. Fantastic. And Ian does it the opposite way around to me. I go dark to light. But if you look, ah. Ian goes light to dark. Like always, that. He always likes to do things different, you know. Well, it's good. Well, this is well, the lovely thing with can. crafting. You can. And, you know, with the digital download, <laughs> you can do it whichever way you like. So you the know. next layer is 19 and a half by 13. So mm -hmm. we're going in by a centimetre. And then we've got this beautiful pattern paper that here. That is so isn't wonderful, that gorgeous? isn't it? gorgeous? Just reminds me of all the batiks of yep. the So this is just... 18 and a half by 12. So we've gone down in one centimetre increments. Mm -hmm. And that is going to go on there like that. Gorgeous. And then we've got um, a square, which goes over to one side. Bless him. 
I said you're going to have to do his one I made earlier because sometimes you make something and you don't know what you were aiming for <laughs> and then you have to wing it and I'm I'm not very good at winging. Yesterday was my 20th anniversary of my first show on shopping television. Really? Oh my word. Yes. Can you remember that first thing? I can. I was terrified. My hands were shaking and I had to line up some decoupage. And my mum, I don't know how she did it, but she got the, the number of the studios and she rang up and she got through to the gallery and they said, would you like to talk to her? And she said, no, she'll cry. Oh, <laughs> Gosh, it's and a feeling that never goes. Though, oh, isn't it? it was absolutely nerve wracking. Ah, but look at you now. Um, you, could, you could do a you could do a steady hand machine at the moment. Because oh, um, <laughs> on the way in, um, the person who I was uh, demonstrating mm. with, she said to me, "Now, Linda, there's two things I worry about you going on the television." I said, "Only two. <laughs> and she said, "Yes." Once you interrupt, I said, "Yes, it's a northern thing." We all finish off each other's sentences. Yes, true, very true. And I said, um, and she said, second, once you start, you don't know when to stop talking. <laughs> no, well, you know, can't say that, Linda. Well, she did, <laughs> and you know, my mom always said I was vaccinated with a gramophone needle. <laughs> so I was on um, Sewing Street with John Scott the other day. <laughs> He's and hilarious, isn't he? I think I heard Real. his ears. <laughs> You don't have to talk a lot, don't you, Linda? Yeah. I was there when you were handed we were handed over, weren't we? Yeah, and, and I, I said, told oh, you can have him. fun with Linda. Yeah. Absolutely. He, yeah, I think he did. Um, because Hells and I were you as usual having a go. He said, um, is she gonna do some sewing? I said, Well I hope so, because I'm paying her. <laughs> <laughs> so bless him. Yes. <laughs> but he said we could come. He's, he's now christened me Gobby Linda. Gobby Linda. Isn't that awful? Have that I... means he loves you, though. That means he loves yeah, you. If you get a nickname, well, you so get a nickname I got... All right. John, that's a sign of affection. Um, so, yes, Gobby Linda, and I thought, wow. So it's no... like flirting in the playground, you know, when someone pulls your pigtail. And it means, yeah, you know, right. it means you're friends for life. <laughs> so, normally we would put some um, glue gel on that, but I've just okay. put a pad, put that on there, yeah. and there's your card done. Absolutely gorgeous. But, you know, you can make that a dozen times. Yeah. You can do that with a paper kit because you've only got one you've sheet. You've only got one paper. sheet. This is it. You've got your favourites. You can print them again. And we've got lots of people multi-buying and that is an excellent idea. Who do you know who's a crafter? This is just going to be the most beautiful gift for them. So feel free to do that. If you'd like to um, purchase the digital download twice, you are welcome to do that. Gift one to a friend. Um, over 900 sheets and you are just going to love working with this. It's like three P a sheet. Well, it's not, it's not even three P a sheet well, because it's, you've got endless amounts exactly. of times you can print it. The more you, you use it, the more the, the, le exactly. you know, the less it costs. Yeah, and you're never gonna tire working with yeah. it because it's so unique, it's so beautiful, it's so incredible. Thank you for your you're gorgeous welcome. demo and for talking us through. Um, we have some more beautiful items to show you as well with Anna Lou. So I'm gonna take a trip back over to the other side of the studio. Thank you, my darling. You're welcome. Mwah. It's lovely to see you. Um, but my goodness, we're gonna hear as well more um, about the wonderful elephant in a moment too. But first of all, let's bring these beautiful books live. How, first of all, how amazing is it seeing your mum's work um, in, in, um, in digital download and seeing it come to life in cards and artwork and bags and, and things like it's that. It's so lovely. I mean, Pollyanna always loved to see what the crafters did with her work. Yeah. Uh, because she saw it as they were continuing her creativity. Yeah. So where she started with these amazing paintings, they would then take them off into whole different directions. And she so enjoyed to see that. Yeah. So it's so wonderful that we're here at Hobby Maker and we're able to continue you mm -hmm. this wonderful relationship with the crafting community because yes, they've been yes. so welcoming so supportive yes. well we just we love we <laughs> love it all don't we it's incredible um, and I tell you what else we absolutely love is a beautiful book yes. now we've got the eye of the tiger here this is just, how did this begin tell us about this well, you've done the words for this yes I've you? brought two of the books onto the show mm -hmm. um, because both of these books the foreword was written by the amazing Dame Virginia McKenna who of course wow. co founder of Born Free, 
incredible actress and conservationist, but also genuinely one of the most lovely, inspirational people that I've been fortunate enough to know. And she very kindly so contributed the forward, so I thought, well, I have to bring these books to the show. Mm. They both tell the story of expeditions that Pollyanna and I made to study, well, for her to paint, uh -huh. and I was doing photography, I've written the books. Uh, so this one, The Eye of the Tiger, the first section of the book actually tells the story of a journey. I will let you again have a flip okay. through. Tells the story of, yeah, I know. I mean, even that, just as oh. soon as you open it and you've got this wonderful image yes. of the tiger. Every image tells a story. It as does. Well, doesn't it? And, wow. you know, people very much associate Born Free with lions, of course, but the first project that Pollyanna worked with Born Free, they had rescued five tigers from a roadside circus in this country wow. in oh appalling gosh. conditions. This is back, like I say, 37 years ago now. Mm. Um, and the rescued tigers had been flown out to the most beautiful, amazing reserve in India called Banagata. Okay. And she was invited to go out and paint the tigers for Born Free. And that was the very first work that we did with them. Like I say, a relationship that then lasted for 37 oh years goodness. till yeah. now. Um, so the first part of the book, yes, tells the story of that particular mm. expedition. I was with Pollyanna, it was the first working expedition I'd been on with her when I joined the business. I had my 21st birthday out there and I was given a live bear cub as a birthday present. <gasps> so there's all that story oh in there. Oh my goodness me. The second part of the book tells about a, another journey we made to India to a very different region. Mm. Again, the adventures we had out there, we were charged by a wild tiger. But every single page has got photographs, sketches, paintings. You can dip in and out of it. Oh. There's lots of information in there about the wildlife, but there's lots of funny stories as well. It's a very Amazing. easy, light read. It's a beautiful, and beautiful book. When you get to the end, sort of most important, as you were at the very end there, you've got this incredible portfolio of 30 paintings. Wow. So you can see the result of the journey, the inspiration that Pollyanna got from seeing these incredible creatures in the wild. They are gorgeous. I mean... Gorgeous portfolio of work at the back, and I will sign all the books that will be wow. individually signed. Look at <laughs> it's just beautiful. And um, Ellie, our producer, um, Anna Louise, has just mm. said they're paintings. They look so real. Yes. They just... Well, again, when you actually see the the, the book physically, yeah. you can see the brush strokes. You can very much see that they're it's paintings, gorgeous. but the detail is amazing. It's yeah, just incredible. Um, that's the Eye of the Tiger. Do come yes. on in and make sure you get this home. It's absolutely beautiful. And then we've got the giant yes, pandas, giant pandas and, sleeping and Sleeping Dragons, dragons another absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous book with photography yes. and writing um, by you as well and your mum's beautiful, beautiful Again, artwork. Virginia wrote a, a lovely, lovely forward mm. for this book and this tells the story of probably the most famous journey that Pollyanna and I made um, so that she could study and paint giant pandas in China. We were the first two Western women to go to a very, very remote part of the Tibetan borderlands. Oh. Um, we had the most incredible, amazing experiences, culminating, if I can very quickly find a photo, mm. with working in a panda oh, hospital where the job we were given was helping to look after this six-month-old panda oh my cub. goodness me. I mean, that's like And this. Pollyanna was literally able to sit and sketch him. Whoops, if I can find mm. some lovely, lovely images of her with the panda. There we go, no. with the panda and with her sketchbook. Oh. Literally no other wildlife artist has ever no. had this level of contact with a panda. Oh my gosh, I mean this is... Oh, Every this is, day, yeah. yes. And you can see that in the paintings, that she actually got to know him, that his character yeah. comes through. The most incredible experience. And again, because it was such a, a remote area, you can imagine we had some amazing adventures oh, while 100%. we were out there. And yes. you get a sense of that in all of this artwork. Yes. I think that's what really sets it apart, yes. is that you get the life, you get the character, you get the personality. It's all there for you to enjoy, and it'll all come through in your crafting as well. You must get these books home they're utterly utterly beautiful and so fascinating um, for you to see as well now we started the show with the beautiful brochure the art of freedom um i can't believe that actually you're able to get this home today for just 10 pounds that's absolutely brilliant um and of course you've got the gift of inconveniences yes. as well which will make you <laughs> chuckle you'll really enjoy them 
And you may even be able to relate to some of them as well. Yes, <laughs> anybody who has travelled in, in more remote areas will have had some yes. similar, maybe not quite the same, but similar experiences. Similar, definitely. Yes. Oh, it's just magical. It really is magical so please make sure you're checking out now we've got eight minutes left and i think we can squeeze in another demonstration with linda if you'd like to or would you like to i Hello. think i'm actually being allowed to make a card which is so fantastic exciting. well i'm really <laughs> excited about this so um taking a look at some of the beautiful cards that you'll be able to make with this gorgeous collection as well um, so what card number will this be then, Anna Lou? We were talking about well, this earlier. We were, we were saying, weren't we, for a while, I literally knew how many cards I'd made, didn't yes. I? Because every one had been made <laughs> live on air, so Pollyanna, I have lost count there. Pollyanna <laughs> always loved at the end of every show to come yes. and make a card. Oh, and perfect, one so time carrying on the tradition. I tried to disappear off the set and she went like that and yanked <laughs> me back on again. So this is what you're going to make. That's Gorgeous, um, you've got your card, oh, there's your insert to oh, start off with. So you've got your mat and your layer. Open this so I've wonderful. Got my guidelines, so I hopefully know what I'm doing. You're going to do a beautiful job, I reckon. No, you have a lot of confidence in me, thank I you. I do, for that. I do. I might just end up with lots of bits and pieces glued <laughs> all over my jacket, it's possible. Perfect. Excellent. So we have one of the, the gorgeous coordinating. She's very good papers. as well because she can talk while she's making the cards as well. I've taught her well. I know. I've learnt from the best, haven't I? <laughs> I say, don't, nobody speak too soon because this, this could all go horribly wrong. No. I, I have all can't. faith in you. Exactly. <laughs> Lovely. So we've got that, that lining then, up as oh, well. This is actually one of the inserts, isn't it? It's Linda? one this of the is inserts. One of the inserts yeah. with the box there. With the muted and then, yes, the um, muted inserts. Do you know what makes the difference? I'm just the more you more the more you look at the images, the more you see the difference as well. Is the eyes in every single yes, animal? Yes. They are so real and so warm and you really get to look into their well, eyes when you people, don't always get that when people visit our lovely gallery and see the original paintings mm. i've had people actually go and try and get alongside the painting and look down the edge because <laughs> they think the eyes are stuck on they oh, think they wow. are glass beads that have been stuck on because they're so real yeah um, but yes, the eyes, are, that's where you really get to see the character. Definitely. The most important part. And it's because she's been there with them. I think that makes this such a massive it. difference. If yes. you're drawing an animal from a book, then it's, you know, it's very yeah. different. This is what makes Pollyanna are. quite unique, is that everything she painted, sketched, mm. painted, had or has a heartbeat. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. No, and other side. Other side. Oh, you see, there is a um, right and a wrong side to this. You see, this is why um, I need supervising. You know, she didn't paint from photographs. She didn't paint from images that she Googled. Mm. It mm. was all the, the places she visited. I mean, yeah. and oh. the stories and the... Look at that little uh, cut. Just amazing. Well, that's it. And that's why, I mean, you know, you get the, the beautiful sunset behind mm. this tiger. And she literally would have seen the tiger... In that situation, in that situation. Yeah, in that and that's inspired that painting. She created the atmosphere as well. Yeah. Yes. I mean, we, we tend to concentrate on the animal in the paintings because that's, the, that's what draws your eyes. But mm. her backgrounds were absolutely fabulous. And they coordinate, mm. yeah, they work. If, if you buy, yeah. you know, if you buy the books, there's a painting mm. there of a tiger running through water. You can actually... Oh, yeah feel the water moving absolutely yes, i mean that's remarkable. what makes it, it it's almost like that it, they do look like photographs quality, yeah. but, the, but, but they've got some they've got something different to yeah, a photo yeah. though they've captured something else you know absolutely. it's amazing beautiful and look at that there we are that's that one you beautiful. can do this at home how exciting yes, trust that? me if i can put this together then seriously anybody can make a gorgeous card from this so that what ian's done is yeah. look how many four pads he's put in there yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fabulous. Uh, i feel i need to get this position well to start yeah. with because this isn't going to move is it <laughs> well, look at that i've got lots of <laughs> lots of help and support now there we Perfect. go. Perfect. So that is. Well, you're uh, quite oh, tall, well, so you beautiful. can look down on yeah. it. Yeah. We, we <laughs> look on the same that's level. Like you've got crafting got advantage. You've <laughs> got the height. It's amazing. I mean, you've beautiful. got over 900 printable elements that you can be working with here, which is so exciting. And every time you make a card, it can be different. It, it, it can all be different. Beautiful. And it's the same. Wow. If you that. don't like it, it's not the end of the world because you just print, just print it, it out again. again. And if oh, you're a bit God. funny and you, you don't want to use your good paper, 
print it on draft, print it on your copy of paper just to practice yeah. and then go with the real thing. That's it. I mean, if for all of our customers, if you're making to gift, you know, you're saving money on the gifts that you would have had to buy otherwise. If you're making to sell for your charities or for your own business, once you've paid your 29.97 for your digital download, that's it. You never have to pay again because you can print these out again and again and again and again. There's an infinite amount of times that you can print out every oh. single one of these well, elements. <laughs> Look Woo! At that. I that's did a beautiful. thing. I made a card. <laughs> Feel thank terrible. We didn't clap. You like that? <laughs> oh, I know. Look at that. But no, thank you, Ian, who's put together this gorgeous design. And isn't that? It's stunning. Just, that is just beautiful. It's, <laughs> it's amazing and um, listen check out if you've got your digital download in your basket you, you just press purchase you don't need to put it in a basket you don't need to do anything like that because it's a digital download so on our website hobbymaker.co.uk um just click on purchase if it's the only thing you buy today you're not even having to pay your p and p no. either which is brilliant this is a big collection it's an incredible collection and because of the quality of it because of the detail you know so everything that you print out will have this warmth this life this character this soul almost in it be patient when you're downloading okay it's worth the wait it is absolutely and beautiful we promise if you have any trouble mm. with the download as i've said to you before we've only ever failed once helping somebody and that's because she wouldn't listen to us <laughs> but we are there and we are absolutely <laughs> determined to get you working and we've as i say we've only had one yeah. and it wasn't really a failure if she wasn't prepared to listen she was <laughs> exactly do you know what's wonderful as well i mean this is you know born free and i think yes. the art of digital download gives you freedom as well doesn't well, it it really it does. does who would have thought when i watched that film when I was 11, yeah. which is um, over... Just last year? Well, <laughs> two, years ago. two years ago. That I would now be standing here having the privilege yeah. of working with this beautiful artwork from an absolutely amazing yes. artist. Oh, an hour always goes too quickly. It's yes. never enough time. It's such a privilege to have you both here. Thank you so much for You're talking us through and Thank you. for sharing the incredible story and the incredible And you um, get artwork. chocolate. It's wonderful. Is that for me? Of course. It's <laughs> oh, you're so lovely. <laughs> Lovely, I do love. Um, right, we're going to bring you the brochure. Here it is. This is the Art of Freedom and your free booklet of inconveniences as well. It's all there for you. Listen, if you're just joining us, look at the web, check out, and just enjoy working with this beautiful collection. Thank you both so much. Welcome, um, we're not finished yet here on Hobby Maker because we've got another fabulous live hour with Kat from Hunky Dory. Lots more demos, lots more inspiration, all coming up after this. <laughs> Here at Hobby Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. a show by watching on the go with our brand new hobby maker app head over to your app store now and search hobby maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet you can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests click on the today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show 
Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. <laughs> Shopping with Hobbymaker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobbymaker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobbymaker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Hello, hello. Welcome to Hobbymaker. I'm Rosie and joined by Kat. You hello. must but you have really... Um, just done it all today, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, might as well move in. Cat, <laughs> it's been fabulous to have you here. <laughs> Great. Now, this was a brand new launch um, that started, was it one o'clock today? You brought this live. Three. Was it? Three o'clock, that was Three. right. Um, well over half the stock has gone. This was a huge stock that you brought to mm -hmm. air as well. Yeah. Um, and it has just been so very popular and you're going to see why. If you haven't seen it already, um, now is your chance. Just please make sure you come in early. This is your Pocket Pads, your ultimate collection number seven. Um, and your code is there, MSHD91, for just $24.95. Now, people collect these cards, don't they? They collect all of them. So. Yes, absolutely. Uh, this is our seventh launch of these now, and people just absolutely love them. They, and I can completely understand why, because they are so useful. There are so many things you can do with them. They're this really handy pocket size, but you can make cards as small or as large as you like because you get multiples yeah. of each one. So you can snip into them, you can pyramage with them, you can decoupage with them. They are just so, so versatile. Absolutely. I mean, these are they, these wonderful postcards of the United Kingdom. You know, we can all recognise that sort of imagery and the colours and the way they're just really nostalgic and really wonderful, aren't they? Um, Fifth $15.95. We've now dropped that price down for you. The entire collection, remember nearly half the stock has already gone and it was a big stock. So please do make sure you're coming through. I mean, look at this collection translated into cards. That's a gorgeous card, Cat Sam. Just having a little look up there. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't gorgeous? So many different things. And this is just a perfect example of how you can cut into them and make them look so different from that little page that yeah. you've got originally. I absolutely love this Best of British one. It's something so different, the artwork-wise, to the we've done at Hunky Dory yeah, before. Yeah, absolutely. And I love that we can still keep bringing you fresh things and fresh ideas. It's That's so, it. so much fun. It's just incredible, really. They're like all the railway posters that you see up and down the country, you know, yeah. with all the steam train lines and things like that. They're just lovely. Everyone will look at these images and have a memory or have a place or have a time or something that this just brings that back to life for you. It's incredible. Um, and it's not all because look, you've got, oh, these are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> what lovely characters you've got. Look at this guy, I wanna be, be where he is on that beach in the deck chair. Oh, oh, oh look. 
just fabulous. Who creates these images, Kat, for Hunky Dory? It's they're just, just our brilliant. design team back at Hunky Dory Towers. And they, they always knock it out of the park, don't they? They yeah. always manage to put these collections together that are so fun, so vibrant. Oh, we just, absolutely yeah. love the gnomes. They are so cute. And to get this collection, like when they, it's the sports and the hobbies, it's so much fun. So you can mix and match a lot of these images. Yeah, absolutely. They're so fun, aren't they? I bet you're thinking right now, so many people who you know are going to absolutely love these. You, yeah. think, you know, 64 pages in every single little book. 150 GSM as well. And I mean, the quality of the imagery as well is just out of this world, isn't it? It, it really is gorgeous. Um, now we've got all these little bunny cats. So like yeah, this. we now got a cute little kitty cats. Again, cats are always popular. Everybody knows somebody that loves cats. Oh yeah. Um, great if you're making for animal charities and things like that. These are oh. more our kittens, I think, rather than yeah. cats. They're all on the younger side, all got that playful vibe. Yeah, they're all a bit so cheeky, aren't fun. they? Yeah. This oh, would I be love cool. that with a butterfly. It's so, so cute. Great for making like little notelet sets and mm. things like that. I think this is a beautiful collection. Oh, my <laughs> word. It's proper puss in boots, that one, isn't it? He's like looking over. Oh, my goodness. Um, the phone lines are getting really busy again. Oh, my word. I mean, you can see why. why What's not to love about this collection? It's just utterly gorgeous. And then we've got this vibrant and magical mystical butterfly book Yeah, as our well. majestic butterflies. Absolutely oh! stunning. <laughs> so <laughs> sweet. Um, yeah, 320 pages all together. And I will show you the little books as well, but just showing you all the images that you're getting. Now, with each image, you're going to get four of each. Is that right? It is, yeah. 16 yeah. designs, four of each. So that, like I said before, that really allows you... You, you can be really frugal and make 64 cards from each one yeah. or you can layer them up you can cut into them like that one you can see there you can cut that butterfly up point the wings up and just get that beautiful decoupage oh, yeah. element you can get your nesting dies and cut into them and do like the pyramage mm. uh, effects or just chop into them like the, see that one there it's just got yeah. one in and then the butterfly on top there's so many different things you can do it's fantastic isn't it I love that um, and we've got I am in love with this yes. collection. I'm so pleased that you've done this, Anki Dory, because so often in card making, we see all the sports and it's always the guys. It is. Um, but I love this because we all know and love as well. We've got so many sporty women, dancing girls, whether it's rugby, football, hiking, ice skating, running, you know, this is action packed and just really, really brilliant. I love this celebration of modern women of women everywhere who we know and we love who are strong who are just absolutely smashing it i love this um yeah you're bossing it it's brilliant <laughs> um love 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 this book as well um so just superb i mean you can see um some of those fabulous finished samples there and we've got some more in the box here and of course we're going to have lots of demos as well um but look at this little cheeky chappy um the gnomes i just love it's one of my kids favorite films is on Romeo and juliet <laughs> <laughs> seen oh, it. I love so that. Good. I've got a bit of a crush on Nomeo. It's <laughs> one of my weird random crushes. <laughs> That's like when people fancy Nala from The Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you've just admitted that on live television. I, I, I love care. that cat. There's worse things I could have I'm been. with you, actually, to be honest. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, he's got something about him, hasn't he? Um, <laughs> um, cheers to you. Absolutely wonderful. Look at this. I mean, you can, there's no end to what you can craft with these. I mean, I love that you've got a celebration here, all of these images. But like you said, you know, so this stunning. Brand new today, never been on air before. Um, your chance to come on in and get it today. Um, love this as well look at that just so iconic so utterly fabulous really really wonderful and is that with the embossing folder as well that's no, I did that that's with a the score. score tool. Yeah. Nice, it's lovely. It was just before we got the embossing folders, unfortunately. Ah, well, you have to do that next time. <laughs> Can you use the embossing folder now? Um, they're still on the website if you're very quick. Um, what are you going to make for us today? Lovely we might hat. be using that embossing folder. Oh, let's do as it. As by magic. Ah. Oh. Love we it. are going to make an acetate fronted card. So the first thing I'm going okay. to do is get this cut because you can't really see what I'm doing with it being acetate. <laughs> so we'll get this boring bit done first. So this is going to be a six by six acetate fronted card. So I'm going to cut this down to six inches by seven inches. And then 
I gave myself a mental note before the show to get my scoring tool like my board and I forgot. So you're going to have to watch me do it now. Ah, <laughs> there, there it is. Go. Perfect. <laughs> And we are just going to use the line in here and I'm just going to score one inch at the top and this is just going to give me that little bit of a flap that I can use to secure the front of my card to the back of my card. So we're going to do that. We are next going to, there's so many processes, I don't know what to do next. Mm -hmm. Let's go to our um, pocket pads because that's what we all want to see. So I'm taking two of them. I am being a little bit bougie with this one and I'm using all four pages. I like but, it. You know, Why sometimes not? we've got to. Yeah, absolutely. It works out if you buy the bundle at 5p a sheet. I mean, so even if I'm so using all four, it's 20p. Yeah, that's awesome, isn't it? It's absolutely brilliant. Certainly, certainly more affordable than buying a card. Definitely. And if you're making to sell, you're going to be making a profit as well. It it's is. always good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two together to make like mm -hmm. a little background. Okay. I'm just going to use a little bit of masking tape to secure these in place. And we're just going to tack that down as far as I can. Make sure that's nice and secure. And you can layer these up. Mm -hmm. Now, we are going to have a join in the middle, but that's mostly be going to be covered when I come to using yeah. my other two pieces. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take my star embossing folder. Oh, nice. <gasps> and he's done it. We've had a bit of a restock. Oh, Fabulous. okay. Restock is here. Is this on extended delivery, Ellie, or are we good to go? Normal, good to go. Absolutely sorted. Um, your four embossing folders um, that basically sold out earlier, we've now managed to get um, here for you. So we've managed to restock. Here it is, $17.96 for all four of your wonderful Hunky Dory Moonstone embossing folders. Your dots, your stars, your stripes, and those zigzags as well. So really fabulous. If you want to watch demos on these, we've got one happening right now. Um, you've also got um, more from earlier on in the show as well from our five o'clock hour if you want to rewatch. And this That's is great. just a fabulous example of the quality of these pocket pads. It's 150 g SM of our yeah. coated papers. Now, if you look up close, you can see the star detail in there, but you can see it's not left any cracking or creasing. I am going to add that in by going over with um, just my little sanding tool, just so we can see them, because if we're going to put them in. But it's just a good example of how what quality the papers are. So we're just going to pop them out a bit, and I've gone for the stars, because it goes kind of with that celebratory theme that we're going for with this one. Yeah. Just to really add... Um, that really fun punch to the back here. Oh, and then I'm just going to take some construction glue. I'm going to put this on a matting layer that I've just measured out beforehand. And we can do that. And it's just another great example of how well all our hunky dory products work together. Yeah. So we're going to pop that on there. So we are then going to take, we're going to get another layer, and I've started cutting into this one already, and we are going to cut round just the gnome. I have done another layer in advance where I have gone in and cut round the car as well and fussy mm. cut in. So we are going to build up two layers of light decoupage on top of this. Nice. Do you fancy him as well, Cap? He's not quite got what Normio's <laughs> got, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know. I've not met him in person. He no. could have a winning personality. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Gotta make us laugh. <laughs> Definitely. And Normio does that, doesn't he? He does. <laughs> I can't be the only person that has a crush on a cartoon character. Message in, okay, who's your cartoon character crush? Oh, Ellie's is the yeah. Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, I don't think you're alone on that one. He is yeah. a disappointment when he turns into a new <laughs> He is actually in the original, <laughs> definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, who's your cartoon character crush? Message in. There's no judgment here at Hobby Maker. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the one I've done before where we've gone and we've cut round all that car detail. And we're just going to pop it oh, in the middle. Nice. So it's almost like our little podium. Yeah. Like the first, the third. Oh, and I love that. pop that on there. So this is going to go on the front of our card when fantastic. we're ready to do that. We'll just take that down. Now, usually I would do the trick that I showed you earlier by putting my gold mirror at the back. But let's be honest, I forgot. So we're not doing it on this one. Um, but we will just tack this down with this. 
Again, I always recommend the high tat tape for adhering anything to your acetate, but high tat tape and live TV are not usually okay. my friend. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use that for that. Now we're just gonna make ourselves a little background to go at the back okay, of the car. Okay. So I've got some of our white and some black adorable scoreable here. Fabulous. And we're just going to make some little squares mm -hmm. to oh. one and a half inches. And we're going to recreate that kind of checkerboard oh, effect that we've nice. got on there. Oh, how clever. So cut multiple of them. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do one of each for now. Because I don't think you need to see me cut 18. <laughs> well, do you know what? We could. It's quite therapeutic, can't well, we? Well, if, um... if we've got time at the end. <laughs> Go, come back and do some more. Before I forget, by the way, because I've got some lovely messages from a, a lovely chap called Robert who tunes in here to Hobby oh. Maker. I want to give you a massive shout out. Thanks for all your lovely messages, Robert. And I hope you're well today. How's your gaming going as well? Um, it's always lovely to hear from you. <laughs> so, are you a gamer? Not really. No, Ellie is. There we go. That doesn't surprise me, Gita Ellie. Completed what? Gita, what's that? GTA. Oh, Grand Theft. That's how much of a gamer I am. <laughs> well, I knew I what that was. So, <laughs> well, what ahead do you? <laughs> oh, okay. And Call oh, of wow. Duty as well. You'd, you'd get on well with Robert then, Ellie, because he's a big fan too. Oh, wow. All the happy ones then, yeah. <laughs> Assassin's Creed, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. And what was the other one? Call of Duty, yeah. There we go. So this goes that to six by amazing. six. So I'm just going to take a notch and a half oh. off each side so it's nice and even. Because if I took my usual three notches just from one side, it'd be a little bit wonky. That is I great. Am. You could do it as a chessboard as well. You can. Yeah. It's a technique you can use yeah. for lots of things. That's great. So we just work our way around. Not that one. That one's already done. We need to take it to three. And take that there, and we should have one last one that we take to the three now. And then we're just going to mat a layer this up. Wow, she's that making a mess. That's so cool. We've just, so we're just coming in now with a gold mat and layer, just mm -hmm. so it matches everything at the front. So we're going to pop this on here. Mm -hmm. And then on the back... Let's add just a little bit at the top here. And if I can find where I put my acetate layer, we're just going to tuck this over the top there. Secure that down. That is so cool. And then oh, just boom. use this last little bit at the back. Oh, uh, again, so you're hiding all your so work. We're hiding all our workings. So good. I'm going to pop that on the back there. I'm going to have to straighten this up. It's gone wonky donkey because I was doing so I think you could have got away with that and said it's like a flag. Uh, well, I could you know, have. And put that there and then I'm just going to finish with one of our sentiments from our bigger book of sentiments. And we'll just pop that at the top there. Love that. And I think it just shows a great example Look of combining those products. It looks so 3D. Yeah. That is just brilliant, isn't it? Look at that. It really comes to life, doesn't it? It's got that sense of depth and style. Awesome. Um, loads and loads of you coming through. Jill's put in her, this in her basket three times. Are you going to be gifting it? Or I mean, it does have to be said, you know, people collect these little books yes. and a lot of people buy them to keep and to make, don't they? So yes, you get definitely. two sets. Yeah. Um, that is brilliant, says Sarah and Newport. Isn't it genius? It's just fantastic. Really, really wonderful. Um, listen, keep on checking out. But before we come back to this, we do have some more hunky-dory goodies to bring to you. So we've got the foiled pattern stepper cards. Now, these are massively popular. <laughs> um, these have been flying out of the door. So please do make sure um, you are coming coming in quick for these they are gorgeous I mean this is just really really clever isn't it so you're going to be getting 16 foiled and die cut stepper cards which means that everything's done for you right you know you've got all the hard work done you're not having to score anything no no you're not having it's just all these fab. ones are the kinetic which are we showing the ah. kinetic or the stepper the ah, is this? Oh, sorry. That's Here we go. You ah, it's the newbie. Here we go. There. Where are my ah? They're there. There we are. They look there. very similar. When wrong. There we go. Um, here we go. Here nope, are. No, nope. the same one. 
Aha! <laughs> Hold on a moment. There we go. There, there we, we go. go. Fabulous. Here I'll make one up for you. Perfect. Yeah, show us how quick and easy this is. These are gorgeous. Yeah. So it is all printed onto our adorable coral scorable cardstock we've either got a choice of gold or silver foil but you get a mixture of throughout mm. it's all pre-scored for you so you're just going to go along that center line there give it a good burnish down so okay. it stands nice and crisp and then you've got all your score lines in the side here Brilliant. you just go them down into your mountain and your valley folds the same on the other one it's amazing how quick it comes oh, together and it takes out with your stepper cards and the same with the kinetic card when yeah. it comes on later on is that yeah you might um master how to do your stepper cards and stuff but then you've got all these bits yeah. that you need to mat and layer and put the decoration on this yeah. does it for you that's it so all the hard so work quick. done just absolutely superb and look at all the different colorways that you've got all foiled for you all die cut for you you've just seen how quick and easy that was you know if you're a beginner crafter as well how brilliant to get these home it just takes away all the difficulty takes away all the kind of um i don't know the stress of trying to get everything in place and get everything right um but equally if you're an advanced crafter you've been crafting for years it, it's always handy to have in your stash just quick easy cards isn't it definitely we all have that time where you just need to put a card together like that but you want people to think you've spent longer on it something like this is absolutely perfect yeah it's genius Plus, um if you go back and watch the old shoulder and stuff you'll see there's so many different things you can do with these as well yeah. you can even cut into them cut the bits out because you've got that beautiful foil card detail in there there's so many things you can and do. you'll notice on all of them Imagine your that. little book i mean it's as if you planned it <laughs> isn't it all um those. all of these work perfect move my fingers out the way um perfect little mats for your little books as well so they are just the ideal size so that's your foil and um, um, pattern stepper cards okay and you've got your foiled and patterned kinetic card so what's the difference then and um, oh by the way just want to mention you will get your envelopes to match as well so absolute genius um what's the difference between the stepper and the kinetic cards then it's just the shape um, and uh -huh. what they do so we knew how much you loved the uh, stepper card so we thought let's try and bring it to you again in another card shape that we yeah. know you absolutely love but it's not always the easiest for people to replicate and mm. this is what we've got so this one folds up again there's lots of different ways you can use it this is the way it's kind of designed so you've got those four slimmer panels and then your one main panel in the middle there but it's kinetic because as you can see it's lovely and movable, and movable. yeah and there's so many different things you can do so much fun and then once you've got this you can use this as a template you've oh, got yeah, your guide that's a good idea. um you can use it for your regular adorable scorable and stuff but yeah. it's just so much easier than having to work out all these matte and layers and yeah. all the different patterns to put on there it's just done for you all sorted and again you get all your envelopes there as well for 11.99 i mean that's bananas yeah, actually and you get isn't it 16 of these wow so it's absolutely incredible 16 cards 16 envelopes all for 11.99 i mean that is brilliant brilliant value isn't it it's absolutely fantastic and so handy to have this kind of um, set in your stash at home as well um launch today incredibly popular very 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 busy show earlier on and it's looking super super busy and uh, busy right now as well now because these are all foiled these work particularly well don't they with all your um beautiful miri mats so um we've got those here for you on the show today we've got your a6 now these are just absolutely brilliant you've got four different uh, choices so you've got in your silver oh is this the color assorted one hold on a minute here we are um so we've got the assorted colors for you um the mirror match you're getting 80 sheets in here um in fact hold on let me okay adam is uh, i'm gonna be i'm gonna do it this time cat <laughs> that's good that's good oh on. there we go woohoo um now very very limited stock on this okay so it's very important to be checking out while you can but 80 sheets four of each 20 different colorways as well um oh my word we say limited stock we're talking nearly single figures now so please do make sure you're checking out while you can i mean these are perfect aren't they because they work beautifully again if i just take that little butterfly from earlier 
they just work perfectly together, don't they? So you're not having to even cut anything no, down, are it's you? It's brilliant. All these products work so wonderfully together because you don't have to think about it. You yeah. can just pop them on and they are ready to go. It love the different colours you get in this one that's going to pick out all range of colours across all of those um, pocket pads that we've bought you today. And because the pocket pads haven't got any foiling on, it gives you that opportunity not just to bring in your gold and your silver, to have yeah. a play around with the colour. That's it. And that's actually really lovely, isn't it? You can pick any of them up and actually... They all tend to work, they don't do. they? Which yeah, is really, really, really clever. Really oh my gosh, right, we've, got, we've only got eight left. We've got loads and loads of you uh, dining through with us, seven left now. They're gonna sell out. Um, they are gonna go very, very quickly. Okay, so please do make sure you're checking out your baskets here at Hobby Maker today. Um, we only have one P and P. The beautiful thing about Hobby Maker is it doesn't matter which hour you join us, it doesn't matter how many times you check out your basket through the day, it's just one P and P, 3.95 until midnight tonight. Um, and so, do you know what? We're going to take you back to how we started the show this time. I'll show you the little books as well, just in case you've not seen them before. Um, and um, we can show you those boards as well. But you're getting all five um, of these beautiful, beautiful little books. Oh, you've got them there. There we go. Thanks, Kat. She's on it already. Look at that. Um, they're all five of your pocket books. And I'll just flick through the examples for you as well. So you can see all the images you're getting in each. And then we can have another demo from our fabulous cat. So here we go. Um, these are the... I just love this. This is just brilliant. Um, hiking, rugby, ballet, horse riding, running, ice skating, tennis. You know, you've got it all on here. Cycling, canoeing is just wonderful for all those fabulous girls in your life who are just absolutely smashing it. Look at the boxer as well. Brilliant. Really superb. That's like my daughter Hazel. She loves a bit of footy. Um, so you've got 320 pages all together. Okay, that's your sports. You've got your uh, majestic butterflies as well. Really, really beautiful. Um, loads of you coming through for this. Remember, you're getting four of every single design. So if you love to decoupage, you can do that. Or you can use every single um, page as a card topper. You know, so how many card top is that 16 designs four times over and then you've got five little books so you've got over 300 320 320 cards that you can make with this collection if you want to how cool is that for 15.95 um right which one's your favorite please message in okay is it the sports is it the gnomes is it the kittens is it the butterflies is it the fabulous britain pocket pad and do you know what? Message in. Or do you just love all of them, I think? Well, I don't know say I like all of them, but I do particularly like the sports and hobbies for her. And I'm with you as well on the Britain yeah. one as well. I love that. Really, really fabulous. Um, so all here for you. Look at the cat. So cute. Mm -hmm. um, very, very beautiful. Ellie's saying this is her favourite. Have you got a favourite? You're not allowed to have a favourite. I'm, I'm the same as you. I like the Britain and the sports for her because... For very different reasons, there's something that we haven't brought to you before. Yeah. The artwork, that poster style artwork on this one is absolutely stunning. And I know the sports for her is something that our customers have been asking for for a long, long time. So I love it when we can give them what they want. I love Ellie so much. I love you, Ellie. Ellie has just said, oh, sorry, darling. Are they real places? In Britain? Yes, every single one of them, Ellie. <laughs> you can make it your mission to go to each and every one of them. There we go. Um, absolutely gorgeous. A really a wonderful. Do make sure you check out on everything um, today. It is super, super busy. Aren't these just genius? Message in as well. How many of the collections have you got? Do you have all seven of your ultimate collections? Um, what are you going to do for us now, Kat? We are going to have a play around with our kinetic card, but I'm going to do it in a slightly different way and fold it out for you. Okay. Okay. Um, there are examples how you do it normally on the first show that we did, so I thought we'd show you something else. Now, I'm going to start by cutting out this centre panel, so I'm going to create yeah. an aperture. Okay. I would recommend doing this with a ruler, but I've not got mine today, so I'm okay. just going to use my stamping block. And I'm just going to take this right up to the edge of my silver foiled line there. And we can just cut this out and I'm going to come all the way around. Do you know what? I'm going to be brave and just eyeball it. Freestyle so it. Please excuse me if I go wrong. But this is a beauty it's quite, of It gives you a bit of a guide, actually, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Which is good. But because it's nice and secure on that glass cutting mat, you mm. can see just how 
good this is being for the glass me. cutting mat by the way is on our website if you would like to get it it's 24.99 it is absolutely brilliant maybe you've got this home on the launch message in what are you loving about it are you using it all the time now as well I just love the fact you've got your paint palette there as well. Yeah, it's so cute, isn't it? Mm. And we can just pop that out there. And we've got that lovely little thing created for us, but we've still got that lovely silver border. Now, with this one, mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fold my score lines anyway, just so I've got a nice little guide. Okay. Probably should have done that bit before. So this is the kinetic card. I'm just using it in a different way. Nice. I like you mixing it up, though. Give us a there bit of There are so many things you can do once you uh, just play around. So my idea for this one is that I'm going to use it like a little, um, like a window. So oh. we're going to bring it in like that to create this kind of shape. So it's like a little uh, pop-out kind of frame, which I think oh, would nice. stand beautifully on a mantelpiece, wouldn't it? It would, so yeah. Pop it both we, together, and then I've it? taken a little bit of acetate that I've just taken cut down to size to start off with and I've just removed this um, red liner tape mm -hmm. so we could be here for 20 minutes mm -hmm. while Kat attempts to remove <laughs> tape on camera the thing is when I, do it, when I do it at home it does it every single oh, but time this is what, this is what live knows. TV does though it's just um, you know so we're just so gonna, you did that super oh. quick there we go I like to um, if I say it's going to misbehave, I hope that it won't. Ah, yeah, <laughs> it's like tricking mean. it into a false <laughs> sense of security. So we're just going to pop that behind there. And I'm going to work this one with our beautiful um, lady sports people here. So I've Perfect. taken this main image and I've just gone around and I've cut a quarter of an inch off each side. Okay. Just to make it a little bit smaller. So we're still going to get that acetate shining through. We're still going to get that aperture coming through. And I've cut down a mat and layer to match that. So I'm just going to do what I was mentioning before. So I'm going to pop this behind the layer of the acetate. Oh, so it's okay. then going to give me, it's going to cover up all my workings as we go on. It's such a good tip that, because I would have worried that the acetate would take away from the mirror, but it doesn't at all, does it? No. You still see that fabulous mirror shine coming through. And then we are going to pop her back on top, just layer it up just like you normally would with your mat and layer. And we've got her shining through the top there. But I think just having that little bit of air around it really, mm. really helps. It and then I've it. gone in and we've cut her down again, just the main image of the figure. And we've just added some foam pads to the top. And we'll just take a couple of these foam pads off. And we'll layer this. Do you prefer to fussy cut with a craft knife or scissors? Um, I usually go in with my scissors first, and then if there's any really tricky bits, I get in with my uh, craft knife. Ah, okay. So I'm a bit of both. I like yeah. to mix, mix, it up. mix it up. So that's it. You could leave it at that. Stick a sentiment on. You've got all that beautiful yeah. detail. But I thought we've got so many great sporting um, ladies on there. Let's play with it a little bit more. Okay. So I'm going to put a little panel on each of these side panels as well so i'm just going to cut a mat and layer miri four times we're going to do this i'm not going to do it um all four i'll just do one for you so we're going to cut to one inch by three and three quarters mm -hmm. and then we're just going to take a selection of our ladies i've just got my uh, little rugby player here because i'm a rugby girl ah, and yeah. we're just going to take a slice from the middle just the main image and we're going to repeat this on the others and you'll see once we build them up it's really quite effective so i just need to do that mat and layer again it might look like I'm being a bit drastic, but I promise you it yeah. works really, really we well for the, the finished effect. Mm -hmm. I'm arms. just going to cut away from... <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> don't do that. You're making me feel like guilty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so we've just got that little bit popping through there. And we will layer this onto our mat and layer. I'm quite slim with my matting layer on this one just because we've already got that lovely silver yeah. detail in there. We'll just really add, nice. wherever I've hid them, a bit of foam pad at the back. And I've also picked, we've got our rugby girl. Mm -hmm. We have got our 
golfing lady. Oh, brilliant. Our footballer and our hiker. So I think you can mm -hmm. see that like when you build them all together, even though we've just taken like a little slice, yeah, it, it works really, really well. Really effective. It's like looking at like a you know really high end sports magazine where they do those little snapshots. It of, yeah, it's brilliant. So we'll just build these up. So if you have a lady in your life that does everything, <laughs> this would be the perfect yeah. kind for them. This is good for my daughter actually. She's a bit she's a very sporty one, but she's you know she's she's girly, but she's also a bit of a tomboy. Does that make sense? Yeah. She kind of, yeah. She's definitely so sporty. I'm just going to layer that up on there and pop that round. And we're just going to finish with another one of our sentiments on here at the bottom. Just overlapping oh, that. I and I that. think it's just a great example of how That's we fantastic. can use that card in a different way. Ma I imagine. love that. It's almost cinematic. Yeah, isn't it? that's the word. Absolutely. That is superb. And actually, do you know what? Yes, do it with these beautiful images. Or we could do it with photographs too, couldn't we? Little yep. memory books of favourite sort of snippets of photos from a holiday or from travelling or from an event or, you know, a person's life if you wanted to do it, you know, for a 50th birthday or something like that and just cut little snapshots. It's amazing. Um, we've got brand new crafters coming in for this collection here today. Well, for lots of collections actually here today. Welcome to Hobby Maker. It is lovely uh, to have you here today. Um, you'll see the top price there, $24.95. It's crossed out and then it's $15.95. That top price is what it should be, okay? No one is paying that price. So if you sat at home going, well, do I have to become a member to get that? That, that sort of better deal. You are a member just by watching here at Hobby Maker, just by tuning in, you are welcome to come and join us and get that big, big saving here today. Now, maybe you've already joined us through the show today. Maybe you've got that fabulous storage for your craft room. Maybe you're in the process of building your craft room. Whatever it is you've ordered from us here today, it's one P&P, $3.95 right the way through till midnight tonight. You can order one of everything that Kat has brought you to the show today. The glass mat, you could come and get all of your mini books. You could come in and get the embossing folders from earlier on as well. It's still only 3 95 till midnight tonight. So it's absolutely brilliant. So come on in, make the most of your P&P. Something we've not yet seen today, mm -hmm. And these are really, really clever. Is these gorgeous moonstone dies? So um, we're going to do a little bundle on these, aren't we? Yes. Is that right? So, oh, Ellie's bringing out a clock. Oh, I know. That means she's up to some mischief. So, twenty-nine pounds and ninety-eight is what you should be paying. That is the value of these two moonstone dies. You've got beautiful blooms, that beautiful frame there, and you've got the brushstroke frame. I mean, that is so unique, isn't it? I've never seen anything like that. It's, it's great. So, clever. so these launch with our last set of pocket pads, um, and I'm, I'm not going to lie. When I first saw that <laughs> the paintbrush one, I was like. What's what? This? And then I used it and it became one of my favourite dyes. Yeah, ever. I can see it's why. so, so useful. So even though these were launched with our last set, set they are going to work so well with so, so many designs. Oh, this one, great. it's even got the little lines cut in the side so you can tuck your pocket sheets underneath. Oh, it's oh, so, wow. so clever. Oh, that's really clever. Many happy returns. You're the best. Here's to new adventures. And for your um, beautiful blooms as well, you've got um, this gorgeous, there you go, sending you sunshine and smiles today and always. That is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Um, really, really gorgeous. 24.98 here today. Hi, Sarah. Um, I got these. They are brilliant, she says. Thank you so much for your lovely message. It's £12.45 each, which is just 49, sorry, each. Absolutely brilliant. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Um, turn around for you as well so you can see how much metal you're getting through. Um, if everyone checks out, 20% of these have gone already. Um, so please do make... Oh, what did you want, Adam? He says I'm ignoring him. What did you want, my darling? <laughs> no, are you sure? Oh, was it having a little look at the cards? Shall we show you some more samples? Here we go. Here we go. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you the beautiful plumes. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't meaning to ignore you, I promise. I would never do that. Um, this is great, isn't it? Oh, Look at that. You. Was that one of right. yours? Yes. That is gorgeous. Really, really fabulous. I love that. Um, and then look at this as well from Rachel, completely different once again. Using these dyes, I want to show some more of these um, paint splats as well, because look at this. <laughs> Time to party. Oh, I love that. That is brilliant, isn't it? 
it. Yeah, this is the card I made where it became oh, my favourite. Yes. Where it became my favourite because you realise there's so much more you can do with it. Yeah. So imagine that with like your lady sports ones, your gnome yes. ones, even your uh, best of British. If you pick the right colours out, it's really going to add to that yeah, kind of absolutely. poster effect. Well, look at this one. It's almost been made to look a little bit like a map, hasn't it? A bit like the British Isles. Wow. Isn't that fantastic? Really, really clever idea. So actually, you know, you can use these in so many different ways. You know, they're called paint slats, black, but actually there's so many different things, aren't they? Yeah. Really fabulous. Um, if once everyone's checked out, 30% has now gone. I think this is going to be going before the end of the day. So please do make sure you're checking out quickly. Um, look at this as well. The cheers. Um, cheers and beers. I love that card. <laughs> That's great. Uh, many happy returns. Is that another one of yours? Oh, there we go. I told you I had fun with this guy. Yeah, so. <laughs> absolutely. It's just fantastic, isn't it? Um, the great thing is as well, you know, you can, you can have this much fun. You can be enjoying working with these. Use your little books. Have a play. Have an explore. And just go for it. Really enjoy it. It's, I've never seen a die like that before. I think that's really clever. And it's just that's a little pocket there. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know, just, do you just show us how that works. If I pass yeah. you one of these, which one would you like, my love? Uh, one any? of the... It's up to you. Oh, here we go. Let's have one of these and pop it in. Just so you can see how it... Um, oh, actually, that works quite well with a splash as well, doesn't it? It does, so it would be perfect for that one, wouldn't it? Yeah. So if this isn't stuck down too well, it might be stuck down because of the way it's put it on the board. Mm. But there are these little cutting lines here that when oh, you yeah. have it in... Oh, sorry, I didn't think of that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think it's been stuck I've down. given you the impossible task. But you can kind of see, <laughs> if it wasn't stuck down, the two corners would just fit perfect nicely underneath there and then you would stick and it down. I'm so sorry, Kat, I didn't, yeah. didn't think of right. that, did I? There we go. Um, but you get the idea. So, you know, when you get, like, your little photo corners, that's all yes. included in the die. So it's absolutely brilliant. 40% is now officially gone. Um, yeah, check it out as quickly as you can. These are all going to go. Have you got another demo for us, my darling? Yes. Let's see what you're going to do this Let's time. Let's go. So... Throughout the two shows now, we've seen something from each pocket bag. So I am going to go back to our little pussy cat. Ah, oh, nice. Just for one last go. And we are going to create, she says, you can find, I've taken a eight by four card blank Ooh, in landscape nice. position. We're going to create a bit of our own kind of funky easel here. Oh, so we're nice. going to open this up. Mm -hmm. We are going to... Line this up on the trimmer. And we're going to cut three inches from this side, just down to the score line, just over, so we can play with that later. Okay. And then we're going to turn it round. So we're still going on this side. We're going to the opposite side, and we are going to cut three inches again. Okay. And again, just over our score line. Okay. And then on these two panels, I'm going to trim them down, just the two, to like three inches. So it's, we're not going to take an inch off, so it's three inches. So it, they become squares. I know you're thinking, what is she doing at this point? But it will all I become... trust you, Kat. I trust it'll you. It will all become clear. I do trust the process. You do have to trust the process. And this is the beauty of the trimmer, that you can just take that cut line to exactly where you want it. So, well, let's not put that away just yet. With these two here now, I am, I keep getting my score tool wedged in between my board. I am going to do, put this on here, on the horizontal. So I'm going from this point here to here. We're mm -hmm. just going to score a little line and you can get your uh, scoreboard for this if you're more comfortable doing it that way. And we're going to turn it around and do the opposite one. I'm going to bring this in and we're going to make ourselves like a three easel card. So it's got like two twisted easels on it oh. and then a main easel in the middle. So cool. So we're going to fold these down now and in. If you're watching, by the way, and thinking, oh, this is, you know, this looks really cool. Will I be able to do this? You've got so many craft alongs like this, haven't you? Yeah, and absolutely. Jewelry. And you'll be able yeah. to re-watch this. So just watch for now, and then later on, if you fancy having a go, you can just slow it down, you can pause, you can repeat. You know, if you go on to Hobby Maker's website, you can watch it in your own time as well. You certainly can. Mm. So let me get all my bits out so I know where I'm up to. So first up, let's create ourselves a little mat layer for mm -hmm. the bottom so we know that is still 
eight by four. So we're mm -hmm. just going to put that out of our gold mirror card. And I'm going to bring in, if I've got it in my box, my corner rounder, just to add a little bit of uh, shape to some of these. Mm. So I'm going to do two corners. My, this is just my corner punch from there. And then we'll mirror it on oh, the nice. bottom. Little books, they're working out of three pound nineteen each. It's madness. Isn't it's it? extraordinary, isn't it? The value is incredible. It really, really is. I mean, for sixty-four sheets, for sixty-four pictures, for sixty-four images, to get that for three pounds and nineteen pence is just extraordinary, isn't it? Really. Well, if you think, I think it, you get three hundred and twenty sheets. Yeah. So if you just total, used yeah. one to make a card for each thing and sold them for a pound each, that's three hundred and twenty pounds. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's mad, isn't Whoa. it? Whoa. Hold on a minute. You start to think like that, and actually, my goodness me, you know. And you could do this in your classroom. You could do this in the um, in the staff room. You could do this at work. You know, bring a box in, and you'll be absolutely shocked yeah. to see how quickly they all fly out. Yeah. 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 Be brilliant. There we go. And a card. Brilliant. Definitely, because it's a price point as well that people love. Yeah, Who doesn't absolutely. love a pound? I mean, you that's it. You can go into a shop and buy a card for a pound, can you? So. Yeah, exactly. That is so good. To think about it like that. 320 cards right here. You know, use your card, use up the bits and bobs. Because, I mean, actually, this is what's perfect with this size as well, isn't it? Yeah. You've all got so many bits of card that you can be cutting down to mat for this or just get your mirror, your mirror mats. I mean, it's perfect, isn't it, really? So this is just a sheet from one of our Dior design pads that I'm mm -hmm. using on here, and I think it just works beautifully with these kittens that I'm bringing in. So I have taken um, two of this design here, and like you can see, I'm just going to do the, the corners again. And I'm just doing two opposite corners. Yeah. So on this one, I've done like top left and bottom right, and then I've done the opposite on this one Okay. for the two at the side. And again, it's just small details like this that just changes them off. It's only taking a corner off. Yeah. But it just gives it a slightly different look. That's bad, isn't it? I'm going to take this on here. Come back to my construction glue because I feel like I've had a few wonky matting layers today and I know that's not going to happen when I use this. And then so I'm going to switch it up for this one, for my centre one. And we're going to keep the edges square on here. How are we doing for time? Have we got time to do a little bit of die cutting? Yeah, absolutely. We've got seven minutes. I think what do my you uh, talk back's gone out. So I'm oh, just bless you. Yeah, we've got seven minutes. Yeah, seven minutes. So whatever you think. Can you, yeah? Can oh, you definitely. Switch it? Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Good knock out a few. Okay, <laughs> well. So let me bring this back in here. And my other plates that I've hidden down here from earlier. Just realising, <laughs> yeah. What, oh, sorry? <laughs> Nothing. Adam, Adam and Ellie are being very cheeky. Oh, no. <laughs> in there, yeah. They're twisting my words, Cap. Oh, mm. I don't believe it. I know, I know. I Shocking. believe it very much. <laughs> so let's just secure this with some masking tape. So I'm just going to take a couple of our heart dies. Oh, no. And just pop them round his face. And we're just going to create a little aperture oh. and a little one to put back in. Try and straighten them up a bit. Pop them that way round so we don't make any fridge magnets. I'm not going to... I think this should cut through perfectly without the metal shim in there. So we'll take this through. You will be so glad that your talk back has gone. Oh, I'm just going to say, because there's a very... Be... Fruitful conversation happening in the uh, gallery right now. I hope they're not saying anything nasty about me. Oh gosh, no! That, that's where my, that's they're where talking my about goes. Adam's childhood. And... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to pop this out, and we're going to take away this middle layer. You can save that for something else, and we're going to save this little heart in the middle. We will add some foam pads to this one. here yeah if you need me to stop you're just gonna have to punch me because i can't hear anything <laughs> no nope, you're good so i would never do that but i'll just i'll use my words <laughs> <laughs> so i keep on saying to interest my little bubble just use your words you don't need to yeah that's it so we just add that just to add a little bit of height here 
just so cute. So we can pop that back over the top, line this up as close as I can. I do usually cut my bottom layer down a little bit so it won't be poking out, but I'm sure That's you will gorgeous. forgive me. Yes, look. And then we've just discarded that bigger heart frame. That's such a lovely way one. of doing it. It's, it's so different, isn't it? Yeah. And then just light, layer it up. That it just adds a little cute. bit of interest. And then we're just going to pop these on to our little steppers here. Pull them in. Again, just a little bit of tape just for the speed. This is genius, and Kat. I love pop it. Pop them over. Bring I know, you are you're creating forward. a scene with this. It's forward. just a dream. And this, again, it's one of those designs that's going to work across all those new books that we're working yeah. with today. You could have your British scenes, you could have your sporting scenes. There's so many different variants you could do in this. And then, again, my old reliable, our bigger book of sentiments, I have just taken a lovely long strip sentiment oh, there nice. that matches the colours. We popped off and we can use that as our stepper. Just add this one back on. Gorgeous. Fold it up for you so you can all see it. And these two will sit in. That one's gone off the wrong way for some reason, but you get the idea. Yeah, that's beautiful. Such a great idea. Isn't that amazing? Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, thank you so much. Just gorgeous. You've got so many ideas from Kat today. So much inspiration. Don't forget you can re-watch all of the demonstrations throughout the show on Hobby Maker on our website for the next seven days. But you'll also be able to look on um, YouTube as well. Now, this is your brand new ultimate collection of pocket pads. It's number seven. So many of you collect this. Um, lots and lots and lots of you have been coming through. Well over half the stock has now gone. Um, and we're just going to show you the boards so you can get an overview of what you're getting. Remember, you're going to get each design four times. You're getting 64 sheets in each pad. That's 320 um, pictures in total, sheets in total. And as Kat said, do you know what? Each one of those is a card. That's £320. I mean, how fantastic. You can literally make mini postcards, mm -hmm. couldn't you? Yep. You know, just pop them all on your mini mats and you've got a 320 postcard. Sell them for a quid each and you are absolutely laughing all the way home. <laughs> um, it's wonderful, isn't it? MSHD91. If you would like to get these home, along with so many hundreds of other people who today have come in to get them, it's 0800 001 4433 is your free phone number. You've also got the web there, hobbymaker.co.uk. Don't forget to check out your basket, okay? And you've got the app there as well. Um, now, we're just going to bring back in the kinetic cards as well, um, which we've just seen um, Kat using in a completely different way as well. So these are really, really fantastic. Um, fabulous cards, all foiled, all die cut for you. You can use them just as they are, or you can mix it up a little bit like Kat's just done. So you'll get a feel for it. And the more you play, the more you'll sort of get to, you know, know your way around the cards and just really enjoy. You can get inspired. Um, you're getting 16 cards. You're getting 16 envelopes in this collection as well. Brand new today and all for 11 99 Absolutely genius and absolutely wonderful um honestly the days just fly by don't they here at Hobby maker yes. keep on checking out i'm just going to show you what we've got coming up on tomorrow's show you got that friday feeling it's all happening here on hobby maker um, from one o'clock, tips, tricks and inspiration from That's Crafty. Two o'clock, welcome to Spring Collection from Debbie Moore Designs. You've got a brand new Tropical Paradise uh, mega collection from Crafters Companion with Craig. 4pm, um, your project booklet, mini books made easy with Debbie Moore. 5pm, um, That's Crafty will be back with tips, tricks and inspiration. Six brings you some gorgeous decorative nesting dies from Crafters Companion. And then at seven o'clock, with our wonderful Sharon Curtis, you have a brand new launch of Sizzix 49 and market. This is an amazing day to look forward to. Do you know what? It's always fun here on Hobby Maker. There's always something happening. Massive thank you to our wonderful team, to producer Ellie, to director Adam, to Kat, who's been with us in the studio today. We've pinched her from Sewing Street. Um, and of course, to Jimmy. We've got Marie messaging in. Evening, hunky dory, never fails to deliver. So very true. And when are you next back with us, Kat? Sunday. <gasps> oh, Sunday, <laughs> so we don't have to wait long. Well, thank you so much for 
all your inspiration You're today. Um, it's always lovely to have you here. And do you know what? The biggest thanks, of course, goes to you at home. Don't forget to send us your makes because we always love to see what you craft at home. And then you can take part in our competition. You could win a hundred pound credit to your hobby maker account. So have a little look through all those gorgeous makes you've been doing at home. And how about sharing them with all of our hobby makers? Um, the winner will be announced in a 7 p.m. show on Saturday, the 27th of April. But do you know what? I'll be back with you next Wednesday. And until then, from all the team, see you soon. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobbymaker.